Yo, chat. How are we doing today? I just kind of like stopped the timer early for like no reason. I don't, we, we really don't even need that. Uh, the ring light right now, to be honest, how bright it is out. How are we doing, chat? My video is still premiering, but we're going to watch that while um, just to pass the time. What's up, Toad? How you doing? Happy, uh, happy Eid. I'm good. Good. A little tired though. A little tired. Had to wake up a little early for the stream. Hold on. Check out the video. Listen to me, but not me. Capacity is actually pretty easy to understand, I believe, but it constitutes the most crushing difficulty. In Forty-six viewers. Can we pump that up? Sometimes that up you die, and a succession happens, and you have no idea what the hell made it happen, how it did. So you feel frustrated and you go to Reddit to ask for advice where a lot of better players might actually scratch their heads as well or just give advice about magic succession. Imagine, if you will, trying to explain how to walk to a baby that does not yet understand what walking really is. This is what it is to explain I had a good voice for this video. to a new CKFG player. Succinctly, succession is the process by which power moves from one character to another. And it has many rules associated saying hello, with Tony. Govern exactly See you around. Works. You can give advice to a player Appreciate while managing it. it, but they might not yet even fully understand what's happening. Why does giving a duchy to my secondborn fix uh. succession? Because it satisfies his partition demand. But what's a partition demand? And thus, we found the opacity. Whoa. See, CK3 is a relatively open game. All the information oh. you could ever want is right there in front of you. Exact <laughs> effects of personalities. Oh. Exact troop counts. Okay. The presence oh, that was my of bad. wars and factions looking to undermine you. And even the existence like Splatoon or something? You, or yeah, rivals. I don't know what it is. So you could be anything. Is a game with relatively high player autocracy, to borrow the term from Rosenkreutz, whose video you should watch, by the way. That being said, CK3 also has quite a few opaque mechanics. How do I know exactly how much land each of my sons wants from me? Well, I can check. Yeah, I found this small YouTuber. I don't know who he is. I give him one, Seems all right. Ask for a kingdom. And what gives? This isn't a video about CK3 succession, as that could be a whole video on its own. But instead, I hope this point shows to you what opacity is. Opacity as a measure of difficulty is the first difficulty bar for any new player, and it's an ever-evolving lesson which never really goes away. I'm one of the most hardcore CK3 players out there, and I know the game like the back of my hand. Every once in a while, something I don't understand will happen. You, could say you guys remember in the uh, all when I like game over like three times? Which I might say they didn't understand how succession worked. Or, which could get me a game over. There's a very interesting mod for CK3, which I personally don't Good use, times. but many in the community do, and that's Obfuscate. This mod's literal entire purpose is to introduce further opacity-oriented difficulty. Remember all that information about stats, opinions, army sizes, and so on? Well, not anymore. Now you'll have to figure that stuff out by either spying or intuiting it and hoping you're right. This mod essentially emulates the feeling. Do you guys like Obfuscate? Do you like that mod? For players that no longer I don't like it. Opacity from the base game. Personally, I don't it's like opacity. Mod, so it seems to do quite a good job of that. I don't like Although it. Although I haven't played it before, so I'm basing my understanding of it off of other people telling me about it. Take that how you will. I don't care much for opacity difficulty personally because I like to be creative in my CK3 playing. I love to make stories and achieve great things and all that, and we'll talk about those sorts of things later, but I'm actually not quite done with opacity. See, opacity is the scariest of any difficulty type to base your game off of because the line between intriguing and frustrating is quite fine. Many CK3 players get frustrated by the game. This is a fun run. The Haston Persian and Empire. I definitely understand that. It's a good one. CK3 is a network of systems and mechanics that are almost impossible. What the hell is this guy talking about, by the way? Anyone here in chat know what this guy's talking about? Quit moments for any CK3 player. Anyone know what this dude is on? What this dude is is what blood is? What did they say? What is blood waffling about? Of course, the devilish deal of opacity is that who is this guy? Solving the mechanics is exactly where the fun comes from. When a player makes the connection in their head and finally understands exactly why something happened. One second, chat. Go back one second. Filling parts of the game for sure. When a player graduates from frustration to intrigue to understanding, they have overcome the opacity wall. For some games, that can actually be the end of the difficulty curve, as the game will then progress from balanced fun into mindless fun into boring. This is the moment where most people graduate into the next difficulty curve: struggle. I want to draw the line, though, between struggle gamers and opacity gamers. An opacity gamer derives their joy from understanding the game, but a struggle gamer derives their fun from overcoming the game. 
You're part of Myanmar's C3's map? Yeah. And your metagamers are found here. Well, the Kingdom Before of Pegu? Before we move on to struggle difficulty, I want to leave a few notes about opacity and the important takeaways from it. Opacity is where all beginners start, and it's where most people would determine... Wait, wait, chat, what is this guy actually talking about? The mechanics the player uncovers during this time... Who made this video? ...everything they will do for the rest of their playtime. And if a player doesn't like those mechanics, nothing can really pull them into the Who game. is he talking to? Opacity appeals to just about any gamer, but quickly loses its appeal as the mechanics reveal themselves, if those mechanics are not to their liking. It's important to note that it's not that opacity is only fun for newcomers. The Obfuscate mod proves that even experienced players enjoy opacity. For that reason, opacity is a difficulty type which, like all three difficulty types in CK3, is actually ever-present. You see, I wouldn't want you to be misled into believing that this opacity is only a thing for beginners. There's always some of it in CK3, since schemes are secret and the AI often act unpredictably, as well as events in the game being randomized. The appeal of opacity is twofold, novelty and anxiety. Anxiety is fun for the new players who enjoy unraveling the game, and novelty is fun for the guy with a cat for a profile picture, honestly, true. CK3 without any opacity. Kind of a shitty Photoshop too. I mean, look at it. Not even that good. More and more gamer terms, the kind of garbage. Randomness, or more accurately, perceived randomness, since CK3 isn't as random as it might seem, is critical to the game. And is also why people complain about seeing the same events over and over. When a veteran player complains about the game having the same events over and over, that is the game failing to meet them in the opacity difficulty curve and them entering boredom. I should like this video. The frustrated player who can't figure out what's happening and is overwhelmed by events. This actually ties deeply into my larger thesis, which is the synthesis of three difficulty curves. Opacity is the most present difficulty curve for new players. It's gonna, it's gonna arm, you know, pressure my viewers into liking the video. Players. It has to work alongside the much more straightforward curve of struggle, which is what I'll Let's be see if it works. Next. For me, the opacity of CK3 as a curve is basically gone. But because the game remains ever novel, this guy says CK3 is fun if you if you exclude the amount of, of grinding and stress. I still find myself having an appropriate level of opacity. What what grind? For that reason, you might think I derive more of my difficulty from the struggle curve. What is he talking about? Thanks for the sub, Rudy. Player understands enough about the game, it will present a challenge. And CK3 immediately bucks this trend by at least at a base level having no presented challenges really. Am I just out of the loop? What grind? As an emperor, and in theory, that is the highest tier of character, so I guess you win. Obviously, this is not the case. The first challenge a struggle difficulty player might face is often the Steam achievements, which are integrated to CK3 as well as being on Steam. A player might look at something like Lingua Franca and decide, I'm going to get that achievement. And now their path along the Arcception, yeah, just briefly. Lingua watching Franca my own video. Difficult achievement, so you'll likely find yourself this pulling premiering. your hair out trying to complete it if you're a recent I don't want to compete with myself, graduate. you know? On the other end of that, some achievements would be far too easy, like Until Death Do Us Part, which just requires you to get married. That would be boring to go for. So what if we pick a middling achievement, like the Emerald Isle? Starting as an Irish ruler, hold the Kingdom of Ireland. Great. That seems appropriate. The struggle player will now take all that knowledge they accumulated in the opacity phase and apply it towards achieving the goal. They know how armies work. They know how marriage alliances work. And they know what succession is. They might get real close to getting the... This guy just keeps going, bro. Die, have their realms split into three and get destroyed by Vikings. Well, crap back to the drawing board it's time to think about strategies bro and tactics this guy is like ck3 is fun if you exclude the amount of grinding and stress i ask what grind and he says i've never played ck3 due to being broke and, and heck also loving all the videos you sent i assume he means uploaded motherfucker is talking about the game being grindy he hasn't even played it bro this is what's this app what's this what's the emote yep Hey, that's that's and that's Kriparian. I know him. I I watch Kriparian. Not really these days, but I used to watch him. Where are we at? Where am I? Where are we? Where's my video? There it is. The process of moving from barely understanding succession to never having a bad succession again is facilitated by learning tactics. For example, I don't know. Never played CK3. What a giga chad. Your culture has monastic. What an actual giga chad. This is an example of something an opacity level player that's moving into the struggle phase would be learning. The opacity level player understands that cultures have traditions that contribute to the game. The struggle player begins. To Sorry, I'm still it. reeling. I'm, I'm still reeling from that response. It's to me that you understand it. Either way, let's move away from the achievements. Struggle players don't always. Yeah, it's so nice to drink water on stream. They might also chase more. It's actually, based goals, like reforming Hellenism. Hellenism is, of course, one of the biggest memes in CK3, with many players loving to revive the faith and bring about a new Roman Empire for Zeus and all that. For a player of my level. This is a trivial challenge. 
What's up, Ina the Khajiit? Player, I don't Ion trust a, a Khajiit, but... Alright, we'll let it go. Not just piety, but faith conversion modifiers, and putting together a strategy to obtain those modifiers is certainly quite fun. Once our hypothetical player has found a strategy and executed it such that they've been able to become Hellenic, they've essentially added a new tool to their tool belt, which they may or may not Why does this use. guy keep talking, under though? The hood, there's a whole other plethora of tools they've been both using and honing on their way there. You see, struggle in CK3 is where the player is trying to win. And this is where I want to once again tie into my larger thesis and explain... You know, it's funny, when I made this video, okay, when I wrote it, I was like, yo, this is genius. When I recorded it, I was like, this is alright. When I edited it, I was like, this is shit. But I know that that's kind of how every video essay goes. So I made it anyway. But now, hearing my own uh, my own script, I'm like, man, I should go and rewrite this video again. But also, like, screw that. I wanted to get this video done because I had been working on it for like a week. That was mulling over the script. Or management of vassals and so on. CK3 is composed of several gameplay loops, but a few to start are Vassal Management, Air Management, and Macro Warfare. That is to say, you don't really fight in CK3. You pit numbers, your army, its quality, and a commander, against another person's numbers, their army, quality, and commander, with a dash of RNG and terrain to influence it. At all times, a player is attempting to overcome the game's obstacles in order to obtain an end goal, and this is actually where the final curve, actualization, comes in. I know, the struggle curve section is short, and that's because it's the most traditionally understood form of difficulty. Yes, CK2 is still better. Difficulty is literally the fight against the game. It's the fight to outpace the people AI, these days. not lose to vassal factions, and to have skilled heirs. And people underestimate the power of a good UI. CK3 has a bus in UI. We gotta remember that when we think about which one's better. And opacity comes from novelty and anxiety. Actualization comes from within, and it is the beating heart of CK3. I mentioned achievements in the struggle section, and that's because achievements are very similar to actualization except that they are presented by the game. Challenges presented by the game ultimately fall into the struggle curve explicitly because they are from the game. Actualization, coming from within and all that, is essentially the much deeper question of why you're playing the game. For some people, in fact I'd say many people, there is a joy in overcoming a worthy obstacle. This is the most basic actualization goal. I want to get Lingua Franca because I will be happy to have defeated this challenge. Everything after the word because is an actualization goal. By using the tactics, will this all be on the test? Yes. Journey, Every single word. You're going to have to actually quote the transcript. Their actualization goals. To simplify it, the axis of difficulty for actualization could be seen as interest or even better, opportunity. The opportunity to engage CK2 in the has good UI. Filling to an individual player is extremely particular, so it ends up feeling more like a dartboard than a gradient. Paradox is throwing darts at the wall and hoping to hit the largest section of the community possible when they implement things which would provide actualization motivations for the player. These are things like decisions kind of true, or end game. Stuff. Two has pretty good sound things design. Things like the make back tree a kingdom. Things like the become India. There's no achievement with these for the most part, but they're interesting to do for I guess no. What about Occitania and CK3? Sandbox. What a, what a specific CK3 and hard to answer points. question. What do I think about them? For many people. I don't think part about of an update them. Update or DLC is the set of new achievements linked with it, and in this sense, we can diagnose a failure to provide ample actualization difficulty. It's like I say, someone was like, "What do you think about the existence of the Kiratist religion in Nepal?" Achievements were not designed. And I'm like, I don't know, bro. Player intrinsically motivated to get them, even if the achievement itself could be. Like, yeah, they're there. Level of challenge. Consider <laughs> Lingua Franca, which is a damn tough achievement. The funny thing about it is that in terms Pop, of did you think about the Ottoman Empire every single day? I dream of the return of the Ottoman Empire. To do what ultimately and then I go to the local conquest. furniture store and I look at the yeah, Ottomans in jealousy, but you take my point. wishing I could share in their noble heritage. This achievement has pushed many people to get it anyway. After which they bemoan the boring nature of the achievement. Compare that to some of the achievements in Legends of the Dead, which most I'm not French just to say. These achievements. Hey man, the French made sure no one thought of the, the thought of the Occitans anymore. That which is intrinsically motivating is entirely different depending on the person. So designing around it depends on knowing stuff about your audience. Take the achievement, the Faroe Islands. So what compared to the game being hard? Get, Skill so issue. It's boring for most players from a short perspective. It's not very novel since it's just completing a legitimizing legend of a particular culture, so it fails the opacity curve. Or what if you're literally an ethnic Egyptian living in Scotland playing CK3? This music is slightly too loud. That I should have balanced it better. be enough to motivate you to get the achievement. Oh well. That being said, the ethnic Egyptian Scottish community probably isn't very big, so it'll only work on a few people. You compare this to something like Blood Eagle. Conquering all of Britannia as a Viking appeals to many people. Not necessarily because it's very challenging, although it is more challenging than the Faroe Islands, but it appeals to the actualization curve because Vikings are cool. Many CK3 players absolutely adore Vikings and their history. 
Sometimes, though, a boring actualization goal could be outweighed by its challenge. Yeah, Consider funny name is correct. Time first King, which is a surprisingly tough achievement, but which wouldn't have any particular reason to strongly appeal to a ton of players. That achievement is kind of popular because it actually is a bit of a challenge, but I doubt people are getting really excited about the foundation of Portugal. Sorry, Elizabeth enjoyers, you're just not Vikings are not country. cool. I think you can see my point here about how this guy. works, and I want to emphasize exactly how broad this can be. Some players just like to make attractive characters or coat of arms in the character designer, and sure, that I'm going to think about the Assyrian Empire, but written in the Spanish uh, or orthography. Character DNA. Some players come in, get 100% of the achievements. Only when I'm doing, only when I'm in Bible study. Only in Bible study. Some players role play, and so on. You get the point. All this is a form of actualization difficulty. So that's CK3's difficulty curves. I'm gonna wrap this up by talking. I think he's almost done talking, chat. I think this this that, this weirdo is almost done talking. CK3's difficulty curve is like, and why the game is appealing to so many people for so many different reasons. Portuguese. That was close. What's the difference? We could take a slice out of a Same thing, bro. They're all Iberian. Figure out what they're going through. Just politics. The curves are very dynamic and sort of form a slider in a way. There may be times where nothing novel is going on. Portuguese and Spanish are like Croatian and Serbian, you know? What's the difference? a strong challenge and the player is motivated to complete the challenge, then the game is still quite Brazilian. Strange. Okay. Where the game hits its point, right, it's different for each player, but broadly, Look out. CK3, I would say, depends Somebody's on going to Brazil the today, curve. and it isn't me. That's because, quite frankly, CK3's strategy aspects are not very difficult to crack wide open. Meta strategies, whether building tall or stacking men and arms buffs, are well known in the community. It's also well known in the community that events get spammed already, so it's not like there's a ton of novelty in CK3 on that basis. Yeah, this is where I kind of ripped the game a new a one, but... Well, well, I, I say, say that, that I didn't rip it that hard. But... Like it CK3. Personally, I love making Was it that even worth getting? Game. I'm a very narrative player, so as I play, I find fun in considering my realm and ruler's mindsets and all that sort of stuff. It's very external to the game. I also find novelty in creating unique situations in the game by conquering regions and appointing random people to rule them, or by making strange new hybrid cultures and all that kind of stuff. CK3 excels as a sandbox game, and for that reason, it's best if It's me, it's me, Chatter's mom. True. true. I'd argue its weakest curve is a struggle curve. <laughs> Ultimately, the game just isn't that hard. Sorry, new players, don't feel bad. Yeah. It's not game's not that hard. The game. It's that CK3 is a game which is easily solved. Once you learn how to play... That's the real problem, right? The game can be hard, but it's just that you can solve it, right? That's the real problem. So to the thesis. CK3's difficulty curve is composed of three different curves, each of which will appeal to players differently. In the future, if you're ever thinking about CK3 being too easy or too difficult, I'd encourage you to consider what kind of difficulty you want. Maybe even consider what sort is that of true? Wait, hold on. Is that would cover that difficulty? For real? Universally understood, the CK3 is that's too crazy. The struggle curve and lacks novelty in the opacity curve. But man, that actualization curve is great. CK3 is a sandbox playground. I think he's wrapping up because he put the he put the the footage. The he put the B-roll chat. Sandbox. He's wrapping up. One day, I hope Paradox might try and focus on a different curve because actualization will eventually die out for most players. This game really could use a harsher challenge that's interesting to overcome. But right now, it's just not there. Anyway, I think, I think he's if you done. Like this video, comment below what your favorite kind of difficulty for CK3 is, and consider subscribing and liking. Thank you for your time. All right, boys. I think it should redirect to my stream. Let's see. Let's see if it does. Bro, does this thing ever end? There, there's my redirect. What am I streaming? It's a good question. Come find out. Or am I too late? Oh god, get out of here. Close it. Okay. How are we doing, chat? Welcome, welcome from the video, chatters. God, why do I, why do I look? I look so bad. It's so bright in my room, dude. It's so bright right now. Can the sun go away? Like, I'm showing off all my... All, like, how am I? Don't go outside. Jesus. Bro. Get some music playing here, because that'd be kind of nice. Oh, not this song. I don't like this song. Give me... Let's chill, you know? Chill a little bit. That sounds good. I heard difficulty in CK3 is coming up with interesting stuff in my head when we game didn't give me a whole lot. Bonjour, you're making mods today. We're gonna make a mod. We're working on a mod today. We're almost done it. I'll show off. I'll actually. We'll do a little bit of play test just just because we got some chatters in here. We we'll probably want to see some actual gameplay. Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually just do a little bit of play testing because why not, right? Kind of fun. Because the mod is effectively playable right now, but it's unlocalized. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of like weird 
no textures and there's going to be like something underscore something underscore something underscore you know all that kind of stuff but it's uh the but it's basically playable why don't we just play a little bit <laughs> what we did is a policy it doesn't work on in your computer bro just get a better computer like what easy clap all right we're gonna play as the only promethean cult character in the game ship well, I guess that is one up here, and there's one up here as well. Sorry about that. It seems that way because of what the Prometheans are in the After the End mod. It refers to this faith. Promethean cults. This one. And then we got, uh, this is, this is, this one part of the mod here. Yeah, all the, uh, Nush Fates get one of these, but only the Prometheans have any flavor right now. Yeah. But it's a different one for each of them. Skill issue, bro. Always. So here's here's what we got. Here's the, you know, basically, you can, uh, you know, become like a Titan King or whatever, dude. I've explained it so many times. I can't. I can't even be bothered anymore. Also, this didn't work, Sag. Didn't, I didn't do this right. It's fine though. Like this, uh, the the symbols. There should be uh, symbols here these but it is what it is let's play the game a little bit um in order to kind of speed up a little bit because i don't want to sit here like playing for no reason give us all some cash and also just gonna we're just gonna take over all of detroit all of detroit architects faith in brazil what is that what is arquitets is that some sort of brazilian thing we can take a look in a second um i don't even know what what that is I'm gonna just take over all of Michigan just to give us like I don't know a head start so we can look at the mods content. Can't have shit in Detroit. True, big true, huge true. All right, let's take all this stuff. Okay, cool. All this. All right, all right, all right. Now let's give land out. We'll just we'll be like Duke of West Michigan and Detroit, I guess. That's not good. I can't. You can't spell it. Damn. I don't know then, bro. You can just download the mod and find out for yourself, Giga Chad. Oh, hold on, I'm not a king yet. Saved. Have I played or tried Suzerain? Bro, I don't play any video games except for Elden Ring and CK3. But also, like you know, I do play other video games. But no, I haven't played that game yet. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just doing a little trolling. We're just doing a little trolling. Cool. Let's get rid of some of these. We have some churches, right? Or no? I guess we don't. We don't really need Windsor. Eight of six. Give us some stewardship. Give me like ten stewardship. I'll make sure that works. I think Opus Ticket 3 and Elden Ring. I mean, it's maybe a little more true than I'm letting on. <laughs> but uh, don't worry about it. Alright, um... Yeah, so... The basic route of the mod is you have to get to Devoted Servant and Distinguished. And then you have to get one of the Lifestyle Traits and have a high stat. Right now we've got more than 20 Stewardships, so if we get one of these stats, we'll be good. So I'm going to give myself one. Um, because... You know, I, I want to get through this mod's content a little bit, show you what's going on here. Okay, prestige, piety. Good, okay, let's do this. So you hit this button, and then you have a couple options based on what your, um, based on what your, uh, what you, what, what thing you have. It gives you, which one gives you a legend. We got the stewardship one, so we go with the Rockefellers. You know, so we hit this, and then we get this legend. The legend's not actually critical to the um, to the mod's content, so if you don't have Legends of the Dead, it's okay. You can, this mod will work without Legends of the Dead. And uh, we're going to start this legend just because it's cool, and I'll show you what it does, but this this is like a pretty, it's a pretty fun little, little button. Basically, when we start this, okay, now every time we build a building, we have a chance of getting an event. So we're just going to start some buildings. Uh, watch as the as they as they cause events to fire some of you might remember when i painstakingly went through and made a way to have that happen
Or we should get married. Does he required? It shouldn't be required, no, but um, it definitely helps though, because some of the content is pretty mod oriented. Also, damn, it's hot in here. Though, let's check if the stove is on back since my, my partner was just cooking, but no, it's not. It's like hot in here, dude. Hate to see it. Get rid of this, sure. Okay, let's also get our guy increasing control. Get a Seneschal. Alright. Here's what we're gonna work on today, by the way. Um part of me is is thinking. Also, here's here's one of these so here's an OSHA event. So to give you an idea of what's going on here, right? We have this this trait, okay, aspiring Titan King. I haven't not localized, right? And it has these tracks. And essentially the way that we become a proper Titan King. Okay. Uh is that we have to complete all these tracks. So we're gonna get these random events, one of them here, the OSHA random event. Uh, it has a couple of different effects. But basically, um, the way that the OSHA track works is by just just living. Every every year, you get four XP, so you gotta live for twenty five years basically to get the OSHA track. But other ones are gonna be a little more complicated. So like Rockefeller requires you to build buildings. Well, you'll see once we finish building, but every building we build is gonna give us um, gonna give us Rockefeller XP. Magra requires us to win wars, but a certain kind of war. I'll show you what that is in a second. Carnegie, we have to make some donations, and then Hill was um, releasing prisoners, I think. Which about your video? You say the experienced players complain about the game having too many repeated events. Players are getting bored through opacity. Are you sure not, not even very new players are also coming into contact with the same few events on loop, even though they do not understand systems that show these systems and still feel bored? I think, um, although a new player may come across the same event twice, they think that that's just because they got weirdly unlucky. So let's say you have, like, a new player, and they get, like, a double event. They're just going to be like, oh my god, I got the same event twice. You know, whatever. They're not going to be thinking... I doubt they're going to be consciously thinking, oh my god, I've already seen this before, I'm bored. There's a difference between, like, the conscious thought of, I'm, I'm bored that I saw this event again, or, um, uh, or, like, you know, just coincidentally seeing the same event twice. Let's see, so we can either get a development growth modifier, but get a new courtier, who is quite a good steward, or we can just get development progress and kill the guy. Sure, development progress me. How's the legend spreading, by the way? Not really that much, but that's okay. Livonia, where's that? Is that... Must be like a... No, it's a... Okay. So I guess we can start trying to win a supremacy war. Because basically the war that, we're, that we have to do for Magrak is called the supremacy war. This right here. So let's declare one of these, I guess. The change vanilla files. Well, this 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 mod that I'm, the sub mod that we're like we're making a sub mod for the CK three after the end mod, which does change vanilla files for sure. But other than that, like no, this mod doesn't doesn't really mess with. I mean, it messes with like one of the mod files. It messes with the religion mod file because it, it adds some stuff to religion. So that's about it. Oh, there goes my seneschal. CK2 definitely has the same issue. So people people cope. Uh, I think the CK2 is like a million times better than CK3. CK2 is definitely like a, like a deeper game in the sense of like, yeah, there's a lot more going on under the hood because of all the DLCs. But CK2 has the exact same pitfalls. Like it's too easy once you once you solve it. There's a, re there's a really important distinction to be had between like too easy and just like simple, right? CK2 and CK3 both are not simple, but they are too easy in the sense that if you drop me into CK2 right now, I know how to solve the game. I know how to just, like, win. Because there's kind of, like, a path to winning. You know what I mean? Like, anyone, anyone can kind of just, like, walk into CK2 and just win. You see, we win the superiority war, so then we get XP in the in the Magarak uh, line, which is great. So there you go. That's how that works. Um, anyone can just drop it. Well, not anyone, but if you know, then you know. It's that kind of thing. That's how it is in uh, CK2 and CK3. If you know, you know, you know? It's gonna have the OSHA event. 
We can gain money but lose XP and get a, uh, a consumerist guy. Okay. We can just kill him for piety. Or we can... We, so we can either... You can either get him to disappear and get piety. Or we can murder him and get more piety. Also, it's the base amount of piety. Henry. Go, oh, dude. Let's do a little bit of donation to for the Carnegie track. This looks like it's broken. Okay, that's unfortunate. Alright, so that's this so basically this just distributes money amongst your vassals basically, and then also gives you a little modifier. Which is cool. So now we can aspire to Titan King status, and you'll see what this does. So if we click this. This basically lets you get a uh, a jump start on any on any particular titan, and also gives you a trait or uh, two traits. I think you have two traits, except for this one, just gives money. So this is just like a way to help you with maybe a particular titan that you want to get extra experience with, or just get a nice trait. So I'm probably gonna go with Hill because um, releasing prisoners can be a little bit difficult to pull off. Just getting enough prisoners for it, so we'll do that. How's Texas doing? Let's see. Um, they seem fine. I don't know, they're just kind of here. They're mostly Spanish, from what I can tell. True, Hovelax, true. Let's take a look at Brazil, by the way, because I know that Eduardo was asking about uh, a religion in Brazil, but I don't know which one it would be. There's a lot of... There's a lot of religions in Brazil. Cowboy religion. Wow. Excuse me, don't you mean fewer actual magicians in CA3? In Brasilia? Where is that? That's like over here, isn't it? Global throne. Damn. So last, I know that game. Yeah, I don't know where exactly it'll be in here, but there's some faith around here or something. Architecturalism, wow. Mongada. What is that dados? They put a lot of effort into Brazil. In the center of Brazil. See, I gotta reorient the map so I can even see. You, yeah, by the way, chat. Okay, listen, listen, chat. All right. I was um. I was uh playing some some uh, Victoria Three last night. Okay, I know that that's. I know that that's uh you know a spooky decision on my part. I was playing some CK Three last night. Oh, not CK3, fuck. Victoria 3 last night, right? And I was having an okay time, um, except for the moments where I wasn't. It was like, it was like having a little bit of fun, and then being like, really frustrated pulling my hair out, and having a little bit of fun, and then hating my life. It was like, over and over again, that loop. Architecturalism? A two-hour ranting coming? I don't think so, but... I don't really have anything new to say, so that we're gonna have a new a rant, but... This architecturalist? I don't even know what this is. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I was I was playing Victoria 3 and I was like, man, like sometimes I'm having fun. And then other times, like there were like for example, I was playing I was playing as America, right? Okay. And I was like enjoying like building up my country and like, you know, doing a little bit of imperialism, getting some protectorates here and there. Um, I was, uh, that was all right. Okay. And then I would be like in a war and then my army gets teleported back home. And every time that happened, I, I, I wanted to like end my life. I was like, oh God, why? 
Yeah, mixed ownership system is coming. Thank God. I'm just saying I asked for it. Okay. I asked for it and we got it. So I'm just saying that that I basically work at Paradox. I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, I, uh, I'm really happy to see that because I think that'll be a very good way to make the game more nuanced, personally. Like, I think that's a very strong way to add nuance to the game. Um, we see our, our traits are getting more experience here. Distrito Federal is Brasilia. Distrito Federal. Is there like a kingdom called that? <laughs> Sorry. Is there an empire called that? I don't even know where that is. You try to find it in the title search. Old Distrito. Right here. Is this it? Oh, it's right here. The Brasilia. Here it is. The Cathedral of Brazil Brasilia. Architecturalists. Donners. Follow the Am Amonesir. Yeah, there we found Brasilia. Found it. Maybe we gotta play as this guy sometime. Leandro. Andango. But yeah, um, one thing that was added that I really liked in the recent Victoria 3 patch, okay? Now, discriminated pops can migrate. So, for example, I was playing in America, okay? I was playing in America, and I conquered South Africa, okay? I had a uh, Zulu plurality in um, in whatever state is here. What is the state that's here? You guys know which one I'm talking about? Like the... It's Wisconsin, yeah. I had, I had, I had a... Uh, lucky for me that it was called Wisconsin in the game. I had a uh, Zulu plurality in Wisconsin. It was really cute. I thought that was really fun. Brazil is the capital of Brazil. Is that actually true? Based? I always thought it was uh, Rio de Janeiro, but, you know, I could be wrong. But, yeah, um... But uh, yeah, I, it was fun. It was it was fun to play as America and just like get every mass migration and just get like a bunch of weird cultures going on. But the game did like there just were some moments where it's like oh god why and and you know what I mean like when it's it's just like the the game breaks or like something weird happens it doesn't make any sense or like it's just there's, there's so many things that can go on in that game that make me that, that I would call them quit moments right that's like the term I would use okay. Like, where you, you just, you're playing, and then something happens, and you're like, I want to never play this game ever again. And it's like, it's so frustrating. It's it's crazy how Victoria 3 can be fun, but also be so frustrating and awful. Some things just don't make any sense, and I hate it. Brazil is one of the cities made to be a capital. I mean, its name literally is Brazil, so. This, this sounds a little bit Brazilian capital-esque. How's the let me check how the video is doing. Probably not very well, I'd imagine, but we'll see. We're probably gonna have a high dislike ratio, I feel like. People are gonna disagree with me, I think. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Could be a good video. If that video, um, Video essays don't to do very well, but it's just a matter of I just wanted to make that video. I wanted to update my opinions on CKT's difficulty. Is he not, is he not giving me a hot take? Yeah, but it's about what I said in the video. I guess most people are just going to read the title, I guess, but I think uh, people are going to, like, I think what I said in the video is, oh, here, here's the, this is a cool event. This is a rare one. This is a very rare event in the way that I listed it. We can basically increase our tolerance. I should make this a, um, I should make this a, uh, what do you call it? A custom tooltip, though. This is a bit long-winded. Based. 
So now we should tolerate, obviously there are no consumerists on the map yet, but I believe we'll tolerate capitalists better now. Oh, righteous. We ship straight to righteous. Okay, that's interesting. I don't. I didn't want it to be that way. That's a little bit too much of a jump. I don't know why I gave skipped right to righteousness, but oh well. We'll try to fix that. That's a bug we have to fix. Go, it should go to hostile first, then astray, then righteous. Vestibular. Dude, all these, all these, all these Brazilians educating me about Brazil, dude. I'm learning so much about one of the. One of the greatest countries on earth, the home of the home of Capoeira. We need some development changes to get through, like TKM feedback. Do you want to trust the plan to older guys the way? Well, I go back and forth on my faith in TK3's development team in terms of their decision making. Uh, I think that the developers are, um, I think that the developers are like very competent but they're they're sort of have to deal with what i what i'm going to end up probably saying is like like shitty publishers like i'm like you know bite the mouth bite the hand that feeds or whatever but like you know paradox as a publisher feels like they've been really fucking up these days like making a lot of like shitty games and like i look at like millennia i look at the star trek stellaris game whatever that was called um it seems like paradox as a publisher and even like little lamplighters that game was okay but you know, from what I understand, I didn't play it, but from what I understand, it was okay. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of recent uh, Paradox published games that are just like really dog shit. Actually, I should, I should actually uh, couch that. They're not dog shit. They're just, they're just mid. They're, they're just, they're just mid. They're, they're not bad. Like this, this is actually a really common thing. It, you know, Paradox publish games aren't like bad. They're just. They're just like mid. I only heard good things about Millennia. Then you didn't hear the. Then you didn't hear the right things, bro. Millennia is like really undercooked. It's super undercooked. It's a. It's a very nice. It's a very nice start to a game, but it's, it's horribly undercooked though. Horribly undercooked. It needs like a ton of work. It feels like. At least in my opinion, after like seventy hours of playing it. Where did you hear good things though? Because I feel like it's pretty. Like the game, I believe, is mixed on Steam. If I check the Millennia reviews, I believe it's mixed. I see. Yeah, it's only got it's got a seven percent positive. Okay, it's not too bad. I was Sao Paulo. He's probably talking about the guy that actually lives there, but like, where is it? Sao Paulo is like it's not down here. It's not this far, is it? Or is it further north? Because huh? this is Rio de Janeiro, right? Or is this? Yeah, it's Rio. So Sao Paulo is like further north, I think. Yeah, the demo people were really hyped about because the, the so the thing is the demo was was like you know a very good show of what the um of what the uh game could have been. And that's like what demo should be, right? The, the demo did a very good job of being what it's supposed to be. Then the game came out and it just like it turns out that the whole game was a lot like the demo in terms of like being a little bit broken being a little bit uninteresting here and there, and being, like, kind of unbalanced. Sao Paulo is southeast, damn. This is Uruguay. That's not Brazil. Bro, who cares about the Solistas anyway, bro? Do your opinions about too much to settle on uh, there are list things I would do to improve the game for a better content focus on future DLCs? Well, there are definitely things you could do to make the game better, but the thing is a lot of them are not like things I could easily express is like do this and this and this. It's more like overhauls of the overall design of the game, right? Also need more water. Also need to use the washroom. Hold on, quick washroom break chat. I know it's the beginning of the stream, but quick washroom break. Then I'll, then I'll expand more on what I mean about things that can improve the game and design decisions and all that. Also, dude, my, my hair. Come on. Give me some volume. That's, that's better. That's better. I'll be back.
Okay, chat. All right, chat. Y'all talking about Brazil in chat? I'm talking about CK3, okay? I just realized that we haven't had any music this whole time. That's hilarious. I didn't unmute the music. That's insane. Music's quiet right now, so I can't hear it, but there it is. So, when it comes to CK3's, like, design, right, what would I change? It's hard to point to, like, oh, I would change this, this, and this. Like, I would change, like, here's, like, exactly what I would change, right? It's more like I, I would have a general different outlook on the overall, like, I, I would change, like, kind of the, the, the philosophy of the game. So, there's a lot of, um, what would you call it? Like, a lot of decisions in CK3 that have to do with, like, providing some kind of reward, and then that reward, like, exists for that character, and that's that. There's not a lot of, like, permanent uh, modifiers, and that's one thing I think... I get why they do that, because they don't want to be that, like, oh, like, you stack up a couple permanent modifiers, and then you're good to go. But here's the real big problem, okay? Permanent modifier is not a good answer, okay? Because, the, in general, I'd say people want to feel like their families are developing, right? Um, in CK2, you mostly did that through bloodlines, you did that through claims, you did that through, um, your, your, like, your, your, the dynasty prestige, because the more your dynasty prestige was, the higher your prestige was when you were born. So you could just have characters that were born with higher prestige and stuff. Or it was by completing, uh, decisions and stuff that would give you, uh, like, new, you know, new stuff, like, whether it's extra troops, or different laws or whatever right there are all kinds of different things to do in ck2 but i don't want to look back at ck2 i want to look forward to something new right ck3 feels like a game where you kind of you kind of accomplish things for no reason besides just wanting to accomplish things so it's like okay you know why should i form the roman empire it's like well it gives me a new trade i guess uh not that i really needed it because if i can form the roman empire i'm already strong for that i don't care and I guess it's cool. You know, ultimately, a lot of the answers to these kind of questions are going to be, it's cool, so I'm going to do it, right? That's fair enough. But I think what CK3 kind of needs is, like, if you, um, if you do something, nice. If you do something, then you should get reward for it in the, in the way of um, new things to do. So remember in, in CK2, some of the bloodlines, okay, and again, referencing CK2 only because they did this on a couple occasions. They didn't do it all the time, but a couple occasions. In CK2, by choosing to, um, to, like, earn a bloodline, some of the bloodlines gave you access to new stuff, like, new things to do. So the best example I have of that is, like, that one intrigue bloodline that let you obfuscate your crimes. So if you were a known murderer, you can make that go away. Okay, this isn't, this isn't proper, right? Sun oh, I've got the rare event. Yeah, the one where your son dies. We have the best conclusions for Bass for free in CK2. Exactly. That's one of the examples I'm talking about, right? We're going to build biplanes in game. No, no, no biplanes. That's one of the one. That's a good example to point to, actually, is that, like, on account of the actions of a particular character. Now, in the case of William the Bastard, that's like a pre a pre baked effect that, like, the Normandy house gets, more or less, because William gets it. And he's like, you didn't earn that, you could say. But even like, um, you know, imagine you're playing as like Ragnar Lothbrok or whatever in the 769 start, and you go and like raid a bunch, or you complete one of the, um, you complete the, um, you know, the the warrior warrior lodge legend like legend stuff. Okay. You unlock like the ability to drill your troops. You unlock the ability to train dogs or whatever. You know what I mean? Like all those different things you unlocked to be able to do. That stuff was really, really cool. Um, and I think that needs to come back in CK2. Not necessarily in the same form. I'm not saying we need, like, oh, like, you know, we need to have bloodlines again. We need to have this again. I'm not looking back at CK2. I'm thinking that the design of CK3 should have some, you know, there should be some, uh, we should try to, like, implement some of that old stuff again because that stuff was really cool. In the sense of, um, the fact that when you accomplish something, what you earn is not a particular modifier or a particular like buff or a particular resource. You earn new stuff to do, right? That I think would be based. Does Florida have the Kennedy Space Center? Probably. I don't know. Bring the presidents down here. Disney Castle. Cool. Natural Harbor in Tampa. I don't know where it would be to be honest, but 
I might be around here, I don't know. Tallahassee. I know a guy from Tallahassee. But, like, the idea that when you accomplish something, the reward is more is, is new, new stuff to do, right? That, to me, would be good. Rather than just, like, a modifier or a, um... Like, instead of just getting, like, oh, here's a new modifier, or here's a trait, or here's, like, prestige. Like, it really sucks when you do something epic in CK3, and then you get prestige for it. And it's like, okay... Road to power could make the growth of count to empire unlock more mechanics or goals intent. I actually so oh what's this? Someone actually attacking me. After a blue water. Why does it also take essence? Is it just like he has multiple claims? I think he had multiple claims. Okay. Um, the uh, the thing that I actually see with road to power, ultimately, is that I'm gonna I'm gonna bet you. Okay, that it's gonna be, like, I don't want it to be this way, but I think it's gonna end up being this way. It's gonna be, like, three, or, actually, let's go with, like, yeah, no, it's gonna be three. Like, three to five. At most five, no, no, no more than three, no less than three. Like, interact, like, character interactions you can have, uh, with your, you know, with, like, your liege or whatever, when you're, like, a wandering character. And then it's like a skill check, and then if you succeed, you get something. If you fail, you don't get something. And then there may be like a couple decisions here and there for like, oh, you can, um, you know, you can, uh, I don't know, you can do something this or that, or you can leave the court, or you can do whatever, but I don't imagine it's actually going to be that complicated. I I'm sorry to say it, but it feels like, uh, also, once you complete one of the tracks, by the way, once you complete any one of these tracks, you can, you can basically choose the track you completed to become like a specialist in. To click this button, and then you get a cool event, and then you get the Rockefeller avatar, which gives you a bunch of stuff. And you get a bunch of dev. All of them give plus 10 dev in every one of your counters. The OP. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't imagine that um, that that rose to power is going to be too crazy in terms of like what you can do. I know if people are going to like hope that it is going to be really crazy. But I just don't really think it's gonna be that crazy. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty alright though. It's not gonna be awful. It's just gonna be like it's gonna be you know assuming that CK3 has the same design philosophy and things haven't radically altered, right? Because obviously maybe they have like a big design change. They, they do a complete upheaval of the normal design. Like sure, then maybe something like that could happen. But I think it's gonna be pretty like standard fare, you know. Ooh, horse code. I don't want to give away Grand Rapids, though. Alright, buddy. What's up, Hagimas, Sipos, Gyros? Fucking Hungarians. I'm joking, I love Hungarians. I love Huns. Wanna go invade Rome together? Do I want to just give up these? I think I want to give up these dummies. I don't really care. Don't really need either of those. Although I do kind of want blue water, but is well, given the DLCs that we've had, right? Hopalax. Just look at what the DLCs we've had. Given that what we had, if there's no change in the design philosophy, they are all going to be mid. Also, we finished. We finished our legend, by the way. If we look at what we get for it, this is what we get. And I'll explain each of these. So. The any completed track Titan Legend effect. This one basically is that um, if we've completed any any of the trait tracks on here, so here we see we complete the Rock Trait track, so this one's complete. If we completed any of them, then we change from being an aspiring Titan King to being a Titan King, so we can basically upgrade to like the the next level trait. The Get Titan King if refers to. If all the if uh, you're already a Titan King, you become a true Titan King. That's like more based. We get Dev in the capital. We also get this modifier in the capital. Nice. Uh, and the capital gets additional building slot, and also gets Struck Oil because Rockefeller, you know, oil, and also gets a new building. I made a new building. Uh, is the mod working? The mod is working. A couple bugs to iron out, and I got to localize, but it's not too bad. The oil rig is a thing. And then finally, 
Uh, this I haven't implemented yet. Whiskey, I'm going to have a war where you can steal development, but I haven't implemented it yet. So it's there, but not really... Miss Skyrim, good. Classic. We're gonna click that. We get a bunch of money. Um, we get a... We get a, an oil rig. We can start upgrading it right away. The thing about the oil rig, it looks really OP. And it is OP. It gives a shit ton of money. One thing to keep in mind about it, okay, is that uh, it doesn't work. You see here, must be Titan King to use. Once this character dies, which he will eventually, he's gonna live for a long time because Titan King gives a lot of health. It's a massive boost. He'll live for a long time. But once he does die, okay, we're going to lose the ability to use that building. What's with my haircut? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with my haircut, buddy? So damn, it's hot out, bro. Why is it so hot? Why is it going to be hot today? What's the temperature? 14 degrees. Why does it feel so hot right now? Hold on, maybe my, is my, is the heating way too high? Hold on one second. It feels really hot, but it's only 14 degrees. Put the thermostat down. I don't know, it was at like 20. So this should be normal, but I put it to like 15. Is gunpowder just an after the end? I think so, but I don't know if you can access stuff with it. Like, I'm not sure how exactly it works, but I think it's in the game somehow. Put more stuff. Our income is pretty crazy now, mostly just because of uh, the Rockefeller Avatar. It's maybe a little bit too OP, to be honest. Uh, it's a lot of money. At the same time, uh, it's it's not, it's not exactly easy to achieve all this because obviously I cheated my way into getting all of Michigan. Um, and you're putting and you're putting a big target on your back because when you have this trait, people don't like you. Although this actually should be way higher. I fucked this up. This is supposed to be like minus seventy or something. My bad. I might tone down some of the income modifiers though, it's a little bit high. Go rig. Create it again. Oh, we can't. We have to get a keep. We can do that. But anyway, once you become a Titan King, okay, you're still not a true Titan King. We gotta become a, a true Titan King, which requires to complete another legend. Um, that's a bit tough, because I think, I think actually I don't have a way to do that right now, because, uh, because the, we don't, we can't click this button again, so we still have to implement a few more things, but, basically that's the, uh, that's more or less the, the mod's content, is like, building up that Titan King trait, um, that's a bunch of events and stuff, but, I think for now, funny enough, I actually don't really feel like, um, working on, working on a, a mod, to be honest, I don't know, we could, we could work on a mod, but, Kind of like, you know, eh, I don't, I don't really feel like it. I don't really feel like working on a mod right now. Part of me says we should just like play some, play some CK3 or something. Because we could, but... I don't know. I don't even really want to play a mod right now. I feel like I just want to play like, I feel like right now, funnily enough, okay. I want to either play Elden Ring or CK3. That's what I'm feeling like right now. But not CK3, Vic3. I don't know why I'm so... Part of me is, what if we just made this into a Vic3 stream? Wouldn't that be funny, chat? Wouldn't that be just be... Wouldn't that just be hilarious? Hey, hold on, is Generalist streaming Vic3 right now? Can I go and, like... Can I can I go and, like, get some inspiration from him? Whatever it is that he's doing? What's he up to? He's gotta be. He's, gotta, he's always streaming. Maybe not today. Maybe he's off. Maybe he's got a break today. Looks like we might have a break today. Let me, um, let, let me launch Vic 3, you know what? Because I gotta be honest with you, okay? I'm just not in... I'm just not in the, uh... I'm not in the, um... In the CK3 modding mood right now. People end up tarnished. True. Very true. Yeah, I'm just, just not just not in the, uh, the, the CK3 mindset right now. Do a little Victoria 3. It's gonna become a Victoria 3 stream out of nowhere. So I was playing it, and now it's like, now I wanna play it, you know? Edit the name of this. So 
Surprise, Vic 3, Extreme, what the hell? I should just do that and let's go to Twitch, rename it. We could actually do a Brazil playthrough. I haven't played Brazil before. Fuck it, dude. It feels weird to to play Victoria Three, but sure, let's do it. Let's uh, game is showing up here. I really wish it wasn't so bright right now. Can I can I reduce? Do that on. If I turn off the lights. Is that gonna help? Let me turn off the lights in the house. Oh, right now every light in the house is off. Okay, it might just that bright out. It's literally just that bright. It's crazy. Actually crazy. Keep the monarchy in Brazil. I guess we could play Brazil. I mean, fuck it, right? I don't know. I just, I just feel like, I feel like um, playing Victoria Three again because I kind of want to get ready for Spheres of Influence, and that's kind of why I want to play it. Part of me is like, yeah, let's get ready for Sphere of Influence, right? Victory3.exe, that's good. Should, uh... I don't like how my headphones ruin my hair's uh, volume, you know? Makes my hair look a lot worse. But that's always how it was, though, even back in the day. Gotta put the hair in the front so I look like the ring or whatever, and then you just gotta flip it back, and then it looks all nice again. Looks better anyway. Oh, so nice. Problem is my ears. Victoria Three is launching, by the way. Just the, it just it's just being slow because Victoria it takes forever to, to launch. Oh shit! Myself, I you actually just going on a rant. I'm gonna go on a rant once the game frustrates me. Give it time. Give it time. We'll get there. The Inca Empire's from Victoria 3. I guess if you play as the one Quechua nation that's in Peru, Bolivia. I imagine that's how you would do that. But... There we go. There, there it is. Okay. So, I know that Brazil has all the um, all that content for the DLC that came out for them, right? The Claws to the South or whatever. I haven't played that content before. So... You know, if I probably should sit and learn it. Yeah, don't bother. If you're not already, if you're not already like super invested in it, like I am, just just quit while you're ahead. All right. Well, here we go, chat. Um, well, um, before we do this, so one one thing before we do this, I want I do want to show you my America game because that was um, yeah, we were having fun with that. This is what I was doing last night. Was this this game? I'll show you, I'll show you what I was working on. Okay, I'll show, I'll show you what's going on. Before we play Brazil, just because I want y'all to see what we're doing. Here's here's what we got. United States of America, and I, I conquered I conquered all the way south through Brazil into into you know Panama. I built the Panama Canal. Pretty based Panama Canal. And then um, you know, got Peru Bolivia as a Dominion. I think they're Dominion, yeah, Dominion. We got Venezuela as a as a well as a puppet. There you go. But yeah. Did I say pursue Brazil? I meant to say Mexico, I'm sorry. I meant to say Mexico. I didn't mean to say Brazil. My bad. But all the way south through Mexico, through the Central American you know, states, into Panama, you know. But I didn't conquer, like, what I happened was, right at, the, right at the beginning of the game, I just immediately did, um, I just immediately did a, uh, a make protectorate on Mexico. And France got involved, but I just, like, naval invaded around to Yucatan and then just went from behind Brazil and France couldn't do anything about it. And then from there, I kind of built the economy and stuff. If you look at the culture map mode, this is the fun part of Victoria 3, of course. We've, we've, we've Yankified most places. But if you look here in, like, Minnesota, we see a pretty large selection of Zulus. That's always fun. We see, uh, you know, lots of, uh, you know, we, we see Dixies in North Dakota for some reason. Brew in South Dakota. And I gotta say, I, I do really appreciate the change that now uh, discriminated pops can migrate. Because we're seeing a lot more, like, fun stuff happening in the Americas, right? If you look over here, we have North Germans and West Virginia, but New York, I like put a lot of work into making this like massive, 
it's just like massive city so if you if you look at it it's got like almost six million pops and there's just like a huge number of people here but definitely it's really op to play as america because you can just get so much migration from everywhere in the world like it's kind of crazy but yeah i was i was having i was having a good time i got frustrated a couple of times here and there number three gdp in the world by the way behind uh eic and jing just hard to hard to beat them but um i was having frustrated moments here and there but overall it actually wasn't too bad but now we'll go and play as Brazil. Look at that. I actually want to um, not... I want to get used to this. So one thing I want to get used to, chat. I want to get used to actually not having uh, my own music playing in the background. Sometimes I feel like it can be a crutch, you know? I feel like it can be a crutch. There we go, Brazil. Turn the game volume up a little bit. It's a little bit quiet. I don't want the. I don't want this music. Let's put the. This way. Does Does Vic three have good music chat? Does anyone know? That's a little bit too loud. Uh, not that bad actually. You guys, give music. Okay, well, we can turn. We can turn it on. Just, just quietly. Has a few bangers, okay. Let's take a look at our archive. So we're we're in two wars. So they want to conquer that. We want to annex him. They want to conquer this. We want to they want to annex him. Okay, we've got an extra army. The six over here. I guess we want to add some conscripts to these armies. A six and eight. So I'm going to rename these so I can keep track of them better. This is going to be the Nordestino army. Let's call it that. I don't know. It just feels appropriate. There's the rename button. There you go. Is eight the one that's in the top or the bottom? No, no. Eight's in the bottom. So that should be Sudestino. I guess it's already called the Sul, but. Or is it Sul? Is it Sulestino? I don't know. We'll give them a blue color. Here. This one. Vlad, the story anti-Semitic? I don't think so. I don't know much about the story, to be honest. So it could be, I guess. But from what I know, I don't think it is. This can be... Um, I don't know. Northeast, sure, why not? I'm just making up random BS, don't worry about me. And I don't know, I don't speak Portuguese. We did a blue one, let's do a red one. Go Norte. Don't, don't worry, don't look, I don't speak Portuguese, okay? Don't worry about it. First of all, get those, get those energy upgraded, first of all. Upgrade these. Get me some conscripts. Kind of anti-Semitic? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't even know the story, to be honest with you. I really just don't know it that well. that works okay okay we have an illegitimate government that's not good what are these okay we can reduce our slave trade what if you want to keep slavery, though? Renewed African cycle. So we can just go super hard on slavery. Probably don't want that, though.
Do we care about our, our landowners are pretty strong. We do have Francisco Sabino. We'll put him in charge. He's, he's a radical though, so you might want to get rid of the monarchy. We have agrarianism, which is okay. Alright, we can do this, I guess. Over here, I think we're going to want to just work towards, like, lathe, like, get this basic stuff. They want to get into railways, obviously, as soon as we can. Good idea. And other than that, I guess focus on the wars. I do believe I had a third army, right? Yeah, let's get them over here. Go with this. And then for buildings, um, stick with it. Are there any journal entries about building things here? This is the... I'm going to get rid of this. Need nationalism for this. You try to keep the monarchy? I could try, yeah. If failed, we get voting and we get a republic. And if we succeed... We basically get intel. I guess I would I would like to have an intelligentsia rule, so this is probably good. Let's try to keep this around then. Okay. I'm a great power. We can try to work towards that. All right. Well, let's get building then. What do we need? Let's check our market out. Check our market out. We could use furniture. I mean, we could do this kind of. I think paper. Let's just, I think it's pretty basic, but paper is a good start, right? Where's most of our um. Where's most of our government stuff? These government administrations. These are mostly in Rio de Janeiro, so let's put down up to paper mills here. Well, these need to get hired. Okay, well, sure. In that case, maybe we also want some wood then. There's like no. I imagine there's like no infrastructure out here because it's all Amazon rainforest and all that. Here, Sao Paulo has space. Get that going. Okay, now let's go and hope that we don't die. Okay, that's E. That's really bad. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to like throw in the landowners, but the intelligentsia just suck right now, and I don't really want to be stuck on like that government. Losing one of our, our, our status. That's unfortunate. We are winning here, though, so that's good. Enjoy minus two. Leader of Brazil belongs to landlords or is a slaver. Okay, hold on. Wait. Well, what's, what's... Which of these is currently happening? The Regency period is... Okay, the Regency period is ongoing. Landers are in government and they're powerful. That's the problem. So we need to okay, so then maybe government's a problem. Okay. In that case we'll go like this then. That should that should help, right? There, now we're, we're still losing two though. Maybe that'll go away soon, because we changed it. Yeah, now it's only minus one. I assume it's because landers are powerful. Peru, Bolivian. Oh, what's this? Sure, I mean, I don't know, it's... why not? Is this... Maybe we could become allies? So we can try to become, like, friends with Bolivia? I guess we can be friends? Or do I want to just move in and just attack them? Like, I could just be like, I want La Paz, and I could, just, I could take, like, Mato Grosso and stuff, but... I think let's try to be friends, you know? I'm not looking to be too aggressive here. Got my own stuff going on right now.
Do I get the Regency? I see. Thanks for the history lesson, boys. Hold on, I forgot to put a timer on the screen. Hold on a minute. We need a timer. Obviously. Where is it at? Come on. Pull, pull up the live, pull up live split. It's important to increase the pogs per minute. There we go. Get that going. Alright, cool. We won this down here, so that's good. Now we just gotta win up here. This is his capital. That's good. That makes it easy. Right on the border. We actually have quite a good income, so we can probably decrease taxes. Yeah, we can def oh we can definitely decrease taxes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's good. That'll help a little bit with our with our terrible legitimacy. The old non-purple you have to better build playthrough. Uh, too late now. Uh, or can we change it mid playthrough? I don't even know. I guess so. But I'm not sure. No, no, let's go blue. Let's go the French, the French color. That's good up, but uh, okay. So this is this is over. This is in the Rio Grande Denise Republic. Bento Gonzalez da Silva and Eduardo Angelim. How do you, how do you say G's? Um, how do you say G's in Portuguese? Angel. I don't know if you. I don't know if you pronounce them like. I don't know how you say them. An act presidential republic. Holy, holy based. I right, run speed one. Let's speed that up a little bit. Portuguese nuts. That's right. I finished the joke for you. Angies. Okay, I don't know. Brazilians, dude. American Portuguese. Why do they call it Portuguese when it's spoken in Brazil? Explain that one. I know it's because of Portugal, but you know, a good meme. Bye bye. Oh jeez, that's <laughs> fuck. Pretty brutal. Okay. How about down here? Yeah, let's go. Let's give amnesty. The why would be overly cruel. Is there a reason why Uruguay should be allowed to exist? Or Uruguay, I guess you could say. But can I get the Landers not powerful? Can I suppress them? I mean, they're really strong, but we can try to suppress them. We have tenant farmers. If we can get to something else, say this. Big three again. Yes, we are playing big three again. No, you're gay based. True and based. We can be friends with. I think being friends with the UK is a good idea. They're strong, right? I don't think you can ever get an abolitionist, um, abolitionist landowner. I don't believe that's a thing. So no, we're not going to exile them. It'd be a waste. I am in Brazil putting kip. That's right. We're in Brazil. He is moderate. Yeah, he, he starts the game moderate. This guy is always moderate. <laughs> He's a historical character. But but I don't think you can get an abol. I can check the I can check the wiki, but I don't believe you can get an abolitionist uh, landowner. Let's 
see. I always get the character ideology. Genesis for Honor of how to cheese a shit? No, I haven't. Yeah, literally, bro, listen, look at this. Okay, look at this. Look. Abolitionist, okay? Country either, you have to either not have already banned slavery, and it can't be landowners. Landowners cannot be abolitionists. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> you can't have, you can't have a landowner abolitionist. <laughs> it's not a thing, okay? Only moderate can be ab- what do you mean? What? What is he saying? Who is he talking to? Alright, with a save and reload? Okay, sure. We'll do it. We'll try it, but... This gaslight the stream is definitely possible. Let's see. I'll, I'll do it. No, he's a slaver. Motherfucker, he's a slaver. <laughs> it's the opposite of what you said. He's a slaver. That's that's so bad. Look into exiles. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay, now I understand. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. I see I see what so well then what we could do is then what we could do we could well we can't get rid of this guy though. Hold on, okay. You have to invite him back. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. That means we have to restart then, because we... Hold on, we can just restart. <laughs> I have an idea then. Hold on. I have an idea. If, if it's broken, then sure. Um, if it's broken, then... Because that, that shouldn't be how that works, I'm pretty sure. But if it's broken, we can fuck around with it. We just have to restart because we have we lost an agitator slot, but we can do that right on game start, basically, if we want to. Hold on. Watch this. So the second the game starts, we just we just go in here and we get rid of him. You got protectionist, that's whatever. And then we can invite him back. Or no, this time he got Republican. So we have to just keep restarting. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Day one Democrat as leader. Eat Mubarak, thanks later. Okay. Let's see if it's gonna be different. It should be different this time, right? We can even just wait a day. We can do that system as well, but let's see. We just keep doing this over and over again. Okay, we got a jingoist. Still Republican, okay, interesting. Ever played Dead Dead 2? I don't even know what that is. Red Dead 2? I have played Red Dead 2. I see, it's because when you- Okay, I understand now what's, what's happening with it. It's because when you exile someone, a, a, an agitator... An agitator can't be- Also, I got a Kofi, by the way, chat. Uh, give me money. But um, an agitator can't be moderate. That's what's happening, right? So that, that's, what, that's what it is, eh? The agitators can't be moderates. So they have to... Um, they have to have some kind of ideology. Is it always gonna? I'm curious. Is it always gonna be a Republican? Or is that is that just how it is? Bingo is, and then is he always a Republican on day one? No, now he's just so it is just random, I guess. Okay, well, we just got lucky that one time, but of course it was when we were already in the game. Do you guys make here on E2? Is this an Indian thing? That's just an Indian thing. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, we don't make Khir, Khir, sorry, Khir, it's just, it's not Arab, it's Indian, but yeah. You'll never get a Final Fantasy 36, okay, based. Wait one day and try? Sure, we'll, we'll wait one day, we can do, we can do it that way. First, I gotta set up all my armies and stuff, though. Uh, so let's do that. I'm just gonna label this one blue. Sure, this is blue. This can be red. Everybody know which army's which. Then we have a fourth army. Or sorry, a third army, I should say. 
general. Okay, let's let's give it a day. And let's try it. No, I got a Republican. Oh my god. Well, I guess <laughs> we can just keep reloading, I mean, but kind of annoying. Bro is sipping wine. Ain't no way. So haram. What I should do is I, sh I should set up the army stuff, then make a save, and then we can just we can just roll every day. I mean, it's annoying, but we can do that. I don't know. It feels kind of gamey, though, eh? But also, it's like whatever. I'm here for a good time, not for an easy, not for a real time. Only a thousand. But I got I got so lucky last time, though. I got so lucky. I got the first one I did was an abolitionist. It was so lucky. Gonna be blue. Now you've had two thousand rerolls. Damn true, true and based. Royalist. Sure, I'm cool with the royalist. Okay, so now that we did that, um. Let's set up our tech and stuff as well, I guess. So, and then let's do government's chill, whatever. Let's lower our taxes a bunch. It's cool. Let's let's suppress the landowners. I guess we don't really need to, but yeah, it's good. This is the most popular shoot of the dead game, bro. I changed I changed my thing. Okay, that's all. I changed my uh, my category midstream. That's always a way to kill your stream. It's fine. I right, let's save. And then we'll um we'll just just keep on. So let's first try it on day one. Got a royalist, cool. What did he become? Oh abolitionist, great. Okay, easy clap. Okay, well. That easy boys. Sometimes it's just that easy. There you go. Now we just go ban slavery real quick. Yeah, wow, everyone loves that. <laughs> okay. Well it was uh that, that, that's an easy way to get rid of slavery. That's kind of hilarious. Abolitionist landowners. Holy Giga Chad. The life support? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a... Bit of a life support type game. Golden Law, day one. You love to see. Oh, we should probably select the Oh, oh shit. My bad. It is OP. It's very OP. Did EU5. The legendary EU5. The mythical EU5. Oak left abolishing slavery. True. Oh, nice. This guy got sent back off his front. That's probably very frustrating for him, but good for me. Am I going to lose to Graupara? Ain't no way. Yeah, Vic 3 is a game I, I like to play in waves, right? So I like it for a little while, then I hate it, then I like it, then I hate it. Right now, I think I'm on a, a Vic 3 wave where I'm like, yeah, I'm down to play the game. I'm, 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 I can play, I, I can stand to play a little more Vic 3 these days, but. So damn, this guy is just getting fucked. Like, bro, stop losing so hard. And yeah, nice, I got sent off the front, get wrecked. This guy got sent off the front for no reason. Skill issue. Skill issue. Total skill issue. Now we have neutral relations with Austria. It's England we have good relations with from the start. Yeah, well, not really good. We just have like acceptable relations, I guess.
just gonna casually get rid of slavery, dude. So OP. I love how this game is like not broken at all. Ragamuffin is a goofy ass name. Kind of true though. Honestly, true and based. Make Uruguay cis platina again. True. Yeah, Brazil does have a fancy DLC. It's called Colossus of the South. Brazil do be having a unique journal entry stuff. Oh, we're both fighting with like no men. It's hilarious. This is the most scuffed war. Well, 15 regiments, 1.2k. That's that's great. There you go. We did it. Bye bye. There you go. That's done. No, even behind doesn't matter. You just win anyway. It's not, it's not like you have to really try to win. Incorporate everything. Can we just can we just protect her, Bolivia? Would anyone care? Like, couldn't I just couldn't I just destroy Bolivia very easily? I guess they have a lot of units actually. It's not that bad, but I gotta disband this army. There's an English admiral based. John Grenfell. There he is. English Protestant. Please, it's puppets. But why? I guess we could stop them from forming. That's the idea. We don't want them to form into like proper Bolivia. Damn, Generalist is the lumber mills are the best. I believe that though. I used to say lumber mills were the best, bro. I didn't have the numbers for it, but I had enough experience in the games to know they were the best. Lumber mills are just are, are quite good. Do you guys remember when I said that? Uh, that I remember when I made my Ching guide. Um, when I made the Ching guide, I mentioned how like Ching is limited by like wood. That's like what yes, you need to get more wood in order to be like a more powerful Ching, because the wood is just so important and good. We could just go for this. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. No reason not to, I guess, right? Take North Peru, sure. Do that. I mean, yeah, this actually sounds pretty good. So why not? You need people to help us if we want. It's pretty funny. Only problem is I have, like, no men in my armies. That's kind of weird. Skips there, nice. Like I think we might actually lose because we're not we don't have enough manpower. We'll see though. Don't take Bolivia. Too bad. I'm 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 making a protectorate, bro. I want them. This Peru. Too late, bro. If it if it fucks me, it fucks me. It's fine. We're already kinda cheating with the slavery band, so fine. What is um so should, what does Chile want if they were to join the war? Liberate subject, South Peru. Sure, let's do that. Basically destroying the game's balance, damn, I bet. Peru form immediately after you get them. Really? Okay, well if it happens, it happens. We'll see what happens. Do we have dies? Probably not, eh? Let's just stay on the defensive for now. There's the golden law. Let's go. Pick it like this, yeah. Good. Cool. That's been resolved.
Yes. To get the Nordestinos. Nice. Brazilian time. So many Afro Brazilians. Crazy. Can I get off of? Can I get to like cultural exclusion now? Kind of nice. So we can not discriminate our our slaves, our former slaves. They would native South America with the Kachua. I know like a little bit, but not much. I think the best challenges you get three is. I think Bossy is quite good. Yeah, Bossy is very good. Right, that or pensive. Bossy and pensive are both quite nice. Not joining the British customs. Yeah, problem here is manpower. I think we can probably just go around though. Like if I were to just take a navy and just be like naval invasion in, in Lima. Just do that. You know, it'd work out. Gonna take a while, but Oh he's retreating. What the fuck? How he was winning and he gets he just starts retreating out of nowhere. Based. Alright, Chile, you go win the war for me while I, you know, just chill. We're gonna liberate now. Bro, it's too late, okay? I already I already did it. Okay? I already did it. It's too late now. If it's suboptimal, it's suboptimal. It's fine. We're here for a fun time, not for a not for a meta time. Being pushed in here, but it's okay because Chile is gonna just win from the back. The AI is paying its naval invasion. It's kind of impressive. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. Not used to that from the AI. The AI do be trying to not just lose. Although Chile is gonna just win the war, so thanks for that, Chile. Come on, you're so close. Just just win another battle. Come on. There you go. Good job, buddy. That's how you do it. And now all the fronts get fucked, and now they're gonna rush straight to Rio de Janeiro. Ready? Because the fronts get totally fucked by that. Because this game is see, look at this. They just get to go to Rio de Janeiro for free. Because they just the fronts are ruined. <laughs> I hate I hate the game. I'm frustrated by the game again. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Alright, let's just do this. Oh no, Chile doesn't like that. That's funny. <laughs> Oh sure. So Lista's. Go. Yeah, this is just like his fronts are funny. I mean, it's fine, honestly. We're still gonna win, but it's just annoying. Okay, almost done. These scuffed Big 3 War, yeah, because the guys got sent around, so then suddenly it didn't work any very well anymore. Oh, I see. So the, they just made Peru. Oh, I see. So it made Peru immediately form. I see. So Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. Great. So now we have. We just control Bolivia and Peru, which is nice. Probably should have an interest down here, shouldn't I? Well, we probably should do the classic strat of going to, to you know, South Africa. For the gold. Is this Platina? Okay, we protectorate it. I mean, we could do that, but also we could just conquer them. Like 2.8 2 infamy to protectorate Uruguay. That's pretty funny. Why wouldn't we just conquer these guys, though? Like, what? I guess... I guess because they just, like, aren't our culture, but, I mean, it's pretty easy. They, they should be, if they're segregation, we should accept them. I don't know. I should probably, um, where's my highest, let me check my migration traction. Let's try to get some migration going here. 
Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Let's try to make those even this. Let's get some um, get some decrees going here. Good. Us. That's good for now. We'll just do those two. That should help us with getting mass migrations. If we check the ledger, what's our what's our mass migration traction like? Okay, we're like fourth. And okay, New Granada's number one. I mean, if they're high up, I mean, we can honestly just if we just they like, conquer them, then we can use them. But the problem is that my my armies are so my armies are so um what do you call it? Like low on manpower. I think we have to stay off war for a bit. I don't know why they have such low manpower, but you know, we don't want to be at war right now, so we'll chill. Very damaging relations. So. What, do we have a company? We can't have a company yet. Okay. Raise military wages. We can. Yeah, that's a good idea. Not a bad idea at all. That increases the. I guess it'll just increase the wage, so then more people are more likely to want to join that as a job. Fix out. Fix out. Pedro a child or a midget? Pedro is a child. He's currently 12. He has the child trait. So you know. He's chilling. What is your YouTube PFP? It's um it's it's an old ex-girlfriend's cat that was photoshopped off the jab of the hut from Star Wars. Ugh. That's all. Based Guarani Giga Chads. So we're gonna get the the W from the landowners. Makes sense because they're pretty popular. I'll wait till after the election to do this, but yeah. Throw the throw the parties together to make more legitimacy. Yes. Something weird we can do in the world. Like I don't know, can we like I guess I could go invade South Africa, but again the armies are pretty low on men. Yeah, there's just not a lot of see th this is you guys are mostly irregular. Let's get them. Can we upgrade these irregulars? I'd like to not use irregulars if we can avoid it. Yeah, that'd be nice. Invade Brittany instead. I don't think I can beat France though. Uh, I'm from Turkey originally. Ethnically. You get Acre, Acre from Bolivia. The dino ranches are broken. Bro, what did this guy just say to me? What the hell did I just. And the game crashed. Nice. Nice. I love Victoria 3. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 Or the UK, though? Probably not. Not if we invade through the Zulus. To be fair, Victoria the Crash could be a me issue. Get Acker from Bolivia. The Dino Ranches are just broken. What the fuck? What what are these? What is what is what is a Dino Ranch? Explain that to me. Game is launching, by the way. Just it's still a black screen for a minute, but it's launching. 
I love when the game crashes. Can the, can the game show up? Hello? Victoria, do you want to appear on the screen? No, thank you. Thank you, sir. Alright. There are dinos on Hacker. I see. Okay. It's a, it's a Brazilian joke. Hey, the X, X, A. Well, how do you laugh in Brazilian? Or in, in Portuguese? Well, Brazilian, Portuguese, whatever. Isn't it X, A, X, A, X, A? Ha, 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 you know? They laugh with X's in Portuguese, I think. We're all missing critical information some way or another, buddy. It's K, is I got it. Sorry, that, that's the laughing. What language laughs with X's? Like, like a X A X A X A. What language does that? There must be a language that laughs with X's. It's out there somewhere. Russian. Okay, it's Russian. Gotcha. I mean, is there any reason to not just like go after Argentina? And Chile, like, why don't we just wait? Is there reason? Is there any? Re I guess again, our army is, it's H's. I see. Yeah, because the X's make H sounds. Yeah. We need to wait for our boys to reinforce before we go to do more wars. Are they reinforcing at all? They're just Cyrillic, yeah, Cyrillic nerds. Average Cyrillic enjoyers. Well, that could be funny, yeah, to bring it just up here. I mean, sure, I think it'll, it'll be funny, so why not? Oh my god, putting Kip. <laughs> Average CSGO player be like. Why not Bolivia? I already I already have Bolivia. They they're they're my they're my protectorate. Look at our market, isn't that beautiful? Get them for free? Okay, sure, we can try being diplomatic with them. Why not? I think we should probably head into like Zulu or something. Kind of funny. You guys should remember that I I I am also a Victoria Three player. You know, I'm not I'm not totally clueless about how the game works, but I'm just uh, you know out of the loop on the meta, you could say. I hate when this happens, we just, just, just know none of them to show up. Yeah, like, can I get, can I get some, like, text? Yeah, this is just broken. Uh, still broken, okay, well. We're just getting a from Britain, I mean, fuck it, we can, you know, Britain's a good trading partner, I guess. Oh, they did have any uprising, I just didn't. Uh, oh, you mean down here, though, for these guys? Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep an idea. Alright, cool. Pedro has, has grown up. He is. He's 14, he's already an adult. Giga Chad. The more some are questionable, it's fine.
Alright, so we just need to get the Paulistas. Requires us to get the River of Coffee journal entry, okay? Cool. We'll work on that. Or we need to get the National Hero, that works too. Up tea time. Coming home from school, damn. University or like high school? Or god forbid elementary school. I think after the demo come out for the other week because I saw someone play it before it was on Steam. Yeah, it was on you were able to download it like manually from I forget where, but like you know the the, the the on the Discord on the modder Discord there would have been like a way to get it, but uh, then they put it on Steam, which is nice of them. Oh, did I do my did I do my grasses greener degrees degrees? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's good. Put more down because we want to get more mass migrations if we can. Just get these four where it's at. Okay, yeah, these are like the only ones that are that are good. What about do we do Grande the Soul? Sure, do that. We just want like whatever, whatever will get us more mass migrations, basically. First, I'm actually then graduating though. Damn, bro is young. Got young whippersnappers. Sure. Character appears in Brazil. Who is it? Oh, this guy. Probably. Afonso Barbosa. Alright, well. Hopefully we pass this because this would mean that we don't have to we don't have to discriminate against the Afro Brazilians who are a very large portion of our of our country. We'd like to you know accept them. It's actually crazy to me like how like the vast majority of Brazil just is slaves. Like it's crazy, dude. That's that's insane. And yeah, we can change our puppets. Also, yeah, I know about that. You can go in here and change their stuff. Although it's not very well advertised. How's our army doing in terms of manpower? We're almost back to full, which is nice. How big's our navy? We only have we only have ten ships, so if we were to invade the Zulus, we want to get more ships, I'd say. Maybe we try and do that. Let's get some more ships. Oh, we have to do it like through this, right? Click on this guy and then. Get 30 ships, that sounds good. Alright, have a good time at work, Dreams. This was a boomer-friendly stream. I also thought that, but the children are invading. This kid born after EU4? Ain't no way. Come back in our sure. Is the lumber company good or bad? Um, I feel like the lumber company. Is it this one? What are you talking about? Um, this seems pretty all right. The tooling workshop uh, throughput is nice, and the infrastructure population is nice. But I don't know. Ultimately, I feel like. Well, to be fair, logging camps are super good. So maybe this actually is worth doing. But usually, I try to go for something that gives throughput on like, like 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 this one would be good for me. Well, actually, you know this is hard to keep the prosperity up, but. Like, I'd probably go something like... What would be good here? Well, obviously the gold producers would be pog, but... Like, Brazilian metals is nice, because that way you get more throughput on your mines. 
That feels good. Um... Maybe like the the steel the steel consortium for the uh, just getting more steel, that can be super good. Yo, theocracy, ain't no way. How do we get the uh, the, the the rivers of coffee? Intensive agriculture and 50 levels of plantation. Okay, well, we can do that. Okay. We can just spam a bunch of coffee down here for me. Coffee's nice. Marcus Bruce for the lulls. We could, but it's like, why? Like, sure, but... Point. Oh, we need coal. I'm gonna have coal. Never mind. We need coal. We need coal before we can do that. I'm not queuing up a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna be wild until this gets built. It gets built, but it is what it is. Why are we building a banana plantation? I don't care for that. France came to Brazil. Wait, did we get did we get a migration? I didn't notice. I wonder if we can actually beat out the the Americans for for migration. Yeah, we're we're third. We're beating the Americans, but New Granada is quite high, eh? and Bolivia. Well, what's our what's our next highest one? So Paraná Paraíba, we can definitely put some. Francis bankrolling me? Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. Where's this one? I mean, sure, we can just drop more, drop more gra gra green grass or whatever. I love when kids try to prove they're not like other kids. I'm not like other kids. I play paradox games. I'm not like other kids. I have interests and passions. I'm a unique person. Yeah. South America all green? Maybe. We'll, we'll see. See if we do that. Guys, when I was a teenager, okay? Let me tell you guys about my my time as a, as a teenager, okay? When I was a teenager, okay? I did I did, I did did several things. One, I was, a, I was in theater. Okay, obviously a theater kid. Every streamer was a theater kid at some point in their life, just how it is. Um, I, I, I played Science Jeopardy in, at lunchtime because I was a big nerd. I used to, um, I used to, uh, what do you call it? I used to go, so I had math class, but I didn't like math very much, but I was okay at math, so it, so I didn't really care. Um, so I would skip math and uh, I would go to chemistry because I preferred chemistry. And I used to raise my hand to answer questions from my teacher, uh, from the teacher in that class. And one time, she normally didn't question, but one time she was like, are you even in this class? And I was like, no. She's like, why are you here? And I was only there because my other friends were in that class. But I was also there because I liked chemistry. Um, so that was that. Skip math class to go to that. I did, um, I used to go hang out with my well, my best friend to this day. He's still, still my best friend, but I would hang out with my, my best friend, my buddy, Indian guy. Very close friend of mine. We would go to his house, and we would we would have a sleepover, and we would read... I'm not even fucking joking with you. We would read Meditations by Marcus Aurelius together and then put together our interpretations of the chapters. Uh, because we were just so cool and so epic that we read philosophy books when we were teenagers. That was, that was, to be fair, some of the best times of my life. But also, well, that's hilarious looking back. It's incredibly based. Thank you. Is the regime for everyone? Could be funny. Theocracy. Let's see, what, let's see what happens over there. Did you do drugs with that? You're just raw dogging. Right? So we were raw dogging, and we didn't do drugs. We were like very. So my my friend came from like a pretty 
pretty conservative Indian family. I came from a pretty conservative, like, you know, Turkish family. So, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't do anything fun like drugs. We just kind of, you know, read books. He dented someone's car. Good job, Hotis. Good job. This is, what happens, this is what happens when you watch the stream instead of watching the road. Still third place. Fuck, dude. To be fair, one of them is Bolivia, who's my own subject. So if people migrate there, that's fine. Because, you know, that's... I'm going to be going to Canada. Bro. Come to Brazil. The fair shit than I do, bro. I was a crazy kid. Alright? I was a crazy kid in high school. Did all kinds of weird stuff. Okay, Bolivia's number one now. New Granada got one. They got Bosniaks, bro. Lucky. I guess we could just make New, New Granada a, a subject, though, and then we can just steal those pops. Like, we got, what, 18 battalions? Three cons, we got 29 battalions? How's is our army actually reinforced yet? Looks like it's mostly reinforced. Problem is landing, but I guess um they don't usually put troops in Panama, so we should be able to land. Also, we can. Oh, actually, no. This will be easy. Hold on. Yeah, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna protect her at New Granada. Looks like Mexico joins on their side. Maybe Ecuador. Uh, this none of this matters. Mexico could be kind of a problem, but I'm not too worried. So we're gonna put the big army right here. With the conscripts, and then we're gonna take the eight army. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mobilize them all, but we're gonna just assault around. We're gonna just send the troops around to. Uh, to deal with um, to this naval invade in Panama. I did change. I changed regime on Peru. Oh, you want to change regime on, on New Granada, though? I mean, we can't, first of all, but second of all, why? France? France? Why? No! <laughs> Why? France? It didn't say that France would join. Britain. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make a- let's do World War One real quick. You know. Why not? Picking Guyana. Can't stop me. What are you gonna do, France? Kind of switch on Canada? No, but but no, but they're, they're helping me though. They're helping me. I want France's money and I want Guyana. Oh god, look at this. Hopefully Britain actually does help and doesn't just like ignore the war. Looks like we have an open front here, but the French army's coming, yeah, okay. Oh god. It's kind of scary. Go New Granada? Yeah, I'm making a protector though, so I don't really care to push it. Okay, let's get the navy. The navy's already kind of here, but it's gonna have to go around to here, I think. So, go we'll put it over here. For a thousand minute fighting in Guyana. This is gonna be pretty. Dude, can Britain, can you. Can you, like, send help and not just. Where are you going? Can I get some help, please? Let's, let's make let's give some more time for the units to get to the front. Advanced slavery, sure. Sure. It's gonna go horribly, isn't it? I'm, I'm throwing, aren't I? If I had to back down, then he then France gets a tri it's a port in me, which is Sag. I don't really want to back down. Okay, luckily Britain sent some army here, so that's good. Okay, so we just have, we just have, we really just have to we really just have to like get in get in here, the Antiquoia, and just send in like you know send these guys in. They'll invade Guyana first. Ooh, that's... Maybe that's a good idea, but I think... 
Actually, that is a good idea. Hold on. Let's do that. That's a very good idea. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, this can work, this can work. Most functional victory war system, true. Look at that, yeah, easy easy clap, dude. Okay, I didn't realize that would be so easy. That's kind of crazy. Hold on. Let's um let's do another naval invasion now. Put this guy on my advanced front chair. Do that. That 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 fucks up France pretty hard. There's still a battle happening here, by the way, somehow. The 60 the 60 stack is they leaving. Still a battle happening though. Yeah, they're they, none of these are navies, these are all just armies, so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, there's sending troops up here to come and fight back, but that's okay. Honestly, as long as they're distracting the troops, it's fine. We're gonna take these islands, I guess, because that's funny. So we got an election as well. Sure, this looks good. That's a pretty good party, actually. That's actually not bad at all. Can I get to laissez-faire? Is that a... I mean, it looks like it, but it'll upset the uh, rural folk. Let's chill on that. Ah, darn. We got we got defeated. That's okay. I think we're just I think we can just push through here. Like, I think we can actually just push through win that way. How are we looking over here? Are you just yeah, they they won. Okay, that's good. Can we do another naval invasion? Can we just try again? No, because they got defeated, right? Okay. It's laid just one front, so that's pretty chill. Um there's that front, I guess, but are y'all actually- don't go there. No, no, no. Go go here. Let's all just pile up here. We did ban slavery, yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, push through, Quan. Just- yeah, there you go. Nice. I love how fronts work. Come on. Before anyone gets here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the cap. There we go. Easy clap. I don't worry, tea time. It's fine. You're good. Don't worry. There's no uh, no worry about interpretation of words. It's all good. I assume everyone in chat always has a good intention with everything they say. Based. Nice. Oh man. Yeah, this is an easy clap, dude. So we're gonna be able to steal Guyana off of France, which is nice. Um, it's gonna take a while because France is probably not gonna be willing to surrender too quickly. And all it cost was an obligation with Britain. Also, we're being invaded. Okay, that's not good. But France has a navy. Okay, I'm no, sorry, but UK has a navy, so I think we're okay. So whatever this is, I'm pretty sure the UK will keep our coast our coastline safe. And even if the Fran France is getting there, like, is it really that big of a deal? I guess it could be. Are you really... What are we... Don't, don't leave. I need, I need this. He's actually just gonna. Okay, hold on. We need to. He's not. He's not. Um... Brit Britain's being weird, champ. We need to go back home. Need two days to get back home. One days. Oh. Let's see, because UK decided to just not contest this. Fortunately. Okay, no. UK's got a fleet there. Okay, cool. Either right, we won that. That's good. Nice, okay, good, good, look at that, good, good. Looks like, yeah. Sick. Just hold them off till the armies get there. Okay, the army should get the other getting there real soon, then, they, then we can hold off whatever landing they do. Love a negative, and we should be fine. Oh my god, are they trying to land in... Is, Brit is, is Brit Britain trying to land in Normandy? Okay, or not Normandy, but in Picardy. I like Kendrick Lamar? Yeah, he's alright. 
I don't listen to him all the time. I'm more a J. Cole fan in terms of like modern rappers. Although I do enjoy me some gangster rap from the old, you know, the 80s and 90s and stuff. You know, some Ice Cube. So I think my favorite rapper is probably MF Doom. Rest in peace, by the way. Nice. I'd love to get to laissez fair. Um, how will the roll folk get pissed at me? Like, will they do a revolution, or is going to be upset? Let's see, I think they're going to do a revolution because the landowners are going to also join them. But no, they won't because they're in government, so they probably won't. Yeah, they're going to. Okay, no, they do, but I think it'll be okay because the rule folk are pretty weak. This is going to be hard to pass because of all the support, but. Fundamentally just bad, or we find it actually working as intended. If it works as intended, it would be good. But the fact that it's so horribly broken is what makes it bad. Otherwise, it would it would be good otherwise. The problem genuinely is that it's it's not working. It's it's not working. It's the intention is, is good. Like not to get rid of to get rid of like um all the micro and stuff. Like that that is a good intention, I think. But because you can design a game around having like a lot of macro warfare and getting rid of all the micro warfare, but you know, making it, you know, when everything's broken, it doesn't work very nicely. How am I? I'm good. I'm, I'm glad that Ramadan's over. I've been drinking water throughout the stream. A luxury which I did not realize how much I valued until it was gone. There you go, bam. Guyana, taken. Easy. Integrate that. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. That's hilarious that Am Am it's, it's an Am so we made Amazonians Brazilians. So, wait, do Amazonians... Wait, no, this is not the same kind of Amazonians. Sorry, this is not the... This is not... This is, never mind. It's not, it's not the same... It's not the same kind of Amazonian as the one that was before, yeah. It's... Yeah, never mind, I, I was being dumb. Because there's an Amazonian, it's the Amazonic. That's the one I was thinking of. A Amazonic is the Lusophone Europeans, but then this is Amazonian, like the natives. Okay, gotcha. So much money? Yeah, thank you, France. France is going to pay us a lot of money. Very nice. They will not accept this. Okay. What's up, Eduardo? How you doing? No appreciate why it's the after Ramadan? Exactly, yeah. How much Ramadan ends? You're like, yo, water? That shit's bussin'. Fine. So, we could just go to war with Bolivia and probably just destroy them. But that, they have 19 battalions. How's our, is our army, like, low on manpower again? No, we're good on manpower. Okay, we're going to reduce autonomy then. I think we'll just destroy them. And we'll save these guys for a naval invasion. Perfect, yeah. The Netherlands. Sorry, putting Kip. We might go after your home country in the near future. So how's the lighting right now? The lighting's probably like fucked, yeah, because it's so bright out. Sorry, Chad. I can't. I can't do anything about the sun. Every light in the room is currently off. But this, I guess, actually not that bad. But I don't know. I look a little bit too lit up. I look like a. I look like a fucking zombie because I don't go outside enough. It is what it is. There's your influence. You'll see it. No, that's like next month. Lighting is fine. Yeah, I just I like it when it's a little bit. Darker, I guess. Look like a gamer. Yeah, I know. I do look like a gamer. God, I gotta try to fix that. I gotta go outside more. Chat. I got. I gotta. I gotta go outside more often. I don't go. I don't go out enough. I don't go out enough. Chat. I want like a warmer light. Looking good. Yeah. No. 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 This ain't looking good, little bro. Also, give me war operations. Cause fuck you. Also, we can return state. Give me. Yeah. Give me my state. The caucasity, true, yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just controversially white because I'm Turkish. So you know, is that white? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think, Chad? Can we can we get a um? Can we get a? I don't know. I was gonna say a poll, but I don't want to do a poll. So can we get like a a a 
a, a vague idea of chat's opinion on if Turks are white. Go to the pub tonight? No. Good, I don't drink, so. Well, I've gone to the pub before without drinking. You don't have to drink at the pub. Yeah, answer me. It'll be this chat. The Turk white. Fully defeated. Okay, well. Damn it, bro. Go to your HQ. What? Okay, there we go. That was weird. Bro was like bugged out. Define white? Whatever it means to you. Oh, I see. Is that actually why? Damn. I mean, of course, Turks, of course, are superior. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's that's a troll. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I was more just thinking about the way that. Um, I was thinking more about the way that. Um, like the way that they're they're seen by like basically American society. To be honest, not really any other side that really matters much. What the hell is this, bro? Is this really the the best way to do the naval invasion? Is just to like march through the front. Run through La Paz, like just run through the through the mountains, through the Andes. Get 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 in boats in their port. This is not even oh no, this, this is a Peru's port. This is a port we own at least. Get in the boats. Get get on the and then and then invade. Okay. I was born in Canada. But I have Turkish citizenship. Is that really the best way to do this? New national hero. Okay, excellent. That's the- don't worry about that, that's wrong. The goal is wrong, it's always wrong. Never trust the goal. Never trust it. Well, this run? I don't know, just play Victoria 3, because I want to play Victoria 3. Exper experience the Brazilian- the Brazilian content, I guess. Racism is dumb AF. I agree. I also agree that racism is dumb. I am not... I, I don't like racism. Turks are based in Sigma, Sigma build. IMO. Real for real on God. Okay, so they're actually almost in Rio de Janeiro, which is unfortunate, but... Um, what, are, what are you doing? Are you even on the front? He is. Okay, that's good. Let's just get you to defend, then. Bro just sent the same message again, because he thought it was that funny. Respect that. Respect the dedication. Um, I guess we can just get rid of some taxes while the French are paying us. I don't want to build a bunch of construction while the French are paying us, because that's not going to last, but... Yeah. There we go. Okay, so they might get into Rio de Janeiro, but I'm in La Paz already, so I think we win by just, you know, how much more occupation I have. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. We'll be fine. Okay, and the front's got broken. Okay, let's go. I did go to war with France. We took, we took Guyana. We took French Guyana. Managed to get it, which is pretty bussin'. We also got their war operations, which was nice. Maybe with the Armenians? What are Armenians? That's what I think. Fucking got them. Whatever, whatever is claimed to have done to the Armenians didn't happen, but if it did, they deserved it. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I think that the Armenian genocide is awful, and I think Armenians are fine people. I don't know. I don't actually. I've never actually met an Armenian before, so I, I don't know. But you know, only Armenians I know of are the Kardashians. To be fair, pretty bad. Um. Pretty bad uh, example, you know, to set, but it is what it is. What the hell is this war simulation? Yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, when the army marched through the enemy territory to get to the port in... Is this Lima? Is this Lima around here? Lima's around here somewhere. In Lima. And then to get on the boats and then to invade here. Or is this where Lima is? I don't know. The point is, like, you know, that was hilarious. But, okay, cool. No more autonomy for Bolivia.
We have so much money. I mean, I guess we can build some. Put some in Rio de Janeiro. Is genocide denial legal in Canada? Uh, it probably is, yeah, but I'm, I'm joking, obviously. We can form Trans-Caucasia. That's pretty cool. Trans represent re trans representation. Let's go. I know it's different, but you know what I mean? It's funny. We're not invading South Africa. I guess we probably should do that. Damn, that's pretty based, em Amateris. Have like a personal connection to something like that. Quite based. We could go and invade like South Africa, but it's like, eh. I don't think we really need to. It's fine. Make it hard to be an American in a deeply red state. Damn, bro's living in a red state. Skill issue, to be honest. I see the United States would not help Mexico if I were to try to make them a subject. Bro, we got a stall, really? Is that actually the world that we live in right now? Another stall? I think Uruguay, please. But why? Also, we have so much money, dude. I can't spend this money. I guess increase wages. I mean, do everything. Fuck it. Thank you for the money, France, but I can't spend this money. Yeah, it makes South Africa do what you do in, in victory, but it's fine. Bro is annexing Van Diemen's land. Why? Why are you doing that? Actually, 10 years in. I know. It's because... Because, um... <laughs> probably should make more, yeah. We definitely need to make more. We're working on it. I was playing a little conservatively because I, I hadn't played Brazil before, but definitely we need to increase our production. I don't actually really want to integrate these guys because I want to keep my migration attraction really high. And we might get lower migration attraction if we integrate them. Hey, what's our... Oh, dude, America's beating us, bro. Why is Canada getting all the freaking immigration? Fucking Canadians, dude. No more immigrants. Come on. Civ 6 pilled. Imagine playing Civ 6 when Millennia exists. Was this time for Vic 3? Last night I did an America playthrough, but I didn't really play like very attentively, so. Americans' voices get on your nerves. Why why actually, yeah, why is that? Why is that the case? Americans sound pretty normal to me. We could use some coal mines, that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, we already have some queued up. They yell all the time, based. Based in true build. If you flow over here, no! The story city council's gonna know! No! They can't. Can't watch any American streamers, bro. Do I sound different than an American streamer? Like, is there, like, do I actually have, like, a distinguished sound from an American? Also, come on, you must watch Dumb Idiot, but okay, come on. The most American streamer out there. Like, XQC, like, every Canadian streamer? Fuck. Guys, um, looking for, um... Wood imports. I, I can't sound as incomprehensible as XQC. I, I can I can do like a little French Canadian type accent, but I can't sound incomprehensible how he does. The no, you literally sound it's in your Americans. So you said you were Canadian. Yeah, it's because we don't sound very different from, from Americans. Only when we're like memeing. Some words I can tell sound Canadian. Yeah, certain words will end up sounding Canadian, but like the way I say sound can sound kind of Canadian, but. I exaggerated it there, but genuinely, there's there's a bit of an accent there, but now I'm too aware of it. I can't. I, I'm too aware now. Aware. Is he really hard to imitate? He is really hard to imitate. Yeah, he's got he's, he's got a truly unique sound.
Requires the Redeemer? Yes, we can, but not until we get pneumatic tools. Go a path to liberalism base, but I'm good. We don't even need these ships right now. I, I got enough ships that I feel like right now we have sixteen flotil flotillas. That's that's enough to. Well, we let's do one more so we can get the the number for this, and then we'll move on to other buildings. Yeah, we'll do the navy navies later. We're gonna call, so let's actually get out the coal. We need the coal so we can do better iron. Then we can use the iron for better construction. Be very nice. Break up with the stupid sports, damn based. Just increasing migration traction wherever we can to try and get um try and get more mass migrations if we can get any. I don't think we've gotten a single one yet so far. Um, but we would like to. Columbia District is apparently very good right now. Okay. Sure. America's just so good. The no accent accent? Damn. Is your ironclad a cool event? I assume that's naval power. I assume it's this. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. You go for that. Probably in the Americas. We'll see. I'm still trying to get laissez faire. This would be a big help if we can get this. Hopefully, we can pull it off. Are there any, like, laissez-faire... Let's just get rid of one. Let's just grant this guy leadership. I don't really care. Oh, never mind. That got rid of our slot. Damn. Oh, well. Maybe we can get, like, a laissez-faire guy on the donors. It's unlikely, but... We have a theocrat, so we could go for theocracy now, which is kind of funny, but no one wants it. The McMaster... What is McMaster? Is that like a university? I don't know what that is. Come on, go to voting. Go to voting, please. Oh! Frank, I mean, Barnard's heard plenty of my voice from my streams. Frankly, I'd rather trust their opinion if I have an extra or not. I hear my voice all the time and all. Well, everyone has an accent, but the question is if the accent is uh, distinguished or not, right? That's the that's the question. Because, like, it, it, there's no such thing as, like, no accent, right? But you can have people who have accents that are very discreet or accents that, that sound normal, quote-unquote, to a person. You just started running slower the last pa latest patches? Yeah, the latest patches apparently made, it, made the game run slower for AMD CPUs, which I happen to have, so fuck me, I guess. But the game runs slower for AMD users, basically. The current uh, problem. Is it Hamilton? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much. I don't know. You're asking about Eastern Canada. I'm over. Um, I'm over here. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in Vancouver. I don't know anything. Be I was. I was born in Alberta, so I know a bit about here. I know a lot about this place. Anything east of like you know, not even like necessarily this line. Anything east of like here, wherever Edmonton is. I don't know where Edmonton. Edmonton's like really far north, like up here. Anything east of, like, this, I am completely unaware of. Who's our heir? Antonio de Braganza. Okay. I'm in BC, that's right, yeah. I'm, I'm a BC boy. I'm a BC Chad. It is what it is. Okay, we're almost done our first coal mine. Dude, these French corporations are carrying the economy completely. It's hilarious. Alright, there's our election. I mean, yeah, we'll just keep keep things going as they are. We could just slot in both parties, um, but I don't see why we would. Please pass laissez fair, I'm begging you. This would be crazy. This would be so good to get laissez fair. Please. Even if we just get a debate and we get a positive debate, sounds good to me. Please. 
Damn. Well, I guess take this. Look, try again. we get our coal mine yet? We did, okay good. So now we can put our iron mines on that. We'll do this. Oh, we should do like this and then we should go to simple farming. This goes like this, this goes like this. And then we can, um, we can go to iron construction. Oh yeah. Need more iron for now, we'll import, but then we'll start to get our own local sources soon. Yeah, British market, nice. Austrian market. Import some coal. Just for now, we're going to import. Most number is Turkish. Well, you know, it's hard, it's hard to... I'm, um... What do you call it? I, I, I would consider myself, like, I was raised Muslim, and I was born Muslim, and stuff like that, so... I'm, like, Muslim culturally, but I'm not really very religious. Not, like, super religious, but, you know. I engage in some Muslim customs, like Ramadan and stuff. Or some tools. We could probably do iron tools. Based in Kamalist, true. I, I, I am a, the most based Sigma Kamalist out there. They believe in God? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely believe in God, but... Um, doesn't, you know, I don't know how... I'm not really super close to like the Muslim world or anything. It's hard to be in today's world, you know? How's everyone doing? I'm, I can't speak for everyone, but I'm doing pretty okay. Got him. Please pass this. Please, sir. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to everyone. Uh, why? I guess enactment time is not that bad, but... Fener, yeah, Fener, what is BJK or Gatasaray? I, I mean, I was born in a Fenerbahce family. Okay, that's 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 how it was for me. Gatasaray was the uh, the ultimate enemy, you know. Besiktas also an enemy. Trabzonspor, you know, not uh, not particularly well liked. Although I think we actually were okay with Trabzonspor, but I don't know what BJK is. Don't know that one. Oh, that is Besiktas. Okay, then yeah, then yeah, that was the one that. That is the one we didn't like Besiktas in my uh, in my household, but we but we were a Fenerbahce family. Someone's building railways. Oh, wait. I've read the Bible. I have read the Bible. I've read the Quran. I've read the Bible. I haven't read the Torah though. But to be fair, that isn't the Torah just the Old Testament? I have read the Old Testament. I don't know if there's any difference between the Torah and the Old Testament. Would anyone help? Probably not. We could get away with fighting the Netherlands and try to, like... We could try to get the Dutch East Indies. That'd be a good meme, but I don't think I'm ready to. We have to get a little stronger for that. Batman is sitting in Turkey, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Batman. It's, like, over here in... In this region somewhere. Near, in, in, like, Armenia. Well, old Armenia, I guess you could say. The Torah is effectively the Old Testament, yeah. I don't know, there's probably some subtle differences. Obviously, I haven't, I haven't read either of them in their original languages. I, have ne I haven't read the Quran in Arabic, nor have I read the Bible in Greek. But I've read them both in English. I don't remember what translations they were, but... You know. Doesn't matter that much. Bayram or Eid? Bayram. Kind of calls it Bayram. For Turkish. Always got rivers of coffee. Okay, cool. Farms have levels of plantation? Damn, okay, that's a lot.
I wish you able to drink more coffee. Um, you can export it so it gets, well, so you can, let's say you can import it, I guess, to make it cheaper, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, just build more, and if it gets cheaper, people will buy it. Get rid of alternative. So if you look at the, so look at what, what, what coffee's for in terms of its usages. So it's, it's a pop need for, um, I think pops, so if we check, forget how we do this. If we check, like, a capitalist around here, check his consumption, we'll see what he, what he consumes. So we see that he spends money on, let's see, pop expenses for, for his needs. I believe, is coffee, a, no, coffee is a luxury drink. So we see that coffee is competing with tea and wine. So in theory, if you get rid of your tea and wine sources, it should help them consume more coffee, but I don't know if that's actually how that works. Just it's, it's theoretically, it's how that works. How long can we... What if we... Uh... If I do like... You mean, just do this? I want to try a slingshotting or whatever. What is it the generalist calls it? When you like go between, yeah, when you go like this, yeah. You like go between them like that. Yo-yo it or whatever it's called. Why are you damaging relations? Thought you wanted that you wanted the help. You didn't want to do that anymore? Damn, okay. Shit. Alright, well let's just let's just do it this way. I mean fuck it. Let me out. It's fine, we'll just, well, never just want to give that. Okay, well. Rip, that didn't work. But yeah, Pops will eventually start to drink, like, like, if you get high enough festival, then they will, they will drink more coffee, they'll demand more coffee, so eventually you can get there, but in theory, goods like tea and wine are stealing from the demand for coffee, so you can try to do that, but, you know, it's... Each their own, I guess. I need to get like like steel and engines and stuff going because we need to get railways because we're running out of space. Does a fair would help us a lot with that process, so we can get that. There's a lot of space here in Minas Gerais, so but we, there's iron mines here that we should get the iron go the iron going. But I think steel is kind of more important. Let's get like one steel and one motor, and then we can get railways going. That'll be really nice. Constructor, I know yeah, we need more construction, but um. It's the only reason why our, our, our income is so good, though, is because of France. They're paying us a shit ton of money. That's why... I guess we could have probably spent all that money, though. It's fine. Let's put, um... Let's put some... Put more down. Fuck it. We might as well. A lot of industry banned me from... Yeah, I did one as California, where I played as America, conquered California, and then released California with, like, like a Luddite. Okay, this is, this is fine. Makes a civil war potentially happen, but I think we'll be okay. I, mean, I guess you might as well just make these guys into. We can try to get this, try to get Chile in naturally, but. Let's pull that off. And no percent chance, please accept. Let's go, dude. The minion of Columbia now, that's awesome. Helps their income quite a bit. Please pass the next vote, please. That'd be so nice. I like how they, the, the country gets like normal for a second whenever they lose a war. Funny. Yeah, come on, come on. Once the French war operations are up, we're gonna lose like a lot of our income, but it is what it is. Cause how much of this is like 29k of that is French French Republic. Naked jump scare in CK3, damn. Love when that happens. 
makes this appearance much better than interventionism. It's that um, first of all, it's the extra company slot. That's a, that's a big that's a big that's a big bonus. The max number of companies. It's the loan interest rate going down. That's really big, and it's the capitalist investment pool contribution, because this just means that basically you're able to generate like more buildings than you would otherwise be able to. Even if you don't get to control the buildings directly, which you would with interventionism, you have to generate more of them, which is important. Okay, please get it. Let's go, dude. Forty-seven percent. Next tick, surely. Surely, next tick. A lot of comments on this, but damn, okay. The recent VOS has got a ton of comments. I'm glad that people are interested in discussing this kind of thing. Video's not doing very well, but... Oh, we've got Dutch, Dutch Mass Migration. Let's go. That's pretty nice. Interviews my, my player are toxic and therefore bad. Honestly, based though, I was of that opinion for a while, but uh, the generalist changed my mind. Okay, because generalist is a genius, first of all. But second of all, he changed my mind because he, he explained how a, a, a way, like a, an interesting sort of gameplay mechanic, you could say, is working on manipulating what your capitalists make by by fucking with your economy. So if you build buildings such that, let's say, for example, iron is expensive, it's more likely that your capitalists will start building iron if they have the infrastructure for it and they have the opportunity for it. So it's like, oh, okay. Thinking of it that way, it ends up actually still playing into the player autocracy because you can um, because you can influence what gets built and what doesn't get built by what you choose to make expensive, what you choose to make non-expensive. So that, that, I thought that was a very good point, where it's like, yeah, actually, that is kind of true. You, you still have control, you just have an indirect control. Conquer Patagonia? Uh, we'll see. If I do, I'll probably just make them protectors. So there goes the French money. So now we're going to start losing. We have lots of gold reserve, though. That I can't squash buildings. That's fair enough. That's pretty painful. Yeah, I understand that. Ooh, Britain's willing to go on. What's, what's Britain willing to give me? What's Britain willing to give me? Is it just an obligation? I would take an obligation. Honestly, an obligation is worth having. So... Ooh, transfer states? Hmm. Transfer subject, rather, sorry. Transfer subject. Or bankroll. Yo. <laughs> Yo, a, a British bankroll is kind of... We have so much money, though. We don't need it. Do I want any of these? Like, Mosquito Kingdom is interesting. That's interesting, but I don't really... I kind of think that the... Trucial for oil? Oh. Not to mention we can use as a staging ground. That's not bad. Yeah, okay. Trucial states. Sure, let's take it. That way we can... Um, we can use them. Or... We can use them for stuff in the Middle East later as well. Okay, I'll go drop like a, a small army over there. I don't know why Britain wants help with this war when they're so strong, but it is what it is. Get Guyana? They weren't willing to offer Guyana, sadly. Bro, come on, just give me the damn law! I've been passing it forever. Come on, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be, like, such an easy war. I don't know why Britain wants help, but... Happy to provide. Come on, dude. 32% chance to get this law. Yeah, Trudor State's actually not a bad grab. Um, they're a protectorate, though, eh? So we'll have to reduce their autonomy a bit. Let's start improving relations now. Yeah, we need to get... Just, okay, that's fine.
I mean, Kami Sokoto I could see being pretty fun, so I could see why he'd play that. I understand the temptation. Oh, nice. Another, another migration. Let's go. Og. Cool. Now I should have Trucial States. Awesome. This will be the easiest war of all time, ever. Yep. Easiest clap of my life. It's over. <laughs> nice. That was... Thanks for the free land, Britain. Go Victoria 3 Modder. I thought about it, but um, maybe once the next DLC comes out, if I really fall in love with the game again, I'll think about it. But um, right now, it's like I don't have the passion for Brick 3 to make mods for it, how I do for CK3. Could be an interesting, it could be an interesting experiment, though, to see if I can make the game a little better. Okay, 32%. 30, Come on. Please. Who is in support of this law that maybe I could throw into government? Just the industrialists. Okay, so no one else will support it. Back in 1.0, damn. 1.0 was a was a real golden era. Truly a golden era, 1.0. Bro, come on, man. Come on. Why? I hate this game. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like Victoria three one point That sounds about accurate. Do we have a, a truce? No, we don't. So we can immediately reduce autonomy, um, which I think I'm willing. Yeah, they will accept. Okay, great. There you go. Epic. I mean, if, what if I just made Persia? Like, what if I just try to do interests, I guess? Let's do, let's do, like, here and here. We could try to get into India. It's not bad. Oh, the revolution's gone. Thank goodness. 1.0.6 really was, like, a golden era because of the memes. But the game was, like, horrible in terms of, like, the balance and everything. Like, the, the five-boat strat existing and, like, the the teleporting general strat. Like, the, the, so many things that were just totally broken. But it was a good meme, at least, right? Like, at least it was good memes. Oh, we have another... We, I forgot that we even got that one. Well, we can do that. This, 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 this. Good. Up on generals, yeah. Do we make any more CK3 stories? Definitely, yeah. I've got one on the I've got one in the making right now, but um Ramadan slowed my production down a bit, so that's why nothing came out for a little while. Also, damn bro, Shin Victoria 3 and the viewers come. I didn't realize that uh y'all were so interested in Vic 3. Go on Discord. Somebody ping me with a meme. On, let me let's watch this. Watch this. Let's watch this XQC clip. Apparently. But what does it matter? Okay. Do you believe in the? I think I've seen this. What I've seen this. What is Pangria? Like that sounds like some World of Warcraft thing. It's where islands. There, like the whole world was an island. <laughs> it got split into continents. I've seen this. <laughs> the whole world or our planet? Our planet. The world is the planet. <laughs> well, one theory doesn't affect the other. They're both part no, of the same I, thing. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, you know, like there's con there's continents, there's um. Yes, they got they, they got broken apart. Yes. They got broken apart. So that's what that is. So I'm saying, which one do you believe in? No, I believe in the the Big Bang, ma makes all the plants and shit, and the plant <laughs> is, in, is in a certain state or shape, or or or, or not shape, but uh, uh, has certain con. Oh wait, we gotta actually like. <laughs> We gotta actually like play the game though. I've seen the I've seen this clip before. It's so funny. It's it's actually hilarious. Glad you clicked on the link saying CK3 modding. Yeah, I was gonna do CK3 modding, but then I was like, eh, I don't really want to.
<laughs> I just changed my mind like an hour into the stream. So, oh, America would support them apparently. Okay. But yeah, they're dev defensive packs that checks out. Okay, you're willing to create agreement. Well, defensive pact with Chile. XQC explaining anything is hilarious, okay? Because he because whether he's right or he's wrong, because you know he can be right. Any any person can be right or wrong about anything, right? Whether he's right right or wrong, you know it's gonna be entertaining because the, the motherfucker is like a good speaker and he's got a funny accent. So even if it's like whatever he's saying is like idiotic, it's gonna be hilarious. So it's it's always worth listening to. I guess we can go steal tools, right? Because we have steel now. Okay. How much steel does one steel mill produce? Produces two point four four per level. There's no way that's correct, right? It must produce more. Yeah, it's got to produce more. I'm not going to import because I think we can produce enough. Like, how much does the tool thing use? 18? It's quite a bit, actually. Is that in succession? Okay, we can do that. Gonna make another revolution happen, I think, but... How do we do this? We need to not have the guardianship. Okay, yeah, we can work on that. We need to get laissez fair first. Also, now we're going to have an actual revolution. Please pass it. Let's go! Let's go, dude. Okay, a company. I want the, um... Oh, the gold company. It's hard not to just get the gold company. Yeah, just give me the gold company. It's just a good choice. It's hard not to take that. Let's go for, uh, getting property women. Uh, that could cause a revolution, funny enough. Maybe we wait on it. Okay, we'll wait on it. Actually, no, we'll just do it now. If they, re if they revolt, they revolt. You know, if they, we'll just cancel it if they start revolting. Or the Dutch annex Indonesia try to convert everybody? Make like make all of Indonesia like a Christian? That'd be interesting. It'd be funny. Okay, so we have we have engines. We have we have a railway here. Excellent. So now we should have some more infrastructure. We need. What do we need? So you need engines. Are the engines able to work? They are. So. The steel is a bit expensive, but they're getting there. We're going to make um, Minas Gerais kind of like our iron, steel, you know, we're going to make like steel motors and iron here, basically. Okay. Apparently they're, they're a little upset about this, but it's okay. And Fuck, we need to get that above six or above five in order to get the lead it. Is there maybe a... hold on. Is there perhaps... I could say, is there maybe like a landowner... A landowner that's, um... You know... Elitist? Okay, hold on. Instead of paternalistic, they're gonna become elitist. Okay. So they like republics now instead of monarchies. We should have played as a beginner for Vic 3. Um, probably, like, honestly, the tutorial for Sweden is not bad. You can just play as Sweden. You can play as, like, America. They're not too bad to play as for, like, just if you don't really know what you're doing. You'll, you'll kind of be okay no matter what you do. Bro, we just got a traditionalist from the church. What the fuck? They really don't want, uh, they really don't want, uh, women to have, a th like, power, eh? Get rid of you. Yeah, this tutorial, this tutorial of this game is actually not too bad. So you can, you can go play the tutorial for Sweden or something and it'll work out alright. In a setback? Sure worthwhile surely you just yeah true as if that could ever happen okay we, i don't think we oh free trade party okay that's not i actually don't like this very much i don't really want there to be a split in the party but it is what it is 
Because now the yeah, now the conservatives are gonna win the election. Fortunately. They want to join the liberals, eh? Okay, sure. Put them with the liberals. Fine. Fuck star legitimacy up right now, but that's okay. Because the election will this way we can reduce the power of the conservatives a little bit. Yeah, we have problems with market access. Oh, I kind of want the success chance. Sorry, success chance. Okay, so we need, we need, we need, we need, okay, we need, basically need to make more railways, because the engines are cheap. Okay, so let's make railways then. So, where is a good place? So Rio de Janeiro has a lot of people, right? Yeah, 127k. Um, but there's not really a lot of resources here. I think I'd like... One here. Or actually, where, where are we? We're missing infrastructure in some spots, aren't we? Yeah, we're missing infrastructure up here. Go like that. Then this. This, that looks good. We really can't become legitimate, damn. I already have minimum taxes. Rip. Hate to see it, chat. That's fine. Prison. Yeah, America will help. Okay, that's unfortunate. We get, I mean, Colombia would help us, but America would just stop me. To be fair, we could try to do some shenanigans where, like, we, we naval invade into Caracas and just ignore the front, but that's very risky and I'm good. Maybe if Americans are fighting Mexico, we could try to leverage that and see if we could sneak in. Because it'd be nice to get Venezuela. I think they have pretty high migration attraction. I have the highest. Yo, let's go, dude. W for me. Yeah, I remember back then we could put every party in. That's true. Okay, the, the, oh my god, the Liberals are barely losing still. If we get one more momentum event, maybe the Liberals can win the election. It doesn't really matter that much if they win or not, because ultimately the clout isn't going to be that different, but still it'd be nice if the service didn't get so much clout. Let's see, I think we have to just cancel this, even though it sucks that we got the, the modifier for it, and now we can't use it, but... Because they're hitting critical radicalism. This kind of feels like a waste. Yeah, okay, just stop. Oh my god, they really want a republic. Okay, hold on, you have to go. That must have been good. Okay, this is not good. Landowners are angry. We need to make them less angry. Okay, there, fixed. Saved. Cool. They're calming down, they're calming down. That's good. That's a fair. See, that's good because that'll just make the landowners happier in general. So I think we'll grab him. Throw you in government just for now. Make you the leader in six months for that. Okay, that's fine. Sorry to get pissed. Okay, well. I'm not gonna change off change off of king off of monarchy, I don't think. What could I do to maybe make the um Make the like if I wanted to make the uh, the landowners happy, like appease them for now. We do. Not really anything I'm willing to do, unfortunately. Okay, well. I do know that. Yeah, Columbia does have opium. I did know that. Yes. I guess we can just go with schools. It's relatively, you know, schools are just good to have, so let's go public schools. Schools are good. You know, abdicate meta? I, I do know about the abdicate meta where you can make, like, a revolution sort of just, like, pass its law instantly. I do know about that. I saw generalists do it. It's 
pretty busted. Um, but I don't really know how we would use it right now. We could have gone to Republic for free, I guess, but as um, Brazil, you kind of want to stay a monarchy, I think. Basically, when you um, when you do this button, so abdicate the throne, if you do this button, then whatever revolution is currently brewing, if there is one, will immediately be able to pass its law, and also you lose a bunch of radicals if your guy's unpopular. So it's like you can basically like intentionally try to stoke a revolution for a law that you actually want, and then just insta-pass it using abdication. It's pretty crazy. Generalist has kind of shown it off a little bit. Uh, it's cool. What's up, Lodge? How you doing? Okay, National is next. We're running out of money from the French, unfortunately. You can people to doing what you want, more or less. Yeah, that's basically how it works. If you can get a revolution to brew, so if you if you can if you can sort of like fuck around with it with the revolutions, and have it so that there's like there's like a rev for like tenant. Tenant farmers, which is rare, but if you can have it happen, then yeah, you can do it. Um, but there's more nuance to it that I'm not really aware of. Anyone else I can lower autonomy? Yeah, okay. 100% chance, let's see. Never lucky, that's fine though. It's okay, it would have been nice, but it's not a- we didn't need it. It just would have been nice. Are we getting raided? What is this? Sayuza! What's up, boys? Hey, mods? No mods. Can I help you? What's up, Sayuza? Oh, how are you doing? How are things? I was my favorite uh, French streamer, Le Doing. I hope he is uh, doing Le Good. How are we doing? How are we doing, boys? Welcome in. Playing some Vic 3, playing some Brazil. I've never played Brazil before. So, trying that out. We're not giving away land from our own puppet. An achievement? What achievement was it? What achievement did you get, Saiza? Import, sure. Why not? British steel. There you go, great. Face extra fun, nice. That sounds pretty fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, you want anything, Britain? Oh, what's this? No, I'm good. Who sent him to Brazil? Who let him cook? Actually, all of South America? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if we'll do all of South America, but we'll... Um... Alright, see you there to say, Isa. Thanks, thanks for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll at least conquer, like, kind of the valuable parts of, of, South, of South America. Like, I don't know if we even want to... Do we want to bother conquering all this stuff? Like, what's even here? Are there any good resources here? I guess there's oil down here later, right? I guess the sulfur as well. Sulfur is nice. It's fine. Use some groceries, I guess. Sure. How's our engine production doing? It is not really employing yet. It's okay. We need to cheapen up iron. What we need to work on is our iron costs. Oh, as it's inheritable land. Okay, interesting. All right. The 
check my YouTube chat? Let me see. What happened to YouTube chat? I, I see YouTube chat. What's going on? What am I looking for in YouTube chat? Random, I, I, I see Cassius Brutius mentioning that he saw one of my videos in the feed yesterday. Good shot, they say. I'm missing something. You need to fuck their UI recently? They always are. Oh, is this the right? Is this the guy that I need? It's for Solistas. No, I need Paulistas, I think, don't I? Hold on. I believe I need, I need a Paulista. Yeah. I mean, might as well take him. Sure, but we need a Paulista. Can I make that event happen by getting a Paulista General? Is that how that works? Do I need, like, a Paulista General? Brazilian, Brazilian, Brazilian. Guys are all Brazilians. Person noting that I said something. Oh, a nice person. Is is Cassius Brutius like a? Is this a content creator? Sorry if I if I'm being ignorant. Paulista is a is a person from Sao Paulo. The Paulista. You look here. We see the the Paulistas. These people. They live in Sao Paulo. No law based, okay. Was Julius Caesar a content creator? You could say that. I would say that Julius Caesar engaged in the creation of quite a bit of content for the Roman people. I get malaria in my in my place, you have to get the quinine the quinine uh tech. And then for deep malaria you have to get malaria prevention. That would be how. Bro wants to increase his autonomy and get independence. What a gay chat. Are books content? Yes. Yes, books are content. We could annex like Bolivia and Peru, but I'm good. Let me see what the uh, what's our are we still on the top for immigration attraction? Uh, America took took over. America's taking all the good immigrants. Sag. You hate to see it. I don't have any glass. Okay, we can fix that. Cool. Almost got our schools up. I do have a CK3 mod for Legends, yes. Obviously, this this uh, stream is not like CK3. Uh, we ended up pivoting away from modding for a bit because I was like, um, I was like, oh, I want to do CK3 modding. And then I was like, actually, I don't. I want to play Victoria 3 instead. <laughs> so we ended up doing that, but The iron price is starting to get a little better. We need all the proxy games for sure this week. Yeah, for, uh, I've been um, on a pretty long break from EU4. Also, damn, the Austrians are on oh, our mind. They're winning. I thought they were losing, but oh no, I see. Never, never mind. This is yeah. This is like um, I've been on a pretty long EU4 break, but I played a lot of Imperator Rome recently. Um, I played a lot of. Victoria 3, well not a lot, I played a little bit of Victoria 3 starting yesterday, and now I'm playing a little more today. I've been playing ton of CK3. Yeah, Lath got me, yeah, Lath also, well, my community wanted Imperator for a while, and then Lath doing the Imperator day was like the, the, the you know, the, the throw into the pool that I needed, I guess you could say, to just like fuck it, go for it, you know? Coffee, sure. Sure. 
Sure, that's fine. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure Imperator's not going to get any support from... I mean, I know they made, like, the, the Imperator be, like, the, the maintenance patch or whatever. I heard about that. But, um... I don't know about, like... I don't know about them ever actually, like, re-supporting Imperator or something. It was cool to see Paradox put out a patch for Imperator, though, just, like, a quick... They just basically made the beta into the mainline, um... They made the beta patch that people have been playing for so long into, like, the mainline patch. You don't have to play on the beta anymore, you can just play on the mainline. But, yeah. Merc is still all to Venezuela, Sag. Ooh, Mexico's a major power. Okay. More community love. Oh, yeah. Well, more community love. Yeah, I think people people have been giving it a lot of love these days. So, that's good. Can I reduce the time with two states? Not yet. We got these guys off Britain for free, by the way. They just gave it to us, which is hilarious. Yeah, I should have make them. Let's try to fuck with their politics. Oh, they don't, we can't even do anything. Damn, there's like nothing to do. I don't think so, Cassius. I, I couldn't see Paradox ever reviving, because even at, like, peak numbers, we're talking about, like, maybe a thousand people playing Imperator, like, 1,200. What was the peak number when, when Lath was doing Imperator Day in the Ides of March and all that? What was the peak player number for Imperator? I want to say it was, like, maybe 2k peak, but that was, like, peak ever. How does one learn this game? You're going to go onto YouTube. And you're going to type into YouTube, you're going to type Generalist Gaming to uh, Victoria 3 Tutorial. And you're going to go and watch Mr. Gaming. Because he knows this game like the back of his hand and he's crazy. It's 2,000? Okay. Yeah, 2,000, I mean, you know, it's just not enough to possibly just by reviving the game for, for Paradox. They'll, they won't revive it, but it was still very impressive to bring like a dead game around like that, though. Alright, I wanted to put this guy in charge of the uh, landowners. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. And then, um... I wanted to do... Can we do, like, free trade? That'd be nice. That makes landowners much happier. And if they're happier, then, you know, I'm happier. Let's just go like this. This way, um, lower chance to pass, but we get faster speed, so... You know, hit the gritty on a camera. What is the gritty? I don't know. Is it, I, and I assume it's a dance move, but what, what exactly... What exactly is it? What is the gritty? Because I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. Hit the WAP? No. Google it? No. I don't wanna. He doesn't know. He's unaware. I do be unaware. I can have some authority. Good. Am I winning? I'm always winning. I'm just, a, I'm just a constant producer of W's. Can't get behind the mid-max, exploity, conquer everything playstyle. Yeah, I understand. Um, the thing is that Victoria 3 doesn't really have the mechanics yet to be like a fun roleplay game. So you kind of have to, you kind of have to play it like that, to be honest. Especially with the way the game is, you kind of have to be exploity with it. There's no way to really play Victoria 3 without being an exploiter. And yeah, Genos is pretty chill. He doesn't really do hard, hard exploit stuff. Genos just, just so Genos put it a good way, and actually I use his nomenclature now because I thought he put it very nicely. He doesn't, he, he doesn't, he doesn't always play perfectly optimally, but he never, he never plays in error is the term that he used for it. So he never just does something that's wrong, but he, um, but he does, you know, he doesn't necessarily play super hard all the time. He just, he just doesn't play with, with mistakes. Which is kind of how I play CK3. Like, when I do CK3 Giga Chat stories, I don't do make any mistakes. Well, I might make a mistake, but you know what I mean? I don't try to make mistakes. But I, you know, I try to, like, you know, play for fun and reasonably well and stuff. But but I don't, like, make intentional mistakes or anything. Bro, why is there no infrastructure here at all? That's disgusting. Jeez. That's horrifying. I don't think it's in there for a win. Yeah, exactly. It's that kind of thing. Like, you don't do dumb things, but you also don't necessarily, like, 
go super hard on doing only smart things, right? It's like you just kind of do reasonable things, I guess you could say. The nice thing about this, by the way, uh, the, the laissez-faire landowner, is that um, this the landowners and the industrialists might form a, a, a coalition, and if they do, that'll weaken the Conservative Party a lot. Because then they'll, they'll just be the armed forces, and that'd be really nice. It's not about doing some optimal stuff on purpose because it's otherwise it's just boring. It's about like once you know the mechanics super well, it's like well now you don't necessarily have to play to be optimal anymore, so you play to be fun instead. Like you know, it's it's not like playing the game badly. It's like you're playing you're playing like you know for fun. You're trying to optimize your fun instead of optimizing your like your Ws, I guess. We definitely need cheaper iron. That's definitely a thing that we need. Why are my capitalists not building anything? Waiting for funds to come available? What are you building? There's 200,000 gold in there, man. Oh, the glass works. Okay. Sure, little bro. Yeah, I've been following generalists for a long time. I've also been following been with generalists for a long time. I, I didn't I wasn't so involved in his community for a while because I wanted to wait and see where he would go with his content, but um definitely he's he's bust he's pogged. I started to get more involved in generalist community maybe a couple months ago, but I've been watching him for a while. People were recommending me as content back when I was like the top dog Vic 3 content creator. Because um, I was the only one making content for the game that was actually good. Um, and then people were recommending me his stuff because they were like, yo, you'd like this because he's doing similar stuff to what you're doing. And I was like, oh, okay, based. Uh, and then the rest is history. Fourth set of ads, damn. Skill issue. Actual skill issue. Watching ads is a true skill issue. We have Franco Provence all people here? Where? Oh, I guess we must have had a mass migration. Oh no, it's from here. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ludi did tell us how to maximize much detriment of the actual economy, yeah. Ludi made anti-tutorials. So Ludi made so Ludi was interesting because his videos did pretty well, but it what it what it was giving like false advice where it was like, oh yeah, dude, like here's how to get the big budget. But see how my budget's negative? This is actually a good thing. Like it, it's a similar logic to so if you've ever played an RTS before, it's a similar logic to RTSs where Resources that you have that you're not using are, are waste. Like you're, anything you have that you're not using is literally just a waste to exist. So if you're playing StarCraft 2 or whatever, um, you know, and you have minerals that you're not spending, then you're, you're actually just like, you might as well not even have those minerals because you're not using them, right? In this game, if you're not going into debt and if you're not like, you know, oh, oh this is good actually. If you're not like doing all this stuff, then... If you're not spending the money, then you may as well not have it. So it's it's good to be going into debt. Even more so, the debt goes into the pockets. Like, this interest gets paid out to your pops. So you're making them richer. And if it goes to the capitalists, it doesn't really matter that much. The capitalists having more doesn't really mean much. But ultimately, um, because they have more, they'll they'll be able to put more into the uh, into the investment pool. So it kind of feeds into itself. It, basically, it's good to be in debt. <laughs> like having zero infamy. Yeah, I know I have, I know I have zero infamy. I know, I know, I know. It's because I'm playing chill. I'm not really trying to play optimally. I'm, I'm like chilling right now. But yeah, I shouldn't have zero infamy. It's, it's a good point. Speaking of which, actually, no, I can't do that yet. Yeah, I, I would go after somebody. I'm not that. I'm not actually that strong. Like I was. Th oh, I still got Bosniaks from Ottomans. Like I was thinking of going after Synth and the Sick Empire, but Sick Empire would just fucking wreck me. To be honest, we, like they would actually kill me. Okay, we're almost done free trade. 
So you're saying that the game is training against debt-based economics and fiscal responsibility? I mean, in general, debt-based economics is kind of like better if you can if you can do it responsibly. But but fiscal responsibility is better for if the if the if the future is uncertain, right? So if you can reliably accrue debt to invest into industries that are reliably able to grow faster than their interest rates, then it is a good idea. I'm talking about real life right now, by the way. Then it is probably a good idea. But if you are uncertain of the possibility of like, oh, can I can I invest this money into like, you know, into industries that will actually bring back more than what they're costing, which is the interest being accrued, then you probably want to avoid taking on that debt. You only take it on if you if, it's, if you know you can handle it, right? If, if, exactly. If you can invest properly, that's the important caveat is like, for example, if a situation where like, let's say COVID's happening, right? Let's say that's what that's what's going on. It's like COVID's going on. You probably don't want to be taking on a ton of debt. Because whatever industry you may invest in could be radically altered by the unknown situations that could arise from whatever effects COVID's having on the world's economy, right? So you probably step things back and you become a little more fiscally conservative, a little more fiscally responsible, whatever, right? Whereas if you're in a situation where like, you know, not life, so life is good, but like where you are able to predict outcomes with relative consistency, then yeah, you probably want to go into debt. You probably want to be creating a larger economy, create more jobs. This kind of thing is probably good compared to say austerity especially the well, austerity is a whole different thing but you know the budget isn't that important if you can predict the markets well enough that you can make businesses that do well i don't have enough to do these damn books. i guess it's spending a lot of diplomacy right now on on stuff yeah defensive pact with britain Keeping me safe, though, to be fair. Britain, having Britain over me is kind of nice. Yay, free trade. Okay, cool. Now we have free trade. This will make the landowners happy enough that if I try to pass uh, property to women, landowners won't rebel. Uh, the church will get radical, but that's okay, because the church isn't nearly as strong. And I think... We can just throw, I mean, we can do this. That will make it easier to, this, this will get the church out of the Liberal Party, which is nice. Why is the church in the Liberal Party? Explain that one, Liberal. Yeah, that's pretty good. We shouldn't see a rebellion from this. For the Reddit Victories, Marcus Propaganda, because our product fishing left to this woke agenda. Definitely not, no. This game actually is, is, I mean, if anything, it's capitalistic propaganda. I remember I made this point... I said that, dude. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm about to go off. Okay, I'm about to go off. I said this when the game first came out. I said if you think communism is OP in this game, it's because you're not good at the game. That that's. I said this when the game first came out because people were talking about how OP communism is, how OP government owned is, and I was saying when I was busy making the the ultra libertarian India run. Okay, I was I was saying I was telling people I was like, bro. If you think communism is OP, it's because you don't know how to play the game properly. Look at look at my five billion GDP and tell me that communism is OP. I got that because of the investment pool. I, I you know I I in that India run, I was so powerful that I was limited by the raw materials. I was limited by the raw materials that existed in the world. I was I was I had such a high GDP that in all of India I had every single raw material, every mine, every logging camp built. And it wasn't enough to keep the economy growing. I had to conquer Korea just to get more lead. I conquered all of Korea just for lead. Uh, is best still. Maybe now it is. Okay, to be fair, I I I'll back up. Let's turn off rant mode. I'll back up for a second. Okay. Maybe it's different now. But back in the day when the game first came out, if you thought Kami was OP, it was because you weren't very good at the game. Or you didn't understand the game very well. Back in the day. <laughs> All right, let's get like a shit ton of iron. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. It goes down a lot. Okay, maybe now it's different. Yeah. Okay. There was no best of pool mouse back then. Fair enough. Fair enough that now it's different. Okay. But back then, I was I was saying that shit. I was like, motherfucker, this is not Marxist propaganda. If you want to act like it's OP, you just don't know how to play the game properly. Okay, reduce, reduce, uh, reduce autonomy. That's good. Nice.
the end mirrors Leninist criticism of Western imperialism. I think the post game so mythologist people just accept the Victorian theme of Marx's historiographic viewpoint. Damn. Base. I mean, I'll say this that this game definitely presents. I would say this game presents this era from like maybe a like a like a more Marxist perspective of like people's classes are based on their jobs and like the idea of like I don't know people banding together into like particular groups that share an ideology and like sure but while i disagree with some of the prescriptions that marx might have given out to solve the problems of the of the time it doesn't mean his analysis was necessarily wrong right like i think that it's it's possible to like look at like a marxist analysis of like you know the 19th or 20th century and be like yeah it's pretty on the nose like yeah you know there there's there's a lot of like movement of capital towards the upper classes and there's a lot of um like there's like ideal people's people's lives become oriented around their jobs that's totally valid to say but it's like that but then i might but then you can still disagree with like the prescriptions for the solutions right that's what you might do marx could never predict a skibbity toilet true honestly the communists of the 19th 20th century criticized capitalism and its need to always spend their marx's entire world which is something that victoria too did not have interesting Every class is a very sharp term, just similar to Marxism. Exactly. I think it is. It doesn't necessarily mean it's propaganda, though. The game could be argued to be like Marxist, be based on Marxist theory. But I think it's because Marxist theory, when it comes to like this particular era of the world, but even just in general, is pretty much like is a pretty valid um, is a pretty valid look at the era in terms of like organizing people by their jobs and organizing politics by like sort of interest groups that are based on wealth and stuff. But um, you know but that but i think that the solutions but i think that that doesn't necessarily mean this is propaganda it's just a pretty it's a pretty good it's a pretty good um analysis it was murder liberal simulator i haven't played victoria too i couldn't tell you he provided a lot of solution well marx provided the solution of overthrowing like he, he was he, he made the 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 handbook what was it called the uh the communist handbook or whatever whatever it's called you know like the one to, to overthrow the uh overthrow the world order you have to you have to do a revolution you know you can't work within the laws you have to work without them that was the the prescription the manifesto sorry the communist manifesto yeah thank you thank you chat that's that was his prescription for the problems was to overthrow and make a new a new order right that's the that's the prescription which i don't really think is good i'm more of a social democrat in terms of my my look on the solutions to these things it's important to work within the systems to achieve what you want to achieve But, you know, social democrat cuck, that's me. Yeah, sure. We can stop importing iron, I think. Yeah, we, we can definitely stop importing iron. We're gonna, we're gonna start making our own source. So, no more iron imports, no more steel imports. We'll keep the glass for now, though. I think we're... We did get a glass over here, but it's not building anything, so that's pretty sad. As manifesto? Okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember reading that part of it when I was reading it. But to be fair, I didn't exactly give it a close read, so, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so now the conservative... Okay, so they, they didn't leave the conservative party, unfortunately. Their party affiliation stayed strong enough. So is Democrats literally a fascist? Yeah, true. Based. Honestly, true. The Zizek Peterson debate kind of made the concept into a meme. I've actually seen that debate. It sounds kind of interesting, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, if, if the if the investment pool malice is removed in the next patch, then capitalists will be will stay winning forever, basically. So where can I see the investment pool malice? Is that on individual pops? Does their individual investment pool contribution get get wrecked? Where do these guys even spend their Where is where are they even spending their Where's it go? How do I check? Where is he putting his investment pool money? I forgot how to look at this UI. I forgot how this UI works. I 
I think what makes the the game have a pretty like strongly Marxist bent is probably just the fact that everything is so material, right? So it's like the idea that a person's in this game, a, an individual's ideology is determined almost completely by their occupation and like nothing else. So it's like you know that's pretty that's pretty Marxist. Whereas I think that in you know in it's relatively it, it's some it's somewhat also Cuba's free on well, Cuba Libre. Um, it's it's somewhat accurate, but I think that at the same time, some people even outside of their well, well sometimes of interests outside of their their economic situation. But I kind of, for the sake of a game, though, I kind of understand why why it is how it is. But sure, that's not good. Paulo Suarez. Ooh. Oh, okay. A positivist. Uh, I don't really they do. Did atheism, technocracy. Good. Can I go conquer Cuba? Do they have any friends? Okay, if we can get them before they become friends with America, we can do that. I'm gonna think about Asian Turks every single day. Denmark might help them. What Amer America might, but I don't think America will. Let's go for it. I think America is gonna gonna not. I believe. Yeah, I I I think that I, I think that it would be accurate to say this game like has an influence from Marxist analysis, but I wouldn't say that it's like a Marxist game. That's a different. That's a whole different accusation, right? Oh, he have forty ships, damn. What is bussing? Forty ships. Okay, well let's. Why is every message this chat an essay? Um, <laughs> you know, we, we like to, we like to be intellectual around here. Okay, I don't know why we do it, but we like to do it. Damn, servers are bussing. I enjoy the essay messages. They're pretty fun. I was thinking about CBT. Exclamation point CBT. Oh, go ahead and type it. I dare you. Oh, why America? Well, to be fair, do we actually care about this? We probably do care about this, don't we? We can just get Britain in here. I don't want to give them any Columbia, though. Would I lose if I... Okay, no, we're just gonna... We can just reload. Yeah. <laughs> Who's in Paris? Don't say it. Don't say it. Kanye West got cancelled. We can't say it anymore. Yeah, sorry to do a save scum, but I'm doing the I'm just, I'm I'm just giving in to save scumming. We're gonna save scum here and there. It is what it is, chat. Agrarian party. Sure. Lowers the well. I guess this didn't really lower much of the strength over here, but it's fine. And the conservative W coming in, but I think we'll still be able to pass property to women pretty easily. Yeah, we already have a pretty legitimate government. Okay. We already have professional army, right? That's good. Is Los Altos. We could just grab a free trade agreement with Los Altos, but good. What if I joined on these guys' side? Oh, cool, we can do this. Wait. Okay, sure. That's free protectorate. I'm in. 
Sounds good. Is there a painkiller? I actually haven't had a painkiller before. I know this is going to sound crazy. Oh, I guess I've had aspirin. That's a painkiller, I guess, right? But I haven't really had any, like, hard painkillers because I'm, like, very pill-averse in general. To my own detriment sometimes, but I tend to be pretty pill-averse. Start working on our military. I'd like to um, maybe start working on actually getting an army going. I even know who Weber is. Bro is red pill averse. Definitely red pill averse. I'll tell you that. that. That's without a doubt, but what kind of pill averse in general? Imagine knowing Weber, dude. Look, I just play video games, okay? I don't know things. I don't know who these people are. We get there in time before the war starts? Maybe. Yeah, I think we'll get there. Free protector at Los Altos is kind of nice, actually, because it means that we get a free interest in Mexico. Yes. Easy clap. Kind of running out of money right now, unfortunately. Bring out a budget, I should say. It is what it is. I could just raise taxes a little bit, to be honest, but I'm good. Gotta keep taxes as low as possible if we can. W, easy clap. I'm not finishing that rhyme, Hotis. Can't bait me into saying a slur, sorry. It is what it is. Damn, with a name like Max, you know, you got you know he's a good guy. Just how it works. But it's a great song. Yeah, it's alright. I feel like um, you know, I believe in separating the art from the artist. Like I am one of those like separate art from the artist cucks. But it feels very difficult to separate Kanye's art from from him with how he's been recently. I was wrong on this year for you. Yeah, everything was fine. It just, I, I was a little bit more tired than I was expecting from it. So I didn't make nearly as much content as I wanted to during Ramadan, but it is what it is. Kanye himself is such a brand that's hard to separate. Exactly, yeah. Like, I think Kanye is a very big part of his music. Like, he himself is a big part of his own music. I to just like liberate my uh, Nicaragua would help them, but I don't know much reason to do that. Very different nation from Brazil, too railroaded. I guess I don't know. I just wanted to play Brazil because I haven't played them before. Abolitionist. Cool.
Do I have to raise taxes? Do I really have to raise taxes, chat? Is that thing I gotta do? We don't need any more iron now. Let's just go four more. And then, what? Well, I'm building more coffee. Let's actually not build coffee. I think I need some, like, something that'll just make me good money. So part of me, th me thinks I should start doing some textiles. What's expensive in the market right now? I guess we don't really have silks. So we can't do luxury clothes, but we can do, like, we can just do tools and steel and stuff. I mean, that sounds all right. I think, well, actually, let's do some clothes. Like, we, we have space in Rio de Janeiro for some clothes. So why don't we do that? Because clothes just, they just do good, you know? Clothes are nice. I mean, we already have, we, we've already abolished slavery in the country, so I don't even know why she's an abolitionist, but it is what it is. Let's add like a consumption tax or two, maybe. A service tax. And then we could go to medium taxes, but it just feels so bad. I don't want to like increase taxes. Because I guess we can lower this. Maybe that's a good idea. Then we can't afford that. That's fine. Should have played Elden Ring? Elden Ring's on Friday. Ch By the way, chat, Elden Ring on Friday. Okay. And we got a special challenge run. CK3. A CK3 themed challenge run coming at you. It's gonna be lots of fun. Let's go bankrupt? No, we'll be fine. Ooh, trying to subject. Okay, we do want any of these. That's for state. You wanna give me Guyana? Ching Hai. Wait, isn't. Is that not this? Not Xiaoji. What's Ching Hai is like. No, that's this. Okay, never mind. We don't want that. <laughs> never mind. Why do you have this? What the fuck? Wait, we can take Mosquito. Mosquito is here. We can take the Ionian... Okay, if we take Ionian Islands... That's for obligation to transfer state when at peace. Oh, okay, yeah, alright. That works. Okay. I also would like bankroll, but he's not willing to give me that. I'll give me bankroll. But I kind of want to take Ioni Nans, though, so we can get into, like, Greece for no reason. It could be a funny meme, wouldn't it? Also, Prussia. Prussia. We'll just take an obligation. It's not even accessible to your market, my dude. If you love the rice mod, uh, maybe. I, I've seen rice before. Um, I've thought about like doing a rice, something to do with rice, but eh. I don't know. It's hard for me to play mods for CK3 that are, like, unless they're, like, ones I can really orient the video around entirely. Like, it's hard to do, like, a vanilla plus mod, you know? But, yeah, it's, it's possible, though. It's possible. I'm, I'm less anti-mod than I used to be, Blodge. I'm less anti-mod than I used to be. But it's hard when it's like a vanilla plus mod. If I'm not... like when, it, when it's after the end, it's like, yeah, I can orient the whole video around this being like... This is an after the end video, right? And that's fine. So yeah, we're just going to raise taxes a little bit. We're just going to raise taxes like a little bit. Fine, copium. We're just going a little bankrupt, Chad. It's okay. Oh, this is because our credit limit is dropping because the value of iron just tanked. Not building anything. Yeah, that's what happened. Export, I guess. I mean, fuck it. It's with a lot of money, so let's export it. Sure.
There you go, that's the... Nice, that's good. We have some dies, I think. Yeah, we do have some dies somewhere. You really trying to fight my my navy, bro? Is that really is that really wise? So if they can just hold out here, then we can pretty much get a free occupation on this and just get this obligation with Britain, and then we can use that for maybe to get Guyana or something. There you go, easy clap. My navy's working this game. Basically, you put them in a spot, and then they do things in that spot. So you see all these little these little circles on the on the on the map, like this, the C notes. You take a navy, you place it on a C node, and then it has a couple things it can do. So if you look at the navy, if you look at the admiral, we can protect, we can intercept other navies. So if someone else is there, we try to get them. Uh, this is a different version of that. We can raid convoys, so we can break supply lines basically, or we can escort our own convoys. And that's basically the that's what they do. They just it's like you know pick, pick a task, pick a spot, do a task in that spot. That's that. But we can resume production now. Although now we might want to get rid of all those those iron exports because now iron's going to be so expensive. But at the same time, expensive iron isn't so bad. Um, we can live with it. This is going to make the capitalists here quite rich. Nice. Ooh, okay. apparently people are. What are you mad about? Mad about the dedicated police? Oh, you're a pacifist. Okay, we lost our laissez-faire guy. Unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll cast that if we need to. They really want a republic, though, eh? If I do, if I cancel this, that might fix the landowners. Not quite. Not quite. We'd have to increase our legitimacy, or we'd have to pass a law if they like. Um. It's a law that they might want. I mean, they obviously want the Republic, but is there any other law you might want? Oh, spider. I saw a spider, so I got spooked. Stay at Kingdom. This. Guerrero Treaty Port. We want New Mexico, Texas, and California. This, this, and then just this. Okay, weird. Okay, fixed. We're, we're saved. We're no longer, no longer instructionary. We're good. Austria sides with Mexico. Bro. Not willing to offer me anything? Not even not even Liberia? Oh, because you hate me. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, now Britain, can I get can I get Guyana? Can I get Guyana? Where is it? British Guyana. Minus four. Come on. Anything you want to give me? You want to give me British Guatemala? You want to give me Honduras? Or New Brunswick? <laughs> like, maybe you want to give me this? That's too funny. We can't do that. North Island. What is that? That must be... Is that this? That's the Falklands, eh? New Zealand, okay, we can get Ceylon. That could okay, that could actually be good, but he won't give it to me. Ireland, he won't give that in a way. 
Fate in this game does kind of matter, but it had the problem is that um Gibraltar? The problem is that the, the AI never produces or demands enough stuff that you could ever become just solely dependent on trade. Every every uh, economy ends up becoming a very domestically oriented economy in this game. Because of the nature of the the nature of like the AI generating demand and stuff. They just don't generate very much. So hard for them. We could help uh, Mexico just to weaken America, which um, is not a bad idea, but I don't think we can contribute much, because obviously Austria is going to be the one kind of helping here, and I don't really think I can do much to, to mess with that. Here, if I support this, and then if I offer you support, we want to become a subject? Yeah, okay, cool. Did you say no? Refused? Okay, well. Doesn't want to? Okay. In that case, um, bye-bye. Yeah, the the uh, diplomacy got a lot more a lot more transparent in this in this patch compared to previous patches. Back in the day, you know, I remember remember when uh, you had no clue if anything would happen, and it was like, okay, well, hate to see it. I need um, I need like silk. That's what I need right now. So could I go and take like? Is there silk in Sind? I don't think there is, right? No, but is there silk here? No, but in here. But in here? In Afghanistan there is. Okay. We can try to move into Afghanistan. Um, but again, we're not actually that... I gotta remember that I'm not actually that strong. Afghanistan could beat me in a war right now. I'm relatively weak at the moment. Um, does Do you have silk? No way, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. We could just trade for silk. I could get like a. I mean, I can't fight Ching, but oh, what's this? Take on debt. Thank you. Yeah, sure. All right, there goes our obligation. That's totally worth it, though, to get rid of the debt. Sounds good to me. Domestic politics do kind of affect relations, but only very minorly, and that's in the form. And that's in the form of like, um, you know, trying to do diplomatic stuff. The 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 same government. Like if you have um. Like a similar government ideology, then they're more willing to accept, but that's about that's the only way that it affects it. Is there a um can I check markets? I, I wanna look for a silk. Is no be in here? Let me find some. Yeah, so basically it's, yeah, we'd have to go to like, we'd have to go to like China or something, or, or, or Japan for silk. Alright, well, fine, let's keep building these. Um, For now, they're not going to have very good employment, I don't think. What else is it, what else is expensive in the market right now? We have a pretty balanced market, but I think we yeah we need more hardwood. We need more ships, tools. Yeah, we need tools. Sure, let's make more tools. Go on over here. Great agreement. Uh, mission. They definitely don't want that. Yeah. What's happening with Persia? What's, what's going on here? What are they doing? What are they taking? Treaty port? Yeah, I'm not really going to bother intervening with that. Okay, they're actually getting employment. That's good. I was going to say, as the pops get richer, they'll demand more clothes. So we should actually see this demand get higher. Um, 
We'll see though. Where, is there a lot of unemployment here? Like, what are we looking at employment-wise? Okay, we got a lot of we got a lot of peasants, so we want to try to get rid of our peasants if we can. Like here, for example, there's no peasants, so the be pretty high. Kind of living. Oh, it's only eight point one. It's pretty low. Never mind. Everyone here. Wait, what's going on here with? How are there zero peasants? Where, where are they working? Are they all just working in here? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, they're they're all just working in the construction sector. That's hilarious. Okay. Damn. <laughs> this place needs population, eh? But no migration happening? What's up with that? Why is there no migration? I guess we can get rid of migration controls. Okay. I don't know why there's no one coming here, though. Because clearly they need more workers. Like, if you look at the... if you, like, They have, like... They have a bunch of open jobs and they just won't... No one will migrate there? It's like, why? What's going on here? I don't understand. Go get it. But it is what it is, I guess. Goes to get mass migration. Is that true? I did not know that. The trade route. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let's find something cheap. Let's export something, you know, let's export some sugar, like, everywhere that we can, then. Here, just send it everywhere. Yeah, sure. That works. Low even for Brazil. Well, yeah, but still, they, they look at the migration section, it's quite high. And, and there's a lot of open jobs here. Automated trade, that'd be kind of cool, but also, I don't know about that. I get pretty bored playing this game too, to be honest. Yeah, just like, yeah. You almost say we need automated building, automated trade, automated PMs, automated politics, automated government forming, automated diplomacy, and a brother in Christ, there'll be no game left. Yeah, true. That's what I mean about how I'm not sure about it, right? It's like, I don't actually know if we want to automate more stuff. The game needs content. You know, we need more stuff. What it is that the answer is not automation. It's to make the choices interesting, right? So it shouldn't be that, like, you know, that we need automated trade. It's that trade should be interesting to engage in. That's more what would matter. I could be a playwright, they killed you. I mean, I could take them to prestige, I guess, but it is what it is. Did they make the prestige temporary on it, or is it still permanent? Five years now, Sag. You hate to see it. They they did kill it. They ruined it. How's my um, my migration traction? All right, we're number four. It's. I mean, at least Bolivia is number. At least Bolivia is pretty good, but because they don't have trade routes, stuff they're ever gonna get any. America is number two, unfortunately. Argentina's pretty high as well, but yeah, it's hard to beat out America. America has such a huge amount of arable land that it's crazy. It's it's difficult to beat them. Oh, I don't want any of that. So. 
never mind. I think that ultimately the answer of like automation just just when I want to not necessarily like all the time is better than just automation like all the time but it's still to me the better the better option is just to make it so that you would want to micromanage the you know the stuff in the game they like made so that the, the player actually wants to do this you know but it because it kind of just feels like nobody wants to because it's really boring and it's kind of pointless god damn it don't stall me not allowed <sighs> yeah, because now not non uh, or discriminated pops can uh, can migrate now, right? Got an ad, nice. Enjoy. Skill issue, to be honest, but enjoy. Let's get probably more railways in here. That'd be nice. Yeah, mass migration is super OP right now. Mass migration is like absolutely crazy. In my game, I was playing as America before. Like, it's it's insane how many pops you get. What's their what is their population chart like? Like, let's this is this is pretty good. Like, this is this is quite this is quite something. But ironically, like when I when I, I did like when I was doing my America playthrough, like it was like it was like a curved line. It was crazy. We can get anything from Britain. Yes. Britain is raising a whole ass army to fight a little peasant rebellion, which is pretty funny. Alright, Britain, what do you what do you want? What do you want to give me? What do I get from you? Can I get a bankroll? Transfer states? They want to give me. Or just Qinghai again? Yeah, they want to give Qinghai. Eh. Let's take an obligation. Why even help them? I don't know. It just feels feels good to be like an okay ally, I guess. Just leave the war when it starts. That's hilarious. That's actually insane. I want to be a nice guy though. You know. Ooh, another one I can help with. Yeah, I don't want the NPCs to think I'm a bad person. You still want to just give me Qinghai? Is that all you want to give me? Well, I mean, I can just absolve this obligation, can't I? And then I would have already friendly. 
to say we absolve the obligation just to get more relations and then we can uh, get another obligation, but we're already friendly. Although I guess, hold on, it's still worthwhile to do this though, because we absolve it, right? And then offer support, even another obligation, and then just a second obligation. Like, okay, cool. And that way we can be at 100 relations, so if we ever lose relations, we're, we're more chill. I guess, right, yeah, we can just leave the war immediately, right? Okay. Fuck, dude. We get the obligation immediately as well, it's crazy. I love the Republic. Oh shit, wait, what? Oh god, no, we we, we lost- oh, Okay, we lost the Pedro thing. Rip. Okay, well, I guess we're not a monarchy anymore. Oh, shit. That, that sucks. We actually- we fucked up. We got republic You hate to see it. Okay, well that ends, like, all of our journal entries, right? Except for this one. Just, uh, it's too late. Bye-bye. No Isabella, Sag. Not joining your fucking customs. Get out of here. Still have all of our subjects, right? Yeah, we're good. Make a puppet out of crucial states. Good. Maybe the resign thing. If I want to, if I want to do what? what? What can I do with? If I were to resign, like right now, I don't think I would get anything. I would basically just be forced to stop doing migration, migrate, no migration controls, right? I see. Okay. Move or something you want? Or do you have a revolt yet? No, not yet. They're just chilling. I think they stopped. I think they literally stopped uh, colonizing for some reason. No, they're still colonizing. Never mind. They're still just really slow. They're just very, very slow. Bye bye. Nice know you little bro. Crusade for change. It's like Crusader Kings. It's like Crusader Kings. Who needs bureaucracy? We do actually need bureaucracy though. Can I get the uh, cultural archives? That'd be kind of nice. Three years to research. I mean, who cares about the army? All right. Well, we're the no longer the Brazilian monarchy. Sag. I kind of wanted to say monarchy because now that you can get like human human, uh, what is it? Multiculturalism pretty easily as Brazil, but it is what it is. Might as well become this. Oh, he's a protectionist. Okay, interesting. You. Yeah, true republic is good. True republic is just better. So true. Republic is good people. Monarchy is bad people. We also got landed voting. Fuck me, dude. We gotta get off that shit. Yeah, it's because Nat Ingo doesn't exist anymore, Hotis. So whatever, I don't know what kingdom you held when you hit the, the Consolidate Kingdom decision. 
But um, if it was if it was like if it, if England doesn't exist, you can't do North Sea Empire anymore. Did I get slavery back? Did we? There's no way, right? No, we didn't. Thank goodness. Still slavery banned. That'd be crazy if we actually reinstituted slavery off that. Yeah, Paulistas are hard to get rid of, eh? Where's the distance without them? I mean, kind of true. What's the point? Kind of true, but it is what it is. Yeah, the Paulistas are not really wanting to... Because oh, I have to complete this river of coffee thing, but it takes a long time to complete this. New president just dropped. Ban wars, get national heroes. I see, okay. Well, we got a bunch of national heroes. We didn't get any police to national heroes. But also, I guess we can just go to war with... We can just go to war with uh, Argentina. The lulls. Just RNG? Damn. Hate to see it. Maybe we'll get one in this war. Mass migrations here and there. We've got a couple here and there, but not very many, unfortunately. My mass migration attraction was pretty high most of the game. Like, see, I'm in third place, eh? But, fortunately, like, it's all going to Canada. I don't know why. Like, I saw a lot going to Upper Canada. And, literally, they don't even have eligible states. <laughs> I don't understand. It's not even eligible. And yet, um, and yet they've been getting them. I, I, Upper Canada's been getting them, like, forever. Like, if you look at their, if you look at their population... They have so many. Look at all these. We've gotten so many. And they're not even eligible to, apparently, but they still get them. Yeah, I want this Brazilian medals. Hell yeah. Isn't Hudson's Bay Company basically the best because it's like got the most GDP? Oh, they're not a puppet. I see their Dominion. Okay, that also helps a lot. But yeah, Upper Can has just been going crazy with the immigrants. Just like real Canada. But yeah. Just before this passes, we gotta uh, we gotta get the industrials back in. Let's industrialists in. There's a chance of that passing. Gold depleted in Guyana, Sag. Pass it. Damn it. Well, you don't need. We could have done like war operations, I guess, but it's okay. We want to keep the war going so we can potentially get a, a hero anyway. It's fine. Next time. I'm learning, chat. I'm learning. We're learning, okay? The events in the game. Let's go. I don't even know what it was. I wasn't paying any attention. Is he actually sending an army to go and defend? Oh, he's sending his navy out. Okay, based. Can we get a national polista hero, please? So we can, you know, not have to... 
on this journal entry forever. Oh, ignore all turmoil. Holy base. That's pretty awesome. We don't have a lot of turmoil right now, but that could be cool for other runs, I guess. Chat, after Brazil, I'm getting pretty bored of Brazil right now, so we're probably going to swap countries pretty soon. Whoa, whoa New National Paulista? Oh, the Paulista! We did it, chat! Let's go. We did it. It's over. Hoggers. Can you swap to Egypt? Well, like, you want me to do a, pl a playthrough as Egypt, or do you want me to like swap countries to Egypt? I just want to like, I want to do like a new a new playthrough is what I want to do. Paraguay, they've got like some OP stuff going on, don't they? They got some crazy shit or something. Play as Egypt. Mm -hmm. Before this, before this goes through, we have to bring in the industrialists again. Our chance to pass. There you go, pass. Finally. So now are we going to see immigrants coming here? Because we need immigrants here for the coffee, but they're just like not coming. Lots of oil, bro. Is oil even matter? Like... We talk about Egypt is strong. They have oil. Does that even mean anything in, in this game? The multi multiculture? No, I don't. Also, look, okay, now they're coming. Okay, interesting. Why? Who's even who's even arriving here? Twelve people came. I don't, I don't understand why no one is, is migrating here. It's got high attraction. And they're just, they're just like, no, I don't wanna. Okay. Well, they're, they're, they're again, 90 in Rio, Rio, in Rio de Janeiro, and they're just leaving. I don't understand, dude. How does this, how does migration work? Shit, SOL? Motherfucker, this is the number that matters. This is the number. This is the number that determines migration. The SOL is factored into it, yes. Part of part of this number is SOL, okay. Like part of this attraction number is SOL. But if we if we taking into account the shitty SOL, it's still seventy five point seven, which is significantly higher. Okay, like oh, this is just an infinite. They have so many of these infinite recursive tooltips, by the way. It's significantly higher than the average in the country, so we should be seeing some migrants. We don't see any. <laughs> I don't understand. Like it makes sense they're coming down here. Like there's lots of jobs here too. Like there's no there's not there's no unemployment. There's lots of jobs. They just they're just like no, I don't wanna. Eight people came. Okay. Fifteen that's still a job to go work in an American subsistence farm base. I don't understand how migration works, dude. Like here we get lots, and this is good. I wanted migration here because we have a lot of industry going on here. But like, why would they why are they not going down here? I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, I get that oil you as you automate in the late game mechano, but like I'm mean, I'm not playing past like 1860, okay? You you you're not gonna catch me playing past like 1870 at the very latest in this game. Is there someone else's market to be honest? Because we could have sapped their pops, I guess, right? I mean we could still do that. We could still join this this guy's customs union. We have to um we have to get Argentina to not be a uh not be a protectorate, but we try to sap uh, British pops or something. But that would ruin our coffee diary entry. That would ruin this. Not the coffee. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, the free master for five years. Yeah, I know about that. That's the um, is it the, this one probably the Americas? Yeah, it's not bad. 
I don't know. I kind of want to stop playing as Persona. I'm going to go play as someone else. Out of Sinker said Egypt, and I trust Out of Sinker because he's like really Giga Chad. So why don't we go play Egypt, chat? Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Do a little Egypt. We're coming up on the. Well, we're already at past four hours. Also, Res that now it's getting darker, so I can put my, my camera on. The camera light. Let's go play in Egypt or something. Make it look a little better. Because Egypt should be interesting to play, right? Because we can go and fight the Ottomans or whatever. Try to, you know, have fun with the great powers. Sure. Enlightened streamer. You know what? Lit up. Alright. So what do we got? So we just have, like, a massive landowner. Might as well just do this. Hmm. Well, if we could potentially, I mean, this guy is obviously a traditionalist, but if he, if we can try to roll into an abolitionist or whatever, that'd be cool, but it's fine. We do have some land reformers, which is cool. I kind of want to go to land-based taxation so we can, because we, we're, we're not going to get ship tax anyway. I kind of want to go land-based so we get proportional later more easily, so let's just do that right away. It pisses, like, everyone off, so maybe we don't. I don't know, it doesn't piss anyone that actually matters off, though. Just to get it over with. Rule for better ones. Let's see. Let's check that. Actually, I'm curious about that. Are they? Because if they're if they're random, then I'm I'll probably just rule until we get a moderate, so that we can just um. I don't think they're random though. Only moderate. Yeah, I know. We have to moderate. We have to do the moderates. Advocate trip with Egypt. Oh, thing. Okay. Let's see. First of all, let's just check if they have. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be random. Oh no, they are random. Okay, so we. Oh, we have. Okay, so we could try to roll into an abolitionist. Like, into a moderate person. Okay, well, shit. Well, shit, dude. Okay, let, let, let's do. Let's, 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 just, let's just fuck around and find out, bro. We can get ourselves a moderate in the landowners. Such a stupid trick. I hate it. Jingoist. Democrat can get voting day one. Okay, sure. We can do a Democrat. That works too. Somehow it makes it much more enjoyable to be able to break free from the conservative clutches in the early game right away instead of having to wait for later. Because it feels kind of tr like tricky, but also I just want to have fun. Like, I'm okay if this kind of like, ruins the balance of the game because to be like, it's not very fun to engage in the in the like challenge of victoria 3 it's more fun just to like build the economy and stuff so i'm kind of i'm kind of chill with just like you know doing this crazy shit okay a slaver that's definitely not good got a republican uh armed forces though eh fortunately their clout's kind of dog shit but that's funny You can't use an armed forces? Yeah, but the cloud is so low. It's like, bro, I'm good. I'm gonna make the bot not do that. I thought about having the copy bot, like, do that link, but it kind of makes me upset to see that link, so. An authoritarian? Come on, double authoritarians. What can we do with this? I'm just curious. With two authoritarians... Like, we already have basically a, total, a totally authoritarian country, right? So, we couldn't do much with that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it feels like... It feels, I, I, I think I agree with that. It feels like a lot of... Um, it feels like a lot of just randomness for the challenge of the game. It's like, well, just, just get lucky. It's like, I'm good, bro. I'll just force the luck. You should be able to get corn laws to the market. The most landowner corn laws is a lot harder to get now, but uh, you, I think you can probably pull it off the Egypt deck. You have a lot of grain, but I don't know. I think I'm cool just to keep rerolling. Other authoritarian edge. Can you get a moderate as Egypt? I wonder. Is that even is that even possible? Let's check in the game files, guys. Let's look in the game files. Because I assume somewhere it's written. 
like where this stuff gets determined, right? So assume that's in there somewhere. Traditionalist Sag. Are you going faster? I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm going, I'm going. We got rerolling Egypt. Let's go, dude. He's rerolling Egypt. Fellow Egypt rerollers, unite. Hey, a Democrat. Okay, that works. We'll go with that. We'll go with a Democrat, since that's also quite good. Because we can just go straight to. Can't do universal. We have to get egalitarianism. We go straight to census suffrage. Yeah, we want to get there faster. Okay, I lost. Yeah, immediately loses. I mean, yeah, that's that works for me, honestly. This this is good enough to be like, yeah, this will be a fun run. No one opposes this except for the uh, except for the Lima. Who cares? Now, what we can do, okay, so in combination with this, let's also try to get 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 the market liberal, export all of our grain. The Manor Lords? I have heard of Manor Lords. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the ten bucks, by the way. Lala Luxi. Thanks for the ten bucks. I really appreciate that. Manor Lords I've heard of. A lot of hype. The the, the, the notification for the donation is gonna come in pretty soon, by the way. It, it takes a minute. I, I wish it didn't take so long, but it does come in. It just that it just takes a while. They will accept. Okay, cool. Um there it is. <laughs> yeah. Took 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 a minute. Took took a second. I mean, a member as well, oh my goodness. Wait, was that the notification for being a member? I don't know. The nation thing does come in, just the stream is super slow. I was 5% sure you would enjoy it. Think about it. Think about it. So we have to get this for so for the... Wait for this. Corn laws. Or is it more expensive? This has to get expensive, eh? Okay. Well. We just export to everyone. Even if it's inefficient, we just do this. Should make it pretty expensive. Although it's only like five a piece though. Let's do all grain exports. I don't know if that'll actually do it, because it's, it's we have a lot of grain production. There it is, there's notification. Or if you have to not make grain, yeah, it's a citrus over orchards, yeah. Do that. Tools to meet. We don't really have tools yet, do we? We, have, we do have boats, but good. Okay. Well, let's get some construction going. You just got it as Egypt, it's nice. That was good. I also just got it as Egypt. Okay, it's that easy. It's that easy. Well, I guess then in that case we can stop all those trade routes now, because we don't really need those. Those are just like shitty trade routes, so let's not do those. Now let's get our stuff back off of that. Cool. I already, I already reduced time on head jazz. Yeah, they already, they already reduced it. Right way ahead of you, pal. I should have relations with like France and stuff. We'll need to become friends with these people. France and Britain and all them. We want allies if we can get them. Hey, Russia doesn't like me, so let's bother. Want to grant these until you have census passed? Yes, correct. Thank you. That is that is the plan. Your advisor, oh, that's okay, Dream. I appreciate you letting me know, even if I already did it. It's all good. So we could just immediately conquer Jebel Shamar, and it looks like no one would get in the way of it. So I don't see why we shouldn't just conquer this. Like, why, why would we not just take this? Go ahead the France War. Here, if I in theory did this, France wouldn't, wouldn't care. Okay, no. Would this increase our- it wouldn't increase our relations, would it, to do this? 
Like, I don't see a reason why we should do that, right? They, they didn't... Oh, this is this is the Monarch Turtle. That was fast. That was quick. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, once we finish Sense of Suffrage, then we throw this guy in. That's based. Okay, so where do we have wood? Do we have any... Like, where do we make... I assume there's not a lot of trees around here. This sun, though, looks like it. Okay. Put some in Palestine. Good. There's not a lot of wood in Egypt, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, it's... It makes sense. I, I You know, I'm not gonna question that. Lower our taxes. Yeah, we don't need all this. Only tree in the country. Well, there's Palestine. We got, we got, we got wood here. We can import some iron from, I guess, Austria. Elected bureaucrats. That's probably eh, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, elected bureaucrats is good. Yeah. I, I think I prefer appointed, though. What do we think, Chad? Do we, do we prefer... No, elected is way better. Yeah, institution... This used to be different. It wasn't this good before. This is super good, the, the institution cost multiplier down here. Okay. Who are these people? Republican... Yeah. What's up, Pudding Kip? I am still going, yes. It's time for me to become a Giga Chad stream. Listen, listen, those of you that were here in, in this stream before the end of the new year, remember when I was applying for partner? Okay, I was so close. And then I got, I was like 0 0.3 viewers away from being able to apply normally. Okay, and then I still applied for my YouTube channel, but I didn't get in. We got, we got to make that shit happen, dog. It's time to stream. It's time to stream. Okay. We don't stop. We never stop. What happened to Brazil? I got bored, so we stopped playing Brazil. Got a little, got a little borge. No, no Brazil. Brazil migrated to Egypt. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Pete Constitution, do you ignore them? I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Kip. I didn't mean to disappoint you. Here comes sense of suffrage, hopefully. Surely we get it. Surely. Good. Cool with this, yeah. Okay, and then we... Um, we want to do... We want to get off predatory bureaucrats for sure. That's 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 definite. I think we just go... I, th I think we just go... I think we I think we'll elect it. Elect the bureaucrats. Do that. Election incoming. Probably, yeah, conservatives are going to win. <laughs> that checks out. Bring the petite bourgeoisie in. I'm cool with that. Sure. Good to me. Everybody comes in. But no way, just fine with me. Uh, the new secret achievements weren't very good. They, they were very boring. Nobody cared about them. That's why no one... That's why you don't know them, probably. is because no one cared. We don't need uh we don't need softwood or hardwood I mean we just need softwood if you know what I mean heh <laughs> god can I import from yeah let's import some wood good we do want the land orders powerful yeah yeah I want them to win I, I, I do want it because they're because they're gonna make the market liberals after and stuff right we're gonna go from like agrarian serfdom to like 
super supreme sigma shit like immediately. Who's this guy? He's super good. Albanian Sunni. I remember learning about um, like Muhammad Ali of the of the Khedive of of Egypt or whatever um, in in university. He was a cool figure. I remember I asked my prof uh, a question one time, and I wore, I phrased the question like this. I don't remember what the question was that wasn't important. I asked, um, "Did Muhammad Ali do X?" I forgot what I said, and my professor was like, "Motherfucker, you know how many people are named Muhammad Ali?" In, in this era of history? Who the fuck are you talking about? He didn't say it that way, obviously, but, you know, I'm memeing. But that's basically what he told me was, like, who? Because that's, like, 80 people at this point in history. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. I said Muhammad Ali, like, the Khadiv Muhammad Ali. To me, commercial agriculture is good because you get more, um... Because you get more, like, uh... Investment pool from farms and stuff, but... Each their own. I was the same guy as the boxer, dude. What the fuck? Ain't no way. When I when I found out that, that Muhammad Ali was Albanian, I immediately I immediately had that that image in my head of that memory TV meme where he's like, the only thing Albania deserves is a nuke. That's a classic. You should have a banned slavery on you. Yeah, fair enough. You gotta narrow it down. Yeah, true. Exactly. You were 10? Okay, if you were 10, then that's pretty fair enough. I thought you meant you were, like, you know, an adult. Being like, yeah, bro, it's the boxer. Hey, you my bureaucrats. Come on. Okay, for banning slavery, um, I don't think we need to worry about it too much, honestly. We'll get there when we get there. Um, for now, now that we've passed all that, there's nothing else I really want to pass, so let's put the market liberal in charge. Now we want to get rid of serfdom, and I think we want to go with the... We want to go homesteading? What do we think, chat? Homesteading or tenant farmers? I mean, we're kind of like rocking with the with the landowners right now, so go with this, I guess. Well, they're angry though; eh? they don't like that path of liberalism, by the way. Make it more popular. Uat Bay, who's that abolitionist? We did just start, yes. Oh, my timer's not on screen. Wait a minute, chat. Nobody told me my timer wasn't on screen. Wait, it was on screen? No, it isn't on screen. Put it on. There you go. Damn. Oh god, oops. 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 That over here. The rule of folk or the devout? True, honestly. Look at the support. 100% chance. Look at this crazy. 100% chance to pass this. It was for Egypt too. Oh, what it moves for Egypt, okay, is to is to keep restarting the game until you get a landowner who is a Democrat, and then to do corn laws to get a market liberal, and then yeah. Shimulak would still get a setback with a zero percent chance. You bet I would. Zero point zero percent. I I believe I believe there's a possibility of a setback here. Can you actively shop it around? I have no idea. I've never I haven't even played as Egypt before. At crucial states. Uh, we, we can try it. Yeah, we can expert. We can try that out. Um, I'll save scum if it doesn't work. But yeah, we can try it. Well, I'm actually too friendly with the Brits right now. Shit. Um, I could just hit force recognition on them. Hold on, let me try. Mods. Hold on, the mods. Hold on, mods. Thank you, mods. Wait. Yeah, there. Thank you, mods. Alright, we, we should say, let's just try it out. Let's just do, like, force recognition and see if he puts a ban slavery on me. Let's 
What's he gonna put? Just land Malta? You might actually be right. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. What's he gonna put on me? Does he ban slavery? Uh, war operations. Um, I'm curious if this... Ha okay, so now I'm actually curious, since he brought that up. Can we just, like... Can we just get, like, recognition immediately? I'm curious about that now. Also, get me laissez-faire. Oh, let's go, dude. So good. <coughs> I do have a navy right now, too. Let's see, can we actually land in Malta, like for real, for real, on oh, god. Who did I just kill? Who just died? Oh god, wait, no, my landowner guy died. No! No, wait! Okay, hold on, wait, we gotta reload. I, I, I mindlessly hit duel, and then, uh... <laughs> I mindlessly hit duel, and then, um, killed the landowner. Good job. I killed the guy. Yeah, let's not do this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you're right, we should also add war ups. That's good. In fact, we can even add, like, conquer Malta, but I can't do that. Eighteen thirty-six. No, we don't have to do that. We just we just reload the auto save. Fine. Wait, did Prussia join? Wait. Oh my God, Prussia. Why? Wait, what? Wait. Why did he? What? What happened here? What? Who's this asshole? Come on, get me back to the. What happened here? What? We're not even burning. We're just. We're. We're literally just auto save. What if he died? Put transfer East India Company on there. Damn, that's big. That's giga chat as fuck. Now we're gonna keep. We're gonna do this. I don't know what was happening there. I guess he died, and I didn't notice, but. We'll claim on Alberta, Giga Chat. Corn just means grains, yeah, it does. Putting Conquer Guyana. It would be crazy, but no. I don't think we're doing that. I don't think we're gonna be doing that. That would be a little bit too crazy for my taste. Take the Ionian Islands. So is Britain just gonna like not retaliate? Or is it, so are we are we just gonna You want national supremacy? Honestly, what what is what is my pops? What are my pops like? What are my pops like? So we basically would end up well, Arab speaking, so are we not gonna Is national supremacy not just like super good? Because we have to share what a language, right? A heritage, culture trait, and a cultural trait. So we already, so like Mashriki we share, Sudanese we don't share heritage, so we would, we would hate Sudanese, Nuba, Turk, Turkish we would be okay with, although we know we wouldn't because we don't have, their Turkic and we're Arab speaking. So we, we would, this would actually be fine. The censorship's kind of okay, now nah, we'll just take this. Sure, I'll pass, I'll pass uh, national supremacy. Russia sides with them. It won't defend it, it'll tank the dozen to minus 100. That's absolutely hilarious. That is insane. Can you hit the skibbity? Put the toilet? I don't really feel like using the washroom right now, so... God, no. That'd be so funny. Tried to grab East India. Does the strat still work? Out of sync, do you happen to know? Um, does the strat still work where you play as France and then you attack Britain day one and then make them transfer EIC and then just surrender the surrender the uh, like, like someone cuts you down during the war and you surrender it to remove all your infamy and then you win the war after so you have no infamy? Does still work? I actually got a setback on that. You can always real recognition on USA, 50% chance automatically. Damn. That's hilarious. 
All right, so we need to do a naval invasion on Malta. This is kind of uh, ridiculous, I'm not going to lie. But you can't declare wars for five years after that. Still, who the hell cares? You just got all of India. What the fuck? Like, like that's... Who even cares about that, right? You've, you've just got all of India. Okay, there we go. So now am I just going to win? Yes, I'm just going to win now. Okay. I can even... I may even be able to defeat... A navy. Is that that's the Prussian navy? I may even be able to defeat the Prussian navy. Holy. He just killed the Prussian navy. Sigma grind set. Prussian navy stands no chance. They were they were dead on arrival. <laughs> Moral victory. No, that was a real victory. That wasn't even a moral victory. That was a real victory. We actually won that. Don't battle anymore. They might send troops, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, okay. Alright, okay, okay. I'm not building anything right now. What am I doing? Um, Build something. But what to build? And capital only. Let me send my guy back here to defend the capital. I'm pretty sure they're not even gonna send anything, but yeah, fair enough. Let's um think of what we want to build here. Let's check our market out. Looks like we need iron, so we can work on that. We're gonna need tools though. To Wait, do we have tools in our market? Doesn't look like. So I guess before we do that, then let's make some tools. It's one tool workshop. Okay, you see, I didn't actually add that war goal, no. I, I just, I was memeing about adding that war goal. It's just recognize and war operations. So just Malta by itself is enough to give us ticking war score on them. So we just sit here and wait. Pretty based. For the meta strat. Um, as France, so as France, you are strong enough that you can beat England in a one-on-one. -on -one. So if you play as France... You attack Great Britain day one. This is so that no one who has interest, like people can't join the war if you do it day one, basically. And then you land in London. Because you can literally just defeat Britain. You can just spam naval invasions on London. And then you can beat them. And then W. You get you get all of India, plus you're playing against France. I'm just going to demobilize. Um, I, I don't think we even need an army raised right now, so let's not waste the resources on it. And I think they're just going to sit there and wait. This is hilarious. They actually fell, and the shawarma fell in my mouth with some extra tahini. I love that meme. Keep keep posting it. I love it. It's hilarious every time. And I'm not memeing. I do mean that. It is really funny every single time. Unironically. A secure and additional source of iron. Let's get some Portuguese iron, I guess. Are they invading you? I don't know. They, uh, I think they're just... They just, like, don't wanna? I don't know. Oh, maybe because they're busy fighting China? Maybe that's it? But even then, that's kind of weird, but... I think they just are busy with China. Memory TV memes actually are both peak and also kind of my childhood. So, my my dad would hate that I liked memory TV memes, because I think that he sees them as, like, actually, like, degrading to, like, Islam. But my brother and I love them. We, we, we love memory TV memes. Yo, 50,000 tax income? What the fuck? Isn't that just... Wait, do, what? Yes? I need to have the Suez Canal. Okay, fair enough. I, need, I don't have the Suez Canal. I understand. That seems like so good, though. 50k tax. Just out from nothing. Um, I don't know what we want to get yet. Have you played with the economic financial mod yet? No, I haven't played with it. I have not. I haven't played with very many mods at all for, for Vic3. I should make a mod for Vic3, chat. I should do that. Shouldn't I? Dig your own Suez Canal. Honestly, true, though. 
got to do the Suez survey, boys. That's all I got to do. Just need a thousand bureaucracy for that. I mean, yeah, I guess the logging company is good because we have so few logs that, I mean, yeah, it's it's weird, champ, but sure, it'll increase the, increase the throughput on our logs. I mean, they can't even fully employ yet, but that's okay. We're gonna work on that. Oh, they they are sending an invasion. Okay, hold on. They're sending an invasion. So then I think we just mobilize, right? And we just send these guys... I think if we sit in our HQ, they won't possibly have a chance, right? If we'll definitely get there before they arrive. Also, we're out of cannons, apparently. Thank you, Austria. If we, if we just sit here, I don't think they could possibly defeat me from, like, a naval landing. Let's see. Yeah, we, we should be fine like this. Insufficient support? They, are they insufficient support invading me right now? They... What, what are these guys doing, dude? Hey, what's up, Tori UK? Long time no see ya. Good to see you. What do you think of Legend of the Dead? Uh, Legend of the Dead was a pretty... Was a solidly, like... 5 to 6 out of 10 DLC. Wasn't a bad DLC, wasn't a good DLC. It was fine. And that's okay. It, it, was, it was pretty average. But um, what was nice about it was that the modding potential actually for it is crazy, and that's why I've been working on mods for, for the first time. But actually some pretty good mods that you can make with it. I think Ando's AVH efficiency is like a thing. I guess you must be right. I mean, fuck, dude. They're just throwing armies away. Also, they have low manpower as well. Damn. Also, I should be passing a uh, free trade, I think, right? That's what we're doing. We can't because well, we have slavery. We need stock exchange for that. Okay. We need to do this for the uh, for the Ulima, right? They wanted this. Uh, oh, are they raiding my convoys? Yeah, they're raiding my convoys. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Still gonna win. Yeah, I created isolated. It's annoying all these notifications, but it is what it is. Did they win their war here? Don't tell me that, that they didn't... Wait, did China... No. Did, wait, did, because I'm at war with Britain, did Britain feel like they were pressured to abandon their war with uh, with China, and now China is like free of the opium crisis? There's no fucking way, dude. Because they don't have the... Wait. Opium ban. That's from opium addiction. No, they must have lost. Yeah, they must have lost. They must have. There's no way. That'd be insane. Yeah, I do want the war operations, because Britain war operations are actually worth a lot of money. But where Canada is in default because of me. Dude. Why are they even raising their troops? Also, we have no convoys. Bro is pursuiting and the battle isn't even over. What a giga chat. It takes treaty port though. Yeah, something must have. They must. Something must have happened that 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 the Britain didn't take the treaty port. I don't know. But they were at war before. Your champ. It's fine. It is what it is. Just gonna casually defeat Britain as Egypt and get recognition in 1839. Sigma grind set. I love that still works. Based as hell.
Yeah, getting recognition if AI was actually capable is, way, is you know, basically impossible. Got him. I still remember the old Alaska Strat playing as a sick empire. Invade Sin. Make one ship. Invade Alaska. Get yourself some recognition. Good times. Good times. Better days in Victor Victoria 3. Better days. Bro, 18th from size of British loans. Did, did this motherfucker mobilize? Like, did, he mobilized 114 battalions. Dude, he is going into debt to fight this. Insane. Like, let's look at how much this has cost him. We've made him spend 9 million on... 4 million on military goods. <laughs> oh. Just to... Now he's gonna pay me, and we get recognition. Insane. Alright, well. Sigma grind set. Everything with Ching War and then you came in. Damn. Very nice. Score petition complete. Love to see that. I'd like to go to land-based taxation so we can we can jump to proportional taxation more easily. Let's do that. All of our trade routes should come back up now, so I don't have to worry about this. With the tools, we can make more wood. Oh, this is even incorporated. Um, none of this is incorporated. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Just in Britain's fountain. How do you feel? I feel great, dude. Can I, can I get France's war reps as well? Like here, can I? I guess we're friends with France, but who can I? How else can I declare on? Just so like, just to try and get like, just trying to get them to ban, ban slavery for me. I don't know. Fine. So now we're just gonna run our entire budget off of British war operations, because that's reasonable. Also probably should be friends with Britain again. Who are you friends with, Mr. Ottoman? Looks like friends with France, so that's unfortunate that I'm kind of trying to be friends with France. But it is. Legalize slavery instead. I mean, slavery already is legal. Damn, got the bad, the worst one. In game, please no ban. No, we won't ban you. It's okay. You're good. I know you. I know you meant in game. You're good. You're good. Your notes are almost coming back. Go. cheese on France too. Yeah, I, ma I imagine you can. Probably with Corsica. Well, the Corsica might have a garrison, so you might want to do it on, like, I don't know, one of these treaty ports, like one of the French Oran or something. Best way for bankrolls? Yeah, honestly, that sounds good. Let's see if we can get any sick ba slick bankrolls. So my interests are basically all in here, but let's say we get into, like, Persia, maybe into Italy. Guyana, great place for recognition. Honestly, big true. So we finished our tools. That's good. Now we can use them right away for this. In one tool thing, supports five logging camps. Hopefully. How's the video doing, by the way? Doing a little better now? Ah, it's doing pretty poorly. That's alright, though. Fun just to make a good video essay. Once the iron mine's ready, we can even go to wrought iron tools, and then we can make even more tools. How much do you produce per... Yeah, it looks like you're going to produce, like, 25 tools or something. I wish that this actually works properly, because this isn't this doesn't actually work anymore, unfortunately. Um so I don't know how much it's gonna give once it's fully employed, but looks like it's gonna give like 30-ish. Okay, that should be enough for this then. Good. Busy playing Balotro. I love Balotro, dude. Is Thalespire 2 actually a thing, by the way? 
That sounds pretty. I, I'd, I'd buy Slay the Spire too, for sure. Now it's today. Oh, nice. Awesome. I'll probably check that out. New election just dropped. Conservatives versus agrarians. We all know who's going to win. 2025? Okay, that's a while away then. Not gonna, not too worried about it then. Nice, this is good. Sure, France. We'll make a trade agreement. Honestly, if Slay the Spire 2, and this is maybe controversial, but if Slay the Spire 2 were just like more of the same, I think it'd be pretty chill. I wouldn't have a problem with that. The egalitarianism for that, okay, we'll work towards that. Schools, eh. We do want to open the borders, but. Gonna go censorship. I kind of like censorship, to be honest. Good. Downfall mod with unofficial expansion. Okay. Interesting. Up at hedge ads. I could try to prepare for fighting the Ottomans, because we could try to conquer like into race once they lose their great power status. Right now it would cost a lot of infamy, but we could try. We could work our, actually, you know what? We could work our way into India. That's actually not a bad idea. I, mean, I need to make a new army so that's like a little smaller, because right now our army's kind of too big. Make it in Egypt. Okay. Let's transfer some units. So... Nile HQ, it's perfect. Okay, pass like, like 12, 4, 2, 4, how many is that? Oh, oh fuck, I, I hate this. I hate this UI. This is, a, this, this is such a bad UI, dude. Why is it like this? Guys, 20. 20 guys. Okay. Wait, who did I send to the wrong person, didn't I? Oh, no. 20. This is the one. Okay, cool. Master Bureaucrat? Hmm. Just go with this. Yeah, that sounds good. It's a slaver, but it is what it is. Um, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's our, that's gonna be our naval army. And then the thing is, we need one more ship to kind of make that work. So let's go look at our navy. That way we can get enough support. Build like one. I guess we can build a couple more light ships to be honest. But like this, and then maybe like not really any people there. Sinai is not really any people either. They build them in Palestine, Lebanon. Lebanon sounds good. That'll get built when it gets built. We can go imperialize off into Central Asia. That focuses the game, true. Or fair just isn't a focus. I mean, yeah, fair enough, but it's a bad UI is a bad UI, whether it's a, whether it's a focus of the game or not. It's just really annoys you when the UI is so bad. Yeah, I'd like stock exchange so we can get um so we can get free trade. That'd be nice. Nice, 100% chance. Let's go, dude. New elections. Yeah, Nightbot is pretty strict about links. Unfortunately. Sorry, Nightbot do be like that, though. 
Still missing iron, eh? But we should be getting some iron coming in soon. Yeah, this will be good. Make wrought iron tools, and that'll let us use... Yeah, we'll be good, we'll be good. Who, 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 what's this, what's this? The UK government private? Okay. Hello, hello UK government? Can I, help you? Yeah. I heard tax season ended recently. How's, how, how's that going for you, Mr. Government? Real UK government in chat, let's go. My king, I'm Canadian, I'm one of your subjects, my king. How are we doing, how are we doing? Comes the iron. Let's go, dude. So now we go here. Got iron tools. <laughs> yes. This be from the Dominion. The Dominion of British Columbia. We call it British Columbia for a reason, don't we? Let's get rid of this army. We don't need this. The censorship. Just how the king would have wanted it. He's truing so hard. The share, you see the share of the streaming revenue. It'll get there. I'll do. I'll do my taxes. Um, I'll do my. I'll do my British subject taxes like next year. You know, I'm gonna delay them by a year because that's really smart. Rishi Sunak in chat. Let's go. My favorite Indian prime minister. I mean, what? Or is he Pakistani? Hold on. Sorry. Am I being? Am I being rude? Is Rishi Sunak Indian or Pakistani? <laughs> I don't actually know. Someone come out with the, he's Bangladeshi and ruined my life. Or I guess he's British. Okay, hold on, I'm being rude. He's British, but you know what I mean? Like, is he, is he from, is, is he, is he originating from India or from Pakistan? At the end of the day, he's, he's a Brit, but. You're getting sent to Australia? Let's go, send me to Australia. He's Pashtun, you racist fuck? I'm sorry. He's British Rajish. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to, I didn't know he was Afghani. Oh, we can lathe. Oh, right. African colonies. Oh, so South African Indian. Okay. Cool. Based. What were you doing on your stream, uh, Mr. Gabriel? Oh, what's this? The Ottoman War has arrived. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I want triple Latania. That's what I want. Yeah, that sounds good. France will help me. Excellent. That basically means that I win. And then I want... Liberate Iraq. And then we gotta bring France in for sure. So what is France going to want from me, though? This is the big question. Um, he can't protect her at me because I'm not a minor power, so he's not going to want that. Transfer subject. Obligation. I'll happily give an obligation, or I can give him hedge as. I'll give him an obligation. That's fine. I just walk from Egypt to Syria through water. Um, I guess the Suez Canal is getting in the way, you see? You see the, the, the Suez? It's getting it's getting in the way. It's You can't, you can't walk through that, you know? So you got to go around in the ships. So you should be like, he's still cocky. Wow, okay. Despite the French being involved. That's crazy. I've only got, what, 20 things left? Take your money. This gives France more time to get here, so it works for me. Can't conquer anything. I guess, and trip, trip, yeah, sure, I'll take, yeah, sure. More raw operations. With fr oh, oh, our Khedive died, so now we're playing as... Okay, it's basically the same. Ibrahim seems alright as well, so that's good. The Great Bulgaria when? Damn. Alright, see you later, UK government. Good night. Thanks, thanks I appreciate the, the, the raid. See you around, little bro. I don't know why Ottomans feel like they can beat me in France. <laughs> I'm not sure why they think they can do that, but yeah, that's a little weird.
I have an interest in the Balkans through East Bulgaria. Yeah, Sag. I should have I should have put an interest there, I guess. I do have an interest here, never mind. Wait, apparently I should have been able to, but no oh well. You can get minus maneuvers? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm just gonna keep my navy in the port though, because I'm not really interested in actually trying to fight anything off here. Giuseppe Garibaldi. <laughs> Motherfucker. Make him a commander. Make him a commander. Where did he go? Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Show him how it's done. Giuseppe Garibaldi here to fight off the Turkish imperialists. Keep Egypt safe. You know? Let's actually put these guys on defense mode. We leave after the war. I know, but it's hilarious. It's still funny. The Garibaldi, famous Italian, you know, unifier or whatever, is here to help. France forgot to bring half their army. Sag. They didn't. I, they probably didn't mobilize. They're being smart. They don't want to commit like everything they have to it. Which actually, this actually checks out though, that they didn't mobilize everything. Is Ken there, Femi, a land reformer? Okay. Who asked? You should invade Eastern Thrace. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, it's actually not a bad idea. Um, once we, once you finish Triple Atania off, then we'll do it. Because right now we're gonna have like the extra border. I don't really want that, but. Maybe they want homesteading, eh? Okay, okay, okay. Actually, if I could France is here, why am I even... Like, yeah, why don't we just go and invade Thrace? They do have... Uh, they have a navy there. Okay, they do actually have a navy there. Es gibt nicht wie ein Albanier, sie sind Berg What What is a... What is a... What is a... What is a Berg Turken? What are Berg Turks? <laughs> Mountain Turks. Okay, okay, okay. I should actually invade Basra. Hold on. That's actually, that's actually a better idea. Is I should go and invade uh, this. Because so. then uh, it's going to take a while to go through, but then we can. Uh, then we can. Kind of move through, uh, move through Iraq to get the war ticking war score, because we can't really beat this navy. I don't think. Sure, in war we find peace, and this would work too, so we can get the ticking war score through in Iraq. Once we finish this front, see now everyone's gonna go over towards. Um, everyone's gonna go into this front. We should be a little better off. I've made this header from ancient Illyria air to Rome. I've heard, I've heard that meme before. It's hilarious. Damn, France is attacking despite the numbers there. That's pretty crazy. What a Sigma. There's no army here. Perfect. I'm just going to sit here and defend because all I have to do is hold here and then we just occupy Iraq and we're good to go. I think we have to occupy Baghdad in order to get the Ticking War score. We should be fine. France is pretty good in this war, right? They're not going to... Yeah, they're not going to capitulate anytime soon. That's good. Here we are. We're arriving. Easiest clap of my life. He might redirect some units, but I think... Or is Basra the capital? Okay, no, this... No, this is not the capital, so... We do need to actually push into Baghdad. Yeah, looks like we might even be able to. He's, like, got no manpower, so I think we have a good chance here. Yeah, he's got no manpower. Maybe just an urge for Vic 3? I don't know, um... I think I just... It just... I was like, ah, I want to play Vic 3, and then I was... I had enough fun that I was willing to give it another play. So, that's why. That's all it is. Yeah.
Okay, it's just got no men. Despite our 14 offense, which I don't know why it's that low, actually, it's kind of weird. Despite our very low offense, um, he's got no men in his army, so he dies. They take a lot of deaths this war. Yeah, it's a lot. So this is any more troops, but we got Baghdad though. But is that not enough? Is there how much of Iraq do we have to take for this to count? That's crazy. Maybe is the capital of Iraq in Mosul or Deir Ezzor? Because I believe it's these four states. This is Iraq. These four. Through putting Kiv. I didn't know I already made them a puppet earlier, I think. Yeah, I already I already have downgraded their autonomy again to be puppet, so we're good. Hejaz do be a puppet. I guess the capital must be I'm gonna say it's in Mosul then, if I don't know why it would be here. Unless for liberate countries, you have to take every state that they own, which would be kind of crazy, but I guess it's possible. Now are we getting it? No, I guess yeah. We need to. I guess it's in Mosul. Okay, I didn't know that. I th always thought it was in. Um, I always thought it was in Baghdad. So this is okay. Maybe HQ. I was like, what the fuck? This is this is where you know the capital of Iraq is today. But oh well. Once we free Iraq, um, we might be able to, like, well, we probably can't protect her with them peacefully, but I'm just going to protect her with them as soon as I can, and then we'll, you know, try to use them as a subject, and then we'll invade Persia through them once we make them into a puppet. So, so transfer this to me, liberate Iraq, give me reparations, and yeah, for sure, everyone's reparations. We'll just push until he surrenders. Fine. Our navy is almost ready. Once our navy is ready, we go to... I think we go to Sind uh, and we get into Sikh Empire. That'd be nice. Nice. We could go homesteading. Um, but I think I'm okay with the really powerful conservatives for now. Just for now, though. We'll eventually want to go to commercial, obviously. That'll be the, the true desire, but... Commercial. But it takes a while to get the tech for commercial agriculture. Yeah, we could just do this to get into Persia. You're right. That's a very good it's a very good option. Our navy's already here as well, which is perfect. Will it surrender? Good. Oh, interesting. They don't have this. Okay, I thought... So we don't actually have a border. We're going to have to invade... Um, are you a... You're not a major power, are you? No, he's unrecognized. Okay, we're going to have to actually invade uh, Double Shemar, which is, you know, flap. Not particularly worried about this. <laughs> we'll just, you know, mobilize the 20 stack and send them in. Garibaldi's, st Garibaldi's still here. Nice. Make him a field marshal. He deserves it. Yeah, this is being damaging relations. Where are they recognized, by the way? They are recognized. Nice. Oh no, no. Sorry, unrecognized. Never mind. Sorry, they're not recognized. That would be really cute if they were recognized because we are recognized. Triple Tani is actually a pretty nice get as well because like that means that we get access to Tunis now, and Tunis is in the odd market. But Tunis has uh, what they have sulfur, don't they? Yeah, sulfur and lead do very nice things. I can have the freedom fighting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is with Garibaldi, but he's like, yeah, dude, I'm down. I'll keep fighting. I'm fighting for freedom as I help the Egyptians conquer Arabia, I guess. Because one class. It's getting dark now. Hold on. I gotta I gotta reset my camera real quick because it's it's not it's used to when the sun was super bright. Now we gotta reset this.
That's that's a little better, but you know. yeah, it's actually quite a bit better. Get in there, boys. Nice, easy clap. Hey, they got an artillery foundry here. Wait a minute, what? That's actually useful for me, so... I'm t they got a lot of barracks, dude. Like, unironically, this is a nice conquest, because that's, like, just... Barracks are nice to have, right? I mean... I wouldn't have a problem getting extra barracks. This is still UK reparations, right? Plus the Ottoman reparations? Yeah, nice. We're going to form Arabia? I mean, probably, but it's going to be a while. Because we have to get pan-nationalism and all that. But sure, eventually I will. Austria is fighting Prussia. Bro, they got... They got Britain on their side. Nice. Okay. Probably gonna be a giant super Germany this round then, which is very scary, but it is what it is. Would you be... Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Would you be interested in... AO? Or... I didn't think so, but... Good well with that. So, let's attack Oman. I'd like to conquer... So, I want to conquer Herman. Najd will join, that's fine. I accept, let's see. Okay, nope, that's fine. And then I also want to make them a protectorate. The only thing is, um, the Zanzibar probably will break free. But that's okay. I think it's bar too. The problem is you don't have an interest there. Oh no, we do have an interest there. I forgot. Okay, yeah. I think that we do this, and then we also make Protectorate. That keeps us below 25 still, which is great. Najd will probably join the war, which is fine. I might even Protectorate Najd, but... We're going to take care of man, we're going to take Zanzibar, and then we're going to make them Protectorate. That's fine. I don't need your stuff anyway, little bro. Don't need these. Yeah, get rid of all the bad trades. Let's raise the 20 stack. Put them over here so they get a little closer to the front. If we grab Zanzibar, we can use that kind of as a staging ground to get into... Um get into Zulu. We could do war reps. Yeah, sure. I mean, there's no reason not to. No reason not to war rep. So with Karaman, we can attack Persia. And I kind of want Protectorate Persia. That's going to be very expensive, infamy-wise. So maybe we wait on Protectorating Persia. But it'd be nice to get them in our market. That Nedge says with Oman. That's what we expected. Um, this is impassable. So what we do is I think we just... It's expensive, but, you know, oh well, I'm not trying to put super off. Maybe we just mark put these guys on here. Oh, he backs down. Okay, fair enough. He backs down. It checks out. Checks out. I, I, you know, can't blame him for that. There should already be a port in here. Yes, there is. Excellent. Now. 20, that's such, that's so little. That's crazy. Now, EIC might join, which is a problem. So, maybe we want to improve with the IC. Isn't the strap to constant plus 25% infamy decay? Um, I mean, yeah, we'd like that, but also our infamy is pretty low, so... Then backing down is fine. It's not a big deal to have to want to get control of Oman. Like, it's 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 fine. Don't, don't worry about, like, playing Giga Optimal here. We got the... We got, we got this, which is more or less what I wanted. Because then I can... Um, vector it Persia very easily. Only problem is their alliance with the East India Company. That's that's a bit of a problem. But, you know, we can always wait, I guess. Or I could, like, maybe try to find a way to be in a war. We'll see. 
Like, try to be on a, a war that's on the side with them. We could try to grab Panama for, like, no reason. For a good meme. I mean, we actually can do this. Come on, let's wait till the interest comes through. Obligation be Cindy. That's true. We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. We can help them in some war or something. If they get a war. They probably will get a war eventually because one of the subjects will get a rebellion or something. Wait for the interest over here in Central Europe. Okay, Central America. So, El Salvador would help. Also, America might. But if America did, would it really matter? I'm a little scared of that, so maybe we cool, we cool it a little bit. We wait to see if America gets busy on something else. But for now, I think we keep building up stuff. So, I would like to work on, perhaps, getting some railways going. So, we've already got iron and tools going here. Now, we don't have a lot of infrastructure left. But we could go... We don't have coal. We could go with, like, steel in here. I mean... Oh, there's lots of wait, this is Thor Egypt. Not a lot of people there. Let's make a steel mill here. One and one. Then we'll do a railway in Palestine. We don't have railways yet. We're getting railways. We're getting there. Yeah. Can you release Israel in this game? I'm curious. Is that a thing? They do have Israel. Damn. Based. Bro, cancel these guys, bro. Bahrain, do you want to become my subject? No. Only Jewish country in the game, yeah. No, I'm just making a joke about current events. So. Why is it so slow to build here? What's up with that? Gotta wait a week for it to update, maybe? Go for obligation. Wait, what? You mean like this? No, that doesn't... Go like this? Oh, now he will. Okay, now he will. Apparently he wasn't willing to before. Now he will. Okay. Three subjects, Bahrain. Let's go. Okay, easy. Love that. Love to see that. You're probably not going to get there in time to save it, but that's okay. The alternative building view, top right above urban centers. Let's see. This. No, I hate this. Nah, I don't like this. I've seen Sayuza using this, but I prefer seeing the, the big pictures. It, it looks nicer to me. Makes it easier to know what's be, what's in that area. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it in time, so we're going to have to... Oh, maybe we're going to get there. Just barely. Nice. Okay, cool. Free bar rain is cool. Garibaldi left? No, Garibaldi. You hate to see it. <clears throat> Sag, no more Garibaldi. He will be missed. Why is this actually taking forever? Is there like a modifier here? What's up with this? Why is it taking 125 weeks for this? Or is it that we're... Our construction's all going towards private construction. Yeah, 16.5 to bananas, and then 5.5 to steel. That's why. Okay. Fair enough. We won, by the way. Easy clap. Get a little bit hungry, chat. Might grab a snack in a minute. I don't even know what snack I would get, though. I don't think we actually have any snacks in the house right now. 
I have to make some like actual food. It's probably a better idea, but still. Oh, our war reps are gone. I mean, you know what's funny? Would I be insane to just like declare another, like to just declare a war for conquest of Malta and just add British war reps and then just like would I would I be would I be a crazy man to do that? What do we think, chat? Would that be insane? Would I be an absolute mad lad to just try and get British war reps again? I can already got laissez faire. The most of our construction goes for its private construction. Get France war reps. Who has more money? I think. Well, it looks like they're pretty neck and neck, but yeah, we could go for we could go for France and just do like liberate or something. Ooh, Ottomans. We could work. We could work for the aristocrat. What are the? What are they? What do they believe in? What's their thing? Of trade. Do I care which one? I mean, I guess the serfdom one is or is less dangerous. I don't know. It's fine. Just invade Guyana. I mean, yeah, I guess we could, right? But we, oh, we're friends with France, though. What am I saying? I'm, I'm friends with France. We have an ob. He, I think he has an obligation on me. Yeah, he has an obligation on me. So never mind. We're not doing that. We do, we do, we did do corn laws, yeah. We're still on corn laws right now. Here's a truce, okay. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, for sure to get corn laws now. I mean, honestly, it checks out. You know, it was too easy to get off of it before. But yeah, we'll get there. I right, no more private construction for now. That's good. Well, it's not really good, but it means I can work on my steel mill faster. Maple States? But why? Yeah, all the Italians are going to help, probably. This would be a good meme, but no. How, mu how much? Wait, how much infamy was it? 49? Surprisingly doable, but no. Okay, I have a good I have a good meme in mind, chat. I kind of want a protectorate Mexico. But then they're they're kinda of strong though, eh? We might not have might not be so easy to do. What if I tried to like conquer California? Would that be like a funny meme? Or we could try to conquer somewhere in, in Southeast Asia. Classic Prussian Tyrol, yeah, they do be doing that a lot. Pretty sure they won their war, so they're going to be the German leader. Maybe the protectorate, uh, Persia. How about the EIC? That's the problem, is the EIC. The EIC will, like, definitely help with their allied. Market Japan. If I can get a bigger navy and a bigger army, we definitely could. Right now, though, our, our army and navy is a little too small. Takes a bit for the navy to get built, yeah, okay. Let's, um, maybe, do we have, like, a military shipyard? We should, right, yeah. I want another one of these. Need more logs as well. What's our market access like? Like this, for example, 65%. That's so bad. 
unincorporated state. Okay. We can incorporate these, I think. Doesn't sound too crazy. I think that's reasonable. Let's incorporate these. These are kind of like our home states. So. Probably should have been incorporating them a while ago, to be honest, but it is what it is. We probably should just annex Tripolitania, to be honest. Maybe they'll accept it, you never know. Never lucky. What's up, government? How you doing? Only five years, yeah, it's only five years. Only a twentieth of the game time. Does some of the Filipinos have gold mines? Do they? That'd be crazy. I don't think they do. I don't remember there being any gold around here. There's gold in Brunei. I see right here, there's gold, there's gold there right now. We could make a move on South Africa, I guess. So they're gonna have gold here soon. I don't know. A lot of different options. Damn it. Oh, probably because our steel, our steel doesn't have any coal. Um, where do we do we have any coal around here? Yeah, There's coal in Lebanon. Okay. Get me uh, one coal, please. hundred iron. Yeah, I don't have nearly that much iron. Make 40. Haste. Go to 80 though. Like getting this to be profitable is going to take a while until we can actually work with this, but get there. When they can every opium war based. I mean, yeah, you might as well just grab war reps and stuff, right? I mean, it makes sense. It's crazy, though, how that's just, like, a thing that you always do. This game is wacky. How much longer is our truce? 28 months. Yeah, I do be spamming barracks. Yeah, I've noticed that. Oh, well, our guys are defending. Oops. Is gotta be advancing the front little bro. Yeah, I like how they have to get to my capital to increase autonomy. That's crazy. Isn't it doesn't independence require you just to defend your capital? Is it actually harder to increase autonomy than it is to just like defend your capital? Or to than it is to get independence? Kinda crazy. Railroads, okay. Epic. If I want to get more market access, I should go for modern sewage. Which one gives? Um, do any of these give Mappy? I feel like don't doesn't don't some of them. I don't remember. I think we want this, first of all, for the better tax law. That's good, but... Having fun. Yet yeah, I'm always having fun, bro. I'm a fun enjoyer. Or, yeah, I think there's, there's more mappy down here, right? Like, macroeconomics gives mappy, but... Zeppelin's also gives mappy? Oh, okay, Zeppelin's gives mappy. Okay. Cool. Good to know. I still think Laissez Faire should give Mappy. Not to make Laissez Faire even more powerful than it already is, but like, what's the tr what's like the trade off having less control over your economy? It's that it's more efficient, right? This should give Mappy, and this shouldn't give Mappy. Which, to be fair, would just make Laissez Faire even more busted. So the game should be rebalanced around that as well. But like, you know, I think that should be one of the 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 like benefits of Laissez Faire. Is like, yeah, now you your market is more efficient. Whatever, it is what it is. <sighs> nice. 
close borders? I think I am, yeah. Oh well. Those wars does suck, yeah. No no mass migrations or anything, but it is what it is. This guy would have accepted. Fuck. I missed it. You kidding me? Damn. Oh well, it is what it is. Because that's Harar. That's like a relatively large, like, person in Ethiopia. Oh well. What oh, Turkish Socratic Revolt? Did they win? Ain't no way. I think they did. Wasn't that nice? Perhaps we should liberate Bulgaria. Oh! Did the IC... No, they're still allied, eh? Yeah, okay, they just game is just saying that maybe there's a chance they wouldn't join. Well, it probably just takes Northern Thrace, Bulgaria, and Dobruja, and then... Oh, right. Maybe it takes Macedon, Skopje as well. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, what's this? Oh, we can, okay, well, we can be on, we can join. Okay, we can go, we can make our move. We can make our move, boys. We can join, um, we join on the side of Britain, and that puts us on the same side as East EIC, and then we can go and fight Persia. Am I a meta fan or an immersion enjoyer? Um, for this game, I'm more of a meta fan, but normally I'm an immersion enjoyer. Great agreement? I really would like a bankroll, but... If I do this... Right? They were willing to give me stuff. Now we'll just we'll just join Britain's side. Wait, is the IC even in this war? I think they are, right? I'm gonna wait until this war is just about to begin, and then I'll. And then actually, I can pre. I can also pre um, mobilize my units, which is nice. I'm gonna disband this army. Oh, that's a different one. Can pre pre stack our troops, which is nice. Happy Eid, thanks. Yeah, happy Eid to you too, buddy. Sure. It was French cannons. Sounds good. What oh, theocrat? It's time, boys. The theocracy. We could actually do it. Whoa. Ooh, where you can you can be recognized when the IC collapsed? Yo, that sounds pretty busting. I'd be interested in that. Here we go, boys. Now, if we're lucky, he may just, you know, bitch light to me, which would be great. We got no convoys, eh? Okay, hold on. Um, that's kind of a problem. We do want convoys. Let's just spam out some ports, I guess. Gonna take a while for those to build, though. No convoys. I mean, it'll still. I mean, I guess to be honest with you, we can probably just send some of these guys home. Um, because we don't really need the full army here, do we? Like, if I just send you home here. Um, or I could even I could even violate um, Iraq's sovereignty, but 
We go home. See, that should be enough. A little bit of a negative from the lack of su supply, but I think it'll be okay. You bring the Ottomans in for Adana. Funny. Persia. Okay. Now I'm curious. How much to make Afghanistan a protectorate? Some Muslim stream? One could say that. I am a Muslim. So it checks out. Okay, the Afghan army is a little big. How 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 strong are they when they all stack up? Let's see. Wait, why is the why is the why are they sending their army here? That's kind of weird, champ. I think we can just win this though. I mean, actually, I can do a naval invasion and just go around him. What am I? What am I? Yeah, what am I thinking? We literally just naval invade around. It's as easy as that. Where's my navy? Of course, it's not in position, but I don't have the tech yet. I'm working on the tech right now. Nine to thirteen weeks, then I can go to free trade. So do I want to also? Is this an opportunity to also protect her at Afghanistan? Probably not, because it'll be very difficult. See, I don't protect it because I'm not going to be able to get to them. There's no point. I think I'll just... We're just going to war up Persia. That sounds good. Yeah, Persia, Persia, Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get to them. That's the problem. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But we're not going to do it that way. So I think um, these guys, they probably can push. Hopefully they'll be able to win. I think they got this. They're pretty strong. Um, but even if they can't win, it's alright. Because we'll just naval invade into into Arabistan and go up there. It'll be fine. 7 weeks? That's not too bad. I guess they made it most of the way. Part of the way. It's like, oh, we have a lot of offense. Damn, okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we even need to we need to do this, but it's still helpful. You're doing you're doing a Bosnia run. How'd that go? How did Bosnia go? Religious map mode one point seven. Ooh, finally religious map mode. That's been missing, eh? It's been I've been missing that religious map mode. Fun to look at that stuff. More map modes, please. There we go. Now we can go to free trade. Okay, let's do that. Hell yeah, dude. Now we should be good to go. Bro is getting free reign. Muslim HRE is Bosnia. Let's go, dude. That'd be, that sounds really fun. up in 10 months so we're gonna we're gonna protect her at iraq after this and we just slowly reduce autonomy over and over again you get crazy conversion i think we've heard half of romania in like five years damn based just so crazy why does prussia always gotta do this bro like it's just oh no they did they do have a brand in their markets never mind it's not isolated but Sometimes they lose Bavaria from their market, and then it's just sitting there isolated, and it's like, okay, nice. <laughs> you know, why not, right? <laughs> why wouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? You know the meme of Lord of the Rings? It's like, why shouldn't I? Costa Rica Protectorate. 
Why do they do it? Why do they do it? Why do they do what? Orthodox Atria sounds fun. I think that Muslim Atria is more based, though. Get in there, boys. You're just OP, bro. They want German state to form a German Germany either also starting a self title. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's still funny. It still makes me laugh. But yeah, it's, it's checks out. Okay, let's actually start. Let's actually get our navy. Or are they just oh they're unable to get there. Okay, that's perfect. Let's get the small army. So that's the twenty stack. It's them over here. It's gonna take them all to get there. Oh no, no, they can't reach it. Okay, in that case, navy naval invasion. Do it this way. Fourteen weeks. That's fine. They'll be fine over there. So we're gonna get to Costa Rica, um, which is gonna be hilarious. I, I will save Costa Rica. I will do it. I could skip on the war operations for this, but I think I'd like to have them. Money is money. There's Persian Protectorate. Let's go. So Iraq, how much longer? Will I be able to complete the Costa Rica before this is up? Four months? I think we'll be able to, yeah. Actually, maybe not. It's going to take a while for us to get there, so maybe not, actually. Still, we should be okay. With their armies? Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Save some money that way. These guys teleported back home, I didn't even notice. I get Chad. They're just sitting here waiting. Wonderful. I like the loyalists, honestly. Because we've already got a pretty high chance to pass this, so. Or money from Persia, to be honest. So how much do they give? Eh, two, two and a half K. Too bad. Not too bad at all. It's something. Not much, though. But it's an honest living. Okay, easy clap. <laughs> that was easy. Alright, so we're gonna get free Costa Rica. Love to see that. Let's get this these navy back um back home before I forget about it. But this is worth it for this game. Um I don't know if they're worth it, but they're kind of important. Um just because they uh they add like mechanics that are pretty important. Voting. Put him back on serfdom, Giga Chad. We could get him to start voting. I mean, sure, they might liberalize him a little bit more. I kind of don't want to, though. I want him to just be like an autocracy that just chills. What mechanics? So the, the, the French one adds the agitators. And the Brazil one, I don't even know, what is it? They let you abdicate, which is like pretty important for some strats, like the ability to click this button, abdicate the throne. That's the Brazil one adds that, I think. I don't know, actually. Someone someone else will know in chat. Nice. Guys are in base game? Okay, never mind then, I don't know. I'm not sure, maybe then you don't, maybe you don't need, maybe they are pointless then. I always thought the Adchairs were a French DLC thing. Funny for me? Yeah, it's fine. 
I don't really. What I want more from them is is the is the market. I want I want to get access to their silk and stuff. That's more what I want from them. Like, see this. I want to eventually annex them, but for now it's just nice to have that. Okay, so let's do this. But not accept. That's fair. I don't think we need a big army for this. We'll just raise the 40, 49, and they should be able to handle it themselves. Then we'll have a nice market stretching from Libya all the way to to Persia. Without any convoys necessary. Nice. Ottomans are willing to join. Sick. I'm gonna get war reps, of course. <sighs> you stop removing relations now, we can good. increase relations. Maybe he'll back down, let's see. That'd be nice if he back down. Why is Francis flagged like that? What is this flag? Catholic Theocracy? Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Damn, their Sunni Ulima get more political strength. That's really weird how that works. That's the France DLC, I guess, yeah. Well, it's not primary? Oh, I see. Yeah, fair enough, whatever. It's fine. Them not backing down is, is, is no problem. Why is my offense so low? Oh. You guys are elites, bro. I guess this cannon just has like no men in it. The, oh, the hussars and those are fucking irregulars in here. Okay, that's the problem. We gotta upgrade those irregulars. Hold on. Okay, we gotta upgrade all these. That. Birds. The duel? Abolitionist versus abolitionist. I mean, <laughs> fuck it, bro. Okay. I guess they killed Puat Bay. They're both marginalized groups, so... Some of the least important stuff I've ever seen in my life just happened. Pops could work well in CK3. Uh, I, th I think it could be okay, but I think the game's focus isn't really on that kind of stuff, so it might not necessarily pan out very well with the game's mechanics. But you could redesign CK3 around Pops. That'd be reasonable. Oh, thanks, America. Okay. I I guess. I don't see why not. Also work well on Hoi 4. That I can see it working well, because then you can finally simulate, like, the Holocaust. Just like all the Hoi 4 players wanted. Takes on the debt now, never know, so I might. Huh? Huh? What did he just say? What is he saying, chat? Our GDP, by the way, has remained like a flat line, despite us doing very well in these conquests and all. I'm not even sure, like, I'm not really doing much building, I'm kind of just conquering, which, you know, isn't the best, but what it is. I could just give him this, but not good.
cool. There we go. Ooh, election, but it's still a righteous government. I mean, I just throw everyone in. I mean, why not, right? We can. Everyone can be in. Every, every party's in. Party time. Right, I wanted to get to this. Oh, this would be really nice to get, actually, to get on here. Do we have the tech for that almost? Yeah, we're working on that tech. Yeah, everyone's in government. Yay! GB or France? Well, we're friends with both of them, so I don't really want to get... I, I can't attack either of them. Although, I guess... Yeah, we were friends with both. Um, but we could go for, like... We could go for Ching, but... I doubt we can actually defeat Ching. Ching is, uh... Yes, they actually managed to assert their sovereignty. So is, wait, is that a thing from them succeeding in the open wars? Because Britain didn't get a trade a treaty port. So they're actually just like chilling. Can I reduce your GB did take it out? Probably because I attacked them in the early game, bro. They were too weakened. Classic Egyptian Costa Rica. This would be crazy, but uh, I don't know about that one. Not Formosa. Oh, yeah, okay. I get great power, less interest then. Well, we're only paying 5k on interest. Most of our problems coming from the government wage. Um, we could also just raise our taxes. Like, if we just raise taxes a bit, it would be alright, but... Like, if we just got, like, a service tax... And then... Opium tax... A luxury clothes tax... Wouldn't be too bad. Oh, minus prestige, though? Fine, I guess. Still in great power range, right? There we go. And uh, we can I mean, we can honestly just sit at max tax if we want to. If I do this, we're still we're not righteous anymore. We're legitimate, but. ports right now i'd like to make some uh, profits i think what we do is we wait until we can get um dividend taxes through egalitarianism and once we have that we focus on just making something profitable and i think that profitable considering that we have so thanks to persia we should have access to silk although he's not he hasn't built any yet but he should build he should make some if yeah, see, oh he has he has silk so we have access to silk we have access to dyes um somewhere here yeah here's the dyes so we can start doing just like we can start just doing like crazy um you know clothes. That'd be super good, I think. And that'll make us some good income. I think I'm on all the laws that I want. You play this trash game? You, I know, Mr. Gaming. What's up, by the way? Mr. Gaming spotted. I don't know why we're playing this game. We're just we're just playing a little bit of Egypt. Bahraini liberal revolt. Are you kidding me? I forgot to lower Bahrain's uh, Bahrain's economy. Too bad. Okay though. Here's our market, Mr. Gaming. Got ourselves a Persian protectorate, an Iraqi protectorate, and a Costa Rican protectorate, because you know. You know. Yeah, not bad. How are you doing tonight? Gotta take Iraq? Yeah, we're, we're going to. We're, we already made them. Uh, 
We made them a uh, what do you call it? I'm not doing that. We made them a um, vector, and we're gonna we're gonna slowly make you know integrate them and all that. I've been watching Mr. Game. For those that are wondering who, why Mr. Gaming's entry is important, okay. If you're, if you're a Victoria Three player, you probably already know, but I, I've you know I've been uh, watching Mr. Gaming play this game for a while, and through his streams and his videos, I now um, I now know how to play the game better. Also, thanks to Palaya or Out of Sinker, as he's known here, um, he he also has been helping giving me some advice as we play. Just showing out a little before recording USA based. I respect that. Brain properly rotted. You know it, dude. Full of Victoria 3 information and nothing else useful. Yasuka is Palaya. That's right, yes. They're, they are one and the same. They are the same person. <laughs> Mr. Gaming never knew. Damn. Come on, Mr. Game. We'll just demobilize now. It's a little early, but. Oh. Oh, man. We do a little aristocratic revolt. What's it for? They don't like homesteading, that checks out. Fortunately I don't have an interest up here, but this is still definitely interesting. That's like a cultural exclusion. Yeah, but you know. Like, we'll get there. We'll get there. We gotta ban slavery first. Translations to the rack? That's a good idea actually, sorry I forgot about that. Get them to accept lowering autonomy later. I'm trying to see if I want to. Uh, once I make Costa Rica a puppet, I want to use them as a staging ground to take um, Panama. So that'll be funny. Maybe the slavery thing has some merit. True. Monk S. I mean, we're probably importing slaves into like Palestine right now. I imagine that's where we have most of our like workers. No, are, are we importing slaves anywhere right now? Oh, okay, in in here. Oh, probably not anymore. Maybe in here. I don't know. I, just, I gotta make more buildings before we start importing. Well, I, we are importing into Palestine. Because I made Palestine uh, our little... Uh, not our hub of industry. Not our hub, but, you know, we're making a little bit there. Also, we now have a steel mill. I forgot that we even had this. We don't have a coal mine yet, though, do we? Kind of preemptively built that, I think. Because we are doing the coal mine here. No, we do have a coal mine. Okay, so... Put this to this. Put this to this. And this should, through the grapevine, create demand for steel and coal. On latest PM. Ain't no way he's right. Take a chad. Vaccine properly. Yeah, yeah, you're doing a good job. House is close to a good mappy state. That's, I picked it because it's got the iron, right? So I made my tools there and I did iron plus tool so that way they got the local prices together. But then, you know, also the logging camps because we needed wood. But it wasn't a state. And then I was like, wait a minute, we should probably should make that a state. <laughs> probably would be a good idea. Ooh, opportunity. Doesn't look like Britain wants to give me anything. I won the Middle East, legendary. Honestly, that's how I felt when I saw it. I was like, yo, hold up. Five logging camps. Let's put our whole country there. There's four in Lebanon and six in Syria, in Aleppo. It's not too bad. But yeah, other than that, there's like no logging camps. I should probably just go and like invade like Siam or something and use their logging camps because we can easily, not easily, but we can we can defeat Siam I think um, if we get a, more boats and at least we can do a bigger naval invasion. I think we can do it. So I'll probably go for that, or maybe well, who might be easier? Might be easier to attack like Johor first, and then use them to just march through Siam. That might be easier because then we can get lots of wood around here. In fact, I think I will do that. Do this. Aw, 
Oh, I can't get anything off Britain though. Can you hit the gritty on camera? For Maybe look at what the hit with the gritty is. Let me just look it up real quick. See if it, let's see the the gritty. Alan Davis invented it. What is throw? We gotta throw bees. Hit it in the gritty. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know, dude. I'm 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 a zoomer, but I'm not that much of a zoomer, chat. I'm sorry, I'm a zoomer. We probably shouldn't. I I guess I don't know. Britain doesn't want anything, so or doesn't want to give me anything, so goodbye. Badge. I gotta learn this stuff. Oh, what's this? France. Oh, but they're they're using the obligation for it. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I don't, this is probably a bad idea, right? I don't really want to be in France's market, because I kind of got my own market going here. Like, if I join theirs, they're going to get all of this. What do we think, Mr. Gaming, what would what would your thoughts on this be? Do I join the theocratic France's market? Oh, I just, I just said no to it. Okay, too late now. Get fucked. Alright. Sorry, pal. Too late. Should have reacted faster. I pressed escape to get out of the thing. You probably see us in our GP yet anyway. Damn. No way to join? Well, I mean... I guess because... Um, like, I'm thinking about why... Why would we want to join, right? So we would want to join because they just have like a good market. So we could just use all their resources. They're Greece from the Turks. I'll think about it. We actually could very easily save Greece from the Turks, to be honest. Reese is crying. Yeah, they'll be fine. These aren't tears. Those are uh, that's sweat. All the fighting. Don't need to import this anymore. Got our own wood source now. These five log camps supplying like the whole country. Be peasant faster. Okay, I see. It's fair enough. Uh, it would be a good idea to protect her at the Ottomans if they dropped a miner. They might actually, because once they get the dead man. Oh no, but this is a revolt. They won't get. They won't because this is the revolt tag that that conquered the Ottomans. See, this guy's not actually. This guy's not actually an an an, an Osman Olu. He's a Shakir, so, you know, there won't be a, I don't think they're going to drop to minor power, because they're not going to get the dead man of Europe, and they're also going to stay recognized. Which is annoying. Bahrain, Rubistan. I guess we can annex Hejaz, because why not? Please accept. Never lucky. I mean, uh, sure, I would kind of like colonial affairs, I guess. No, oh, that's patched? Okay, never mind. I mean, I don't know if we're going to do much colonization. But... Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I mean, I guess we can just tell them to go away. Sure, we'll see you later. I don't, I, don't really, I don't really care for him. He's a jingoist. Asking a jazz is free later. Too late now. But yeah, I guess you're right. It was would have been free. It's fine. We're 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 pretty low on infamy, so you can make some mistakes. The soundtrack of this game is kind of good. You guys, you guys didn't lie. 
Y'all told me that it was good. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Are there good forests in South America, by the way? Not bad. If I went for like... Okay, they actually, there's not bad forests here. I might... I think I'm still gonna go with the... Like, Johor into Siam route to try and get, try and get forests, but... In fact, would I want to conquer these or just protect them? Because they might... Uh, they might build forests for me, but... This is too late. They are they already they already went there and colonized it. For that. Um, I guess I might as well just do a little backdoor invasion, because why wouldn't I? It's gonna take a long time for the ships to go around, because you don't have the Suez Canal yet, but Guys, you don't even just 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 go there. You, you don't even need ships. Just just get in there. Easy clap, dude. Dodge. Cut their colonies off. I mean, like, how 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 would I cut their colonies off right now? They're already they're already in here. I don't think I'd be able to. I guess I could con. I guess I could conquer down into Borana and then try to just like out colonize them, but I doubt I'd be able to. Honest through Darfur. Oh, you mean like here? But I don't. This is all heavy. Isn't this all um, heavy malaria? Yeah, this is all. This is all severe malaria. Except this. This is not. But I guess yeah, we could go here. This is what we could do. I don't know. I don't really care much to be honest. Fine. Let Britain colonize. They're my friend. We're friends with Britain. You know, he's just cautious. It's fine. I hear you, Minion. Yeah. It's fine. Let him let him cook. Let Britain have some fun, okay? Game is more fun that way. Oh, yeah, the racial segregation revolt. Yeah, can we can we abdicate to make this happen, Giga Chad? An abdicate. I see. Interesting. Also, easy clap by the way. Maxwell Upton. A radical trade union. Kisha Meta is wild. Yeah, I've I've been seeing I've been seeing it on your stream, <laughs> generalist. Pretty uh, pretty crazy. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, but I don't think I really want to spend that on racial segregation, though. Because if I want to get that, I can literally just go and click it. Like, it's as easy as clicking this to do it. I wouldn't want to spend an abdication on something like that. I want to get forceful taxation next, what I want to get. We need to get egalitarianism first. That's what I, that's what I really want right now, so we can not be on, like, max taxes. But we need to wait for tech. It's another five months. Oh, or it can be right now? I don't, what, what just happened? Why did it just, like... Oh, probably because it's unlocked, so it lowered the... Yeah, I understand what happened now. That unlocked, so it lowered the amount that I need to do a tech level 2, and then, yeah, okay. Alright, let's do, yeah, let's do that now. Push taxation. That's going to be super nice. Because then we can start making dividend taxes. And I love dividend taxes, because then we can make money off of just making profitable buildings. I put everyone in Gov before I became to demarginalize the trade union super early. That's actually insane for gaming. That's crazy. Cause yeah, it gets 90, 90, It gives you like minus ninety percent. Um, ooh, this 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 one's fun. It gives like minus ninety percent. Oh, okay. Thank you, Victoria Three. I understand. I understand that. Uh, mayhaps. Mayhaps. Uh, you know, didn't didn't want it. I rage quit. Yeah, that exactly. I just I, that event popped up and I'm like, nah. Keep them in gov forever. That's actually pretty crazy. I and that makes me want to try that. But also, I'd have to get good and. 1% clout law passes. Let's go. Ain't no way. 
Yeah, the application meta is crazy. Do you think they're going to change it? I think they're, well, first of all, Paradox must be aware of it, right? So they're probably going to, I don't know, I, don't, I assume they're aware of it. But if they are, if they aren't, I mean, or, sorry, if they are, would they, do you think they would change it? Would they, would they fix applications to not be like that? Where it's like just insta pass whatever law you want, basically? That's remotely a priority for them? Based. Represent Russian Revolution. I see. The loyalist part? Mm. Okay, we have an auto save. It's fine. I've embraced Mr. Gaming's uh, strat of just like not playing in Iron Man mode anymore. I'm not going to lie. It has made the game a lot more fun because when some stupid bullshit happens, like everything's okay. Like, I don't I don't have to like pull my hair out. It's like, oh, okay, it's fine. Just reload. So I, I highly recommend the others. Yes, just play without without Iron Man. Bro took Yemen, classic blunder. Is this is this because oh because it caused the hard times or whatever? It is what it is. Land reform. Instant nationwide famine because you take Yemen. It do be that way sometimes. A lot of the Iron Man leaders out there are birding in private. I mean, I was doing that. Um, I was definitely like an Iron Man birder. But I think it was because I bird in most Paradox games because every Paradox game has a little bit of bullshit, right? Like even EU4, it's like sometimes you bird, okay? Even though that game is relatively good about the bullshit, sometimes you bird, you know what happens. Um, CK3, sometimes you bird, it happens. But in Victoria 3, it's like you're birding all the time. If if you're if you're you know if you're birding a lot, it's like you know what? Fuck it, bro. No birding. Just 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 play without Iron Man. Look a bird. Where? Where? Bronze man. Yeah, I love playing on bronze man. I'll just do all these. We don't have lead yet, so we can't do that. We don't have sulfur either, do we? No, we don't. We could do this. We do have engines, so sure. We do have engines, so. I only got one engine thing though, so maybe it's well it'll 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 get workers. The chew gummer, or rather the gum chewer, I guess you could say. Move on. Wait. Do you want? Me to, wait. What, what do you want? Wargle? Huh. Ooh. Big Mozambique, but no. What? What? What is? What is? What do you want? Oh, that'd be funny. That'd be funny, but. Yeah, let's wait for more. Oh, that's true. So I could go, I could go like this, and then what could I get? I don't like any of these things that I want though. We could, okay, we could liberate East Indies. But then I have to actually fight the war. It won't give me any of this stuff. Yeah, the, the, the checks out. Okay. But what would they... I guess yeah, they might give me... Okay. Just ruining my relations with everyone. I think this might be because they hate me now. No, it's just value. They won't give anything. Even if we didn't have bad relations. Hmm. Could just obligation it. I mean, there's no reason, isn't there just like never a reason to not grab an obligation and then just like surrender the war? Like, isn't, isn't it just always like, yeah, let's just do this then surrender. Also, I want to do this plan now, so let's do this. 
Because now Netherlands can't get in the way of this in case they had a thought of doing that. In terms of strength, by the way, I'm not super strong. Um, I'm like, I would consider myself relatively strong for the area right now, but I'm not, not super strong. And yeah, I'm just going to probably take the, the, the obligation and just surrender here. No war goes against me, so. Look, he's one. How strong IRL do you even lift? I am not very strong on IRL. Not very strong at all, unfortunately. I don't lift, first of all. Um, I go for walks here and there. That's the best you're going to get out of me. And, um, yeah. I lift groceries to take home. Oh, wait, I'm going to get a... Oh, uh, I'm going to get treaty ported. Is this a treaty port? It is. Fuck, I'm going to get treaty ported. Oh, what? Walks are pog. Yeah, I know, right? They are pretty nice. I like to go for a walk and think about life, you know, sometimes. This is where it's at. Yeah, I'm focusing on this. Egyptian Siam, here it comes. Thinking about life is less pog. I like thinking about life here and there. Go we'll take Cambodia. Why not? What's wrong with Cambodia? Ooh, I love this. Charitable giving. Yeah, it's always a good one. I heckin' love charitable giving. I remember spamming that event for getting bourbon, the one, the Spanish uh, achievement. It was fun. I could have probably stationed this guy somewhere, like maybe here, for it to be a little bit closer, but it is what it is. Do you not take Cambodia because of the Angkor Wat? Is that why? Missing Amazonia from Brazil. Ooh, that's pretty smart. That. Does he get the wood? That checks out. Is there like a special building here? Is that why? Or is it here? Yeah, the Angkor Wat. We don't want this. Because I know that if you accidentally conquer too much of this kind of stuff, you can just get like crazy strong Ulima for like no reason. I get that. Sure. Another film, another one. Let's go. They don't st do they stack? I don't remember. No, nah, they oh they do stack. Holy, let's go, dude. <laughs> let's go. Look at those loyalists, and then the moment the philanthropy goes away, they're all gonna become they're all gonna be angry at me. But it's fine. Drop the taxes back down again. Once this passes, um, we're not quite going to be in like positive range. But we're going to have a pretty reasonable... like This obviously is being inflated by the fact that we're at war. But we're going to have a pretty reasonable uh, you know, deficit that I think I can handle. Interesting, by the way, I've noticed this. When you're naval invading someone, they count as being fully occupied. Which is really weird. Because they haven't even landed yet. But I guess they're fully occupied based. We are recognized, yes. We are we are not taking immense rate interest. We're just taking pretty chill interest, so not too bad. Um, sure, we can do dedicated, please. That's fine. Based. All right. Let me go up into into Siam. I mean, even just this alone, this is like seven logging camps, starting more than Palestine. But yeah, we'll attack Siam, and I'm pretty sure my army can just wipe the floor with them. What's this? Doesn't want anything. Okay. Yeah, no meaningful difference. Fair enough. So, unfortunately, this means that he can treaty port me. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. To be fair, you know, we already kind of have a, um, we have a trade agreement already, right? So it's not that bad, but... 
We don't actually have true agreement, never mind, fuck. Oh, maybe we can yo-yo then. Okay, that happened. If we're not any more than yeah, once we're a great power, yeah, but we're not a great power yet. I might actually work on that because it'd be nice to become a great power, but we'll see. So, Dutch Indies would help. Okay, that's interesting. Well, what we could do is, um, I could protect her at Siam, but then I could just release Johor back out. Because to be honest, I don't really need this particular. I only really, only wanted this. So that I can protect her at Siam, and then that way I can um, I can protect her at Siam, and then I and then I can land troops and just fight them without having to do a landing because it'd be way harder for it to just marching up. That's the only reason why I did this. So maybe that's what's best. Sure, for British Guyana, maybe. Ooh, that's smart. I like that. I'll try that after this war. That could be that could be a pretty busting idea. Or Kenya. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good if we get Kenya, but I don't think people want to give me Kenya. That'd be pretty crazy. Get the navy in position. Um we're probably just gonna do the thing where we're gonna like do a like a naval invasion at the same time. So these guys are gonna be on the front line. And these twenty are gonna naval invade into Bangkok. Why not? Force taxation is almost here, which is really, really nice. These guys should arrive, right? 30 days, why? I guess we can add um, war reps just to make this take a little bit longer. There it is, nice. Okay, cool. Got an election as well. Um, we could just go to, I mean, we're, just, we stay at 93, it's fine. Uh, they wanted us to pass in their dedicated police. Yeah, I passed that. Sure, I mean, this is, yeah, this is good. Everyone likes that if I do that, so I'm in. I don't actually need this anymore, do I? But well, we'll keep building. We already invested in it, so. Government administration. Where is this? Tripoli? Um, don't care for the barracks much. I could use the administrations, though, yeah. I need more construction, but our income is not very, really that good. We don't really have a lot of budget. But I think what we do is before we make a lot more construction, let's try to make some profitable businesses that we can then use to dividend tax our way to a good income. Okay, so here comes the war. We're good. And then we're going to immediately do naval invasion. And this, uh, I'm pretty sure, is going to just literally absolutely destroy him. Like, it won't even take long to get there, and that yeah, will be good. Okay, well, maybe... Okay, you got some troops up there to go defend. Fair enough. Because we might have trouble pushing through here, because uh, a lot of our units are irregulars, unfortunately. In fact, we can just up oh, upgrade these. I always upgrade them. Be good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I keep on conquering them, the regulars stick around. Suez Company? Yeah, I gotta build Suez first for that, so. But we'll definitely do that once we actually have Suez. It takes so long to move in here, dude. Come on. Go. Get... Oh, I could have maybe done, uh, I could have maybe gotten a uh, protectorate in Los Altos, but it is what it is. Okay, looks like we can actually win here. Great. That's good. These guys are all line infantry. Oh, we have a couple of regulars, so create those. Yeah, we should be fine. It's almost time to lower autonomy on Persia, I think, and they're loyal, so that's they should have a we should have a good chance. Yeah, it is time. The truce is up. Up there. 
If we can get income from Persia, that might help us a little bit, because, you know, they'll pay us something. Not a lot, but probably something that'll help a little bit. Losing that, but that's okay. Looks like we're pushing up here, so that's good. I'm in no rush to pass this, so we'll take the Lilolists in Eritrea. He's like halfway out of men? How, how am I on men? I'm also like halfway. Okay, so it's not like it's not really my advantage, but... It is what it is. We should be able to push up here, worst case scenario. It'll take longer, but... Ooh, nice test of agriculture. Love that. Some more wheat that way. Yeah, probably gonna be that's okay if we lose up there on the on the naval landing. Well that could be fun, yeah, go for Afghanistan. Be nice. Making our way into Bangkok now. Yeah, now it should be an easy clap. I think the popularity on my king. Any good people? No. Because we're on a national supremacy, so we don't really have a lot of options. Yeah, this, this army is basically out of men, so they're screwed. And they're just getting destroyed. But yeah, dude. Nice. They're satisfying when they run out of men, so you just see, like... You just see, like, the number, like, the, the bar ticking so fast. Because, like, they only have, like... It says 28, but they only have 4,000 men here. They just get destroyed. Now we have the capital, so we just wait to win. Missing some guns. Um, that's unfortunate, but I think it'll be alright. We can import them for now. Hate when the UI is broken. Ottoman guns, French guns, British guns. Yeah, that all sounds good to me. Was it fully manned? I agree. I completely agree. You can sort of check by checking the blue bar, but I wish it was a little better than that. Great. That, now let's see. Would Persia accept just straight up becoming... Okay, 27. Okay, they wouldn't really accept it easily. Okay. How about my guns? What, you mean these guns right here? Hold on. Um, I kind of have two shirts on, but just trust me, it's here. Okay, look, you see this? Generalist uh, lifting right here. Um, I do really want to reduce autonomy, so maybe they accept, and if not, we just put our troops here. Ah, never lucky. Okay. It's good, thanks. What the fuck? It's like, mobilize all your armies? Okay, just this one, got it. Thanks, little bro. Can you go here? Actually, you know what? I think it might actually be better if you go here. Then we send the navy. And we're just going to do the same thing we did last time against Persia. We're going to make a front here in Kerman. And then we're going to invade into Arabistan and march up to Iraqi Ajami. And for the lulls, give me your give me war ups. Bro is just like... This will never stop making me laugh. It's like, yeah, we're in a state of war, but let's keep things fair here. Go, you can walk through. You can walk to the front from behind us. That's fine. You know, you do you, pal. That's always gonna, that's always gonna get me. That's always gonna make me laugh, seeing this. Like, I know, I know we're entering into a state of war. I understand, but I'll let you in. Alright, we're honorable fighters around here, okay? We're very honorable. I should label this guy as being blue, by the way, so I can know that he's the Marines. I don't even know that this guy's like the one of those naval invasions. Rivalry from the Ottomans. Ooh. Hey, pal. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay, we can't do that because of the, yeah, I understand why. And this. I think I just made that other AI willing to support him. That's hilarious. Okay. Naval invasion. And I'm pretty sure there's, like, no one here, so we just immediately land and then... Why does it need a long time to move here? I guess well, I guess loading on the boats takes a little while, but this, they're doing like a weird circle. See that little loop? What is the, what is this pathing? Path it's about a sinker. See this pathing? What is that? What is that like loop? Why are we doing this? Explain that one to me. Oh no, man, there are people here. That's fine. As long as it peels troops off the front, it still works out for me. Ton of steel, bro. French steel. Okay, um, what are we missing? We're missing hardwood. Okay, well, um, we can just do that. Yeah, that works. Fine. Fix up some stuff over there. Yeah, th this is fine. Even though we're losing the battles over here. I mean, well, apparently we're losing this battle too, but still. Am I a republic yet? No. I am still a kingdom. You can go with landowner. Take those. Now we're breaking through. Yeah, I think we just win. I mean, well, actually, we're pretty low on manpower here. But I was just think we just win off manpower, but apparently we're the ones with low manpower. Abdicate to the poor laws revolution. If I did that, would that make this? Because what I could do, couldn't I load up my government with everyone that's not the 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 trade unions, and then suddenly have like a massive trade union? That's how that works, right? Theory. Oh, bro, he started retreating when we when he was winning. You fool. Guy fucked up. Shouldn't have retreated when he was winning. Oh, they took the troops off. Wait, what? But they didn't also? And a weird. Well, I'm not gonna do it now, but I mean if there's a if we were to try to generate a revolt. Yeah, you wanna bankroll me, Austria? Oh, wait, how close are you to bankrolling me, though? Minus 50? I don't think that... I don't think that joining the San Marco Republic would flip that to being positive. This sounds like civilization music. Anyone else get that vibe? The music that's playing right now? I'll put it up in case you can't hear it. I like Civ music. That's hilarious, out of sinker. That's hilarious. Get that council republic going right away. That's kind of crazy. But can you even get the cooperative ownership if you don't have? I guess I guess cooperative ownership is not held back by a tech. It's held back by a government, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, you have to. Have... So wait. So you can get council republic. You can't get. You can't actually get collectivized agriculture though. But can you get this? You can't get this though. Okay, got you. So you can get this base. That's so good. The armies, the, the fronts have shattered, unfortunately. We'll see whose armies make it to the open fronts faster. They're going pretty fast. That's a little spooky. They're following the roads. My boys got here pretty fast, though, too. Oh, wait, no, they're, they're, never mind. They're <laughs> marching through the capital to get to the front. There you go. Nice. One day these will make sense, trust me. Now yeah, we're losing here, that's fine. 
the cozy sticks are good. Yeah, because then you wouldn't have any like you wouldn't have any like investment pool, I guess, right? So you want investment pool early on. You just want to eventually get to co-ops later. Hey, where are you going? You'd be going to the front, the front front. Okay, that's good. Could you guys just like yeah, just just take the capital. That, that's what we're looking for here. Great. Also, our building queue is about to run out, so we gotta start new buildings. I think we just need some bureaucracy, so let's just go here and let's just get some bureaucracy going. Yo, there's only 900 men here, what the fuck? Damn. Seven battalions, but only one only one battalion worth of actual units. I do want his war reps, so we're gonna keep the war going. Or we make you play a good game? Ooh, what game would you want me to play? Surely it'd be a good one. The San Marco actually broke for you, damn. Based. There we go. Persia is good. You'll just accept. That's awesome. Thank you. I want Costa Rica. Can we puppet you yet? Yes. Puppet Costa Rica. Also, nice. Look at that income. Oh, shit. Persia pays pretty good money. Yo, thank you, Persia. 7k from being a Dominion. All right. Spain would help you, Honduras would help you. Okay. I'd like to grab this. Also, America, Giga Chad. Based America. Based America? Let him go. Hmm. I mean, we could definitely win this. Just take Panama. Spain is pretty strong, but... I mean... We could just invade around it, around the problem. Or we could try to wait until Spain gets into a problem that we can... Something to that. I don't know. I don't know if I actually have an XPH point watch time command in my, in my uh, bot list or anything. So I could go after Afghanistan now, um, which I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to conquer Kalat, and then we can then we can make a protectorate on uh, Sikh Empire. Could do that. Kind of good. I used to have a positive income, by the way, while we're at minimum taxes. Although we have a lot of luxury taxes, but we can get rid of some. Most of these aren't really worth having at this point. Done. We could use some universities, I think. I think that would be nice to have. So let's do let's do some universities in our in our capital here. Do ten universities up to the five bureaucracies build. We're gonna need a lot of paper for that, so we get started on that. We could use sulfite pulping, and we do have sulfur here. Give me like two of those. Abdicate to a republic already? No. I want to have like a somewhat, unless I know exactly what I'm going for, I want to have like a somewhat traditional playthrough right now. It's the United Principalities. They get released. Oh yeah, because they're going to uh they're gonna be they're gonna lose their, their great power, their status or whatever, their recognized status.
You got release now. Okay. They did. Nice. All right. Let's go for it. Actually, let's just send let's send these guys to go and fight. Actually, just in case, because I know you know Morocco's getting involved in this war. Ottomans expert. I mean, apparently, yeah. Damn, he just knew. Never gonna get this up to a good productivity unless I can increase the cost of wood, I guess. Which I suppose I could try and do. I get more productivity here. To make more tools. We don't have enough qualification. Our big problem right now is qualifications. We need to fix that up. So we need education. Are you gonna play with Waifu Britannica? No. I just said it, motherfucker. <laughs> I I don't think I'll be doing that. UK just with the Ottomans. Damn. Okay, bro. Okay, little bro. Crazy. Getting these guys over here would be good. Um, Mor it looks like Morocco should have joined this war, but they didn't join the war, so that's cool, I guess. I mean, this should just be an easy clap, right? I don't think I have to even worry. An open opener when playing as Bosnia? Nice. Because he probably got to release these Bosnia as the Ottomans. Abdicate a census plus provincial, then release. Oh, I see. So that way it fucks over the country, and then you can, then you can go play as Bosnia. That's that's smart. Hindustan is broken free. Lankas. All right. Um. You get the laws. Oh, I see. Okay. Cool. I think one interest, I mean, we could go for, like, Japan, but Japan's probably too strong. I guess we just go for all of Africa, I'm not sure. Oh, they started the post Oh, that's nice. That makes it easy to get rid of slavery, then. Um, I think we do still want to do a naval invasion, just because you never know if it'll save us time, so. Sure. In there, boys. They're gonna send some guys back off the front. Honestly, it's good because it sends them off the front. Good. Play as Britain, conquer Bossy, then release. Giga Chad. Sigma Chad. They're all supporting Italian unification. Look at them go. Austria and shambles here, by the way. They really lost access to South Tyrol. Oh, hold on, wait, Britain. Uh, they won't give anything. Okay, rip. Alright, we won. Rec Tunis. Yeah, I could see that. That's that's a pretty base take out of Sinker. Generally speaking, releasing from that is pretty unbased. Releasing from the non-starting country. Kind of okay. Wait, did they get? Are they recognized? I'm kind of high on infamy. Where did this infamy come from, dude? What have I? What have I been? Do? I guess I've been warring autonomy and stuff, but still, be careful with our infamy. There's Tunis. Love to see that. Surprisingly, quite a bit of industry here, like the textiles and all that. That's nice. Missing steel, that's okay. It'll get employed. Iron, unfortunately, is very expensive right now. Import some, it's fine. Importing iron is pretty nice. We might actually want to switch over to iron construction. Um, 
But that'll make our wood like lose a lot of value, which would hurt our our company. We do want this to get prosperity eventually, but fuck, dude. The Raj is here. That's nice. Time is it now, chat? Five o'clock. Been streaming for seven hours. Not bad at all. Great hunger is gone. Let's go, dude. Oh, we have our own silk. I didn't know we had silk in, in Palestine. Oh, based. That's so nice. Oh, that means I didn't even really need to go after Persia. Although, it's good I went after them anyway, because it's useful. But still, I didn't really even need to. A positivist. Okay, bro. I could go to minor power anytime soon. I'd have to like humiliate him and ban slavery and stuff. Although maybe he already banned slavery. No, he hasn't. But I still have slavery. Yeah, <laughs> come on. I haven't banned slavery yet. This will be useful for me. Central archives. I think after this, I'd like to go for like quinine, their movement. I want to get to um, multiculturalism eventually, so I want to go to like feminism. So I think you unlock it. Is it with human rights with feminism that you unlock um, humanist ideology people? I for gore. But these would all be good. Basically, all of these are good. Then in here, we also want. Ci Actually, I guess we want civilizing mission, don't we? Yeah, for the uh, Panama Canal. This way, this is the from GV. I don't actually know. What would that be? What would that be, mate? Election. Parking the avian landing army in Johor, and then just invade South Bengal, easy peasy, but you need to have an unimportant front row. All armies go first. Why? Oh, so it's like you lure all of the defending armies away to, like, Johor, for example, and then after that, they just, like, they just waste all their time there. It seems legit. Once I reduce Siam to a to a dominion, they still they still keep all their guys, right? Or do they come to and then once they make puppet, they come to me? Just like what happens with the the British Raj, I guess. Let's see what happens. Hawaii would join on Sin's side. Okay. I'm not supposed to care why.
could do religious schools. I'd like to do public schools, though. Who would support this? this only the only industrialists would. Okay. Well, get them in here. We get the... Okay, they want to join the Patriotic. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, let's try for it. I mean, you know, you never know if we can pass it. Give me some, give me some public schools, man. Great. It's going to be a tough, tough one to pass, but... Try. It's supposed to be just debate chance, so we'll just we'll see if we get you know good debates or not. It's gonna be how this goes. If we're lucky, we're lucky. If not, we're not. The autonomy. Very aesthetic to rule up to Tunis or as Egypt, you know? It's like controlling the whole basin of the Mediterranean, you know, this whole little region of the Mediterranean. I guess besides the part up here, but besides the Aegean. But it feels good anyway. Oh, excuse me. It's a good yawn. Three months, four years, 17 months, 17 months, 17 months, 17 months, 33 months, 33 months. Okay, we got a bit of time. Sure, an active time down is nice. We still have censorship, right? Yeah. A lot of descent is pretty bussin', to be honest. Let's, I mean, we imp how much do we import? How much do we export? We probably should just check. That's all, that's my routes. These are almost all imports. Yeah, okay, we'll just... Well. Looks like we import a lot, so let's, let's import more. What's up, Odyssey? No construction. Yeah, but our income isn't very good. Only 22. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'll try to fix it. I'll try to fix it. Because you're kind of right, though. But why isn't this on? Oh my god, it should be on this. Let's go to iron construction at least. Let's do that. Let's do that. Minus more enactment time. Hell yeah, dude. Then boost construction. But I'm friends with France. <laughs> Do we actually build railways? You know, we didn't build them yet. I have these engines. I'm not using them for railways. I'm using them for ships. It's funny. And Ching and land on Lanfang. Mm, do we, we want to do that? We could like, liberate, liberate subjects. I could even just conquer. I could conquer Formosa. Or you know what'd be nice? It'd be nice to get a treaty port, but we're actually the same rank as as Ching. Damn, what say? Failures. Hate to see it. That's not a good start. You want to say no regular no controls? Um, once we get schools, I'll try to, but yeah. Would that be a, I guess that would be good so we can get pops moving around. But I get some migration targets. Langfang. But Langfang wouldn't actually count because this is this is their like tributary. They would this wouldn't give me like war rep ticking on them. Ninety percent sure. I don't know about that.
don't know about that one though, bro. I don't know. To save before. But then it would be like I'd spend so much time though. Dude, so many comments on the on the recent video, dude. People got a lot people got a lot of opinions. Which is cool. If I put taxes back up, I mean, I guess, you know, I guess I can just put, you know, I think construction is kind of more important than having, uh, than having, you know, nice, like, construction is more important than having a better income. We put the taxes up and let's do this. I know it would. I know, I know it would, but I'm not, I'm not sure that that would work because Lanfang is not, this is not a Qing territory. I'm pretty sure of that. I don't want to like get involved in a in a war against Ching. Of course, longer until we can uh our autonomy. It's nine months, okay. Is this another raid, bro? Blobber raiding. Oh my goodness! Wow, it's been a long time since we had a blobber raid. How's it going? How's it going, brother? Or as they say in, in Australia, how's it going, mate? Yeah, that was pretty close. Or oh, can I have a dairy? There you go, that's Australian. That's how you do it. Australian follow. Oh shit, isn't that just Australia, just in general? Is that the real blobber? No, it's fake. It's, it's Sorry, it's not the real one. That's why it says beware, because you gotta be aware of the fakes. That's all it is. Who is willing to take support? Okay, well, what do you want to give me? What do you want to give me, Britain? Great agreement. I'll take an obligation off Britain. Beware of the hobbyist. No, it's me. The ho I'm the hobbyist. No. You got me. France has got stuff going on too. Think of that though. You put a ton of conscripts down, by the way. Oh, really? Even if I don't use them? Hold on, let's see. That if I just if I just go like, I'll just. I mean, to be fair, we don't have a ton of conscripts to get because we have Prussian army. But I, I'm never gonna raise conscripts. I have a really good Prussian army, but we do that, and they want to give me more. Not in this case, maybe, but that's pretty funny. Still, an obligation is pretty nice to get. Good paradox game. Look at the mods. Ban that guy. Ban that guy, mods. Get rid of him. Good paradox game. Get the hell out of here. Belgium stole United Tribes for this. <laughs> Ain't no way. What's the plan here? I don't know. We're just we're just playing Egypt. We're just having a good time. Try, the plan is to enjoy the game. Public execution. We probably should. We should just do like we shouldn't do public. We shouldn't do um, public execution. It should be like um, what's the button for when you want to kill one of your? It should be arrange accident. That's what we should do. Arrange accident. 25% chance to get a 10 minute timeout. Let's recreate Skippy Toilet in real life. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. I don't even know anymore. Capitulate. Thanks for the obligation, Great Britain. It was nice knowing you. Okay, so now we have an obligation on him. What do we do with it? I mean, we can get an alliance. 
Um, it's not too bad, honestly. We could just absolve it and get a bunch of opinion. It's just protective of me, which is... Bunkers. Chatter fell out window, true. How much of my iron is coming from imports? Hold on, let me check uh, iron in the market. Oh, most I'm trading for most of my iron from Prussia. Okay, well, that's fine. We can keep this build. I mean, yeah, that's okay, honestly. I don't really want to be too dependent on trade, but it is what it is, little bro. I want to get more. Five more. It is kind of silly, Baron Cakes, you're right, but also, it's funny, so who cares? This is use. So, iron, lumber, tools. Are we finally getting company stuff? No, the productivity is still pretty low. One day, surely, we'll get some productivity on these. We're not worth three to be honest. Yeah, I grabbed it for the throughput because we had almost no camps. But now that we have more camps, we probably can pick a different company. What would be possible? See, I want to get the Suez one, obviously, but we need to um, we need to first unlock the Suez Canal. That'd be crazy good. But I don't know which one. I don't know what else we would take right now. I guess we could take the 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 consortium or the conglomerate rather. Just for the steel, just for the, just for the iron, the iron throughput. Fine. Textiles. The minting one is really good. Yeah, we don't have a lot of gold right now, though. I don't think we have any gold, actually. I haven't really, po I, I could go after, like, the gold down here, but. Oh, I should really should, shouldn't I? Wouldn't that be smart? Tools is good, yeah. Iron's good, tools is good, yeah. Right now I'm just trying to go through like the social stuff to get to uh civilizing mission for Panama Canal, but or is that the one did we also need that for which one's for Suez? Is it also that for Suez or is there a different one for Suez? I assume they both it's for both, but I guess I can just check. Oh, I just need to complete the survey. Oh, wait a minute. I just need a thousand Oh! Fuck it. Take a don't need that for Suez. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I could have done that the whole damn time. Now I'm going to go into, like, super debt, though. <laughs> that kind of sucks, but... For now... Oh, just... Wait, just lower this to zero, because we don't even make taxes right now, because we're on complete tax waste. Yeah, just remove every tax, because right now they don't even generate any money. And we're just going to eat the debt, <laughs> waiting to get the Suez Canal, because we really want it really badly. Maybe this is a bad idea, but it is what it is. 81% chance? I want to wait till they're the next level of relationship. Try and see if we can... Actually, no. I'll be a bitch. If, if it fails, just reload. This is defo a bad idea. Too late now. Did we get it? Let's go. This is a great idea, Mr. Gaming. Some bureaucratic buildings first? No, 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 dude. Trust me. Trust me. Five minimum? My guy. We are building one right now. Oh, hold on. We can actually help. Hold on. We can actually help this a little bit. I forgot that we got new tech. In development now, right? Yeah, hold on. That actually didn't even get us. That didn't actually help. Normally, we would take the, the tech, but I kind of feel like I want to take this. Still, still too negative. <laughs> Oh, Lee, you're only making 460. Damn. It is what it is. Nationalism unlocked. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't know, let's just go like, let's just road maintenance it up, I guess, for... Like that, for more building efficiency. 
Our universities are working on it. Are you? Oh, look at now we have some. We actually have some taxes now. Okay, cool. Not really worth. I'm just keep the taxes low anyway. Public schools. Now we don't have. The, now we don't have any more. Now we have even more tax waste. Let's go. We can get no regulation controls though, which will piss off the farmers. But that's okay. Okay, at this point, I'm kind of throwing just for the fun of it, to be honest. So are you still subject to... So you're a vassal of my dominion. Okay. If I make him a puppet, will these guys go to me? I don't even know. Find another way, I guess. Now, Britain, would you be willing to trade... What do you... For Johor, what would you be willing to give me? Because I don't, I don't want him to have this, this, this thing. Where is it? Am I blind? Egyptian Malaya, that's what it's called. Okay, Egyptian Malaya. But I can obligation it. Okay, hold on, we can obligation it. So let's, let's see. What would I, what could I actually want from him? Maybe. Maybe like Guyana, I guess. British Guyana. He would just accept that without 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 a um, obligation. What can I get with an obligation? Ceylon. Oh, we can grab Ceylon. That's kind of that's kind of poggers, right? You know what I mean? That is poggers. Kenya's not bad, too, just to cut him off, though, eh? If we just do Kenya. What do you want to give me, Kenya? This is, um... Oh, no, they found my they found my description. They would just do without an obligation for Kenya. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Like, why, why would you just give up your, your colony like this? What's better, Kenya or Ceylon, though? What's, what's in these places? Hold on. What's in these places? So in Ceylon, we've got this, okay, and a port, but it's late, they already have the state's colonies there, yeah, true. I guess this is kind of, I mean, I guess this is better, it's got more, how much, how many pops though? It's probably a lot more pops in Ceylon, right? Way more pops in Ceylon. Go good if you can. If I take this, won't these places have no market access? So won't the natives eventually just kick them out? Like, they won't get market access here, so they'll just be fucked, right? Yeah, let's do this. Otherwise, Guyana gets... Let's just do this. Yeah, sure. They can still colonize? Yeah, but they won't be able to fight when the natives rise up against them, right? So they'll just be, like, sitting there, and the natives will take it back. Oh, Rift Valley. Yeah, that could have been a way as well. Clueless? Surely. They can teleport. Can they teleport their armies? Is that a thing? I don't know. By the way, now they don't have the treaty port in me, so that's good. Um, who wars anywhere? Are you kidding me? That's bullshit. What else could I maybe trade with the British? I mean, we could give them, like, what, what would, would they want to take, like, Kerman off me? Is that a thing? We don't really have any of the split states we could give them. Like, let's see. Oh, they're having a civil war. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. But now we can't trade. All right. What's the chances of them winning? 82 versus... Oh, yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure the regular Britain's going to win. Oh, we can trade with Raj subjects. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I was thinking that because they have no access, the natives would um, would be able to occupy all of this, but because I guess the armies can just teleport, it doesn't matter. Badge. Nice setback, let's go. I don't even, dude. 
Thinking was your first mistake. True, I should never have... I should never have done such a thing. Such a crime. Awful. Bro. We're going into a little bit of debt. It's alright, though. I probably should just pause construction. Briefly. Yeah, because that way we don't necessarily, like, destroy ourselves to this debt. I want the Suez Canal, bro. And then once it's once it's there, we're good. Question the problem here? Yeah, I know. It's the it's the bureaucracy. I know, I know. It's that we can last until the survey completes. That's what we're hoping for, you know? <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. I'm hoping that we can just last. That we that we can just last until the, the survey ends. And then get our money back after. That or someone will buy my debt. Just wait. Bro, France, they got me. They're gonna they're gonna buy my debt. We all know it. France loves me. France will 100% buy my debt. The ca they're, they're good Catholics, okay? They like to buy debt because they want to prevent usury because that's a sin, okay? So, yeah. Damn. Surely we can pass this. What kind of truces are we looking at here? Four months, three months, four years, four months. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to make puppets out of Iraq and uh, Persia soon. Maybe that'll carry our income, you know? Because Persia makes pretty good money as a Dominion. So we get them as a puppet, get a little more, you know? Get with Iraq. We had no debt, yeah, true. Those are the good old days. It's fine. Wanted to, wanted to recollect that to, to import more paper, but... Use more paper. What's what's a little more bureaucracy to spend? You know, not like we not like we have any. When you're this far into the negatives, what's a little more? There's no agitators ever. If you have the exactly, I just gotta get the company. It'll be worth it. That's all I gotta do, chat. All I need is the company. What's a little bit less, you know? You have closed borders. Well, not not for long. I'm gonna pass this law. Just you wait. Uh, paying for paper. I mean, I guess we could just... Well, we're only having no bureaucracy temporarily. We don't want to get rid of all of our... We don't want to get rid of all of our... Um, all of our stuff, because we have to rebuild it then. We gotta wait five months. Five months of defaulting, okay? But hell, I might as well even go bankrupt. What's wrong with going a little bankrupt, you know? Britain winning? They are winning. Okay, that's good. Why? Why shouldn't I go bankrupt, huh? Explain that one. Now that would suck because we would lose um if we did that we'd probably lose a rank. <laughs> and then uh that would significantly affect 
I think that would make us we lose our subjects, right? Ten years of penalties, yeah. But you know, same time. I mean, no, it's not worth doing. We just gotta, we just gotta wait. We just gotta default for four more months, yeah. Four months of defaulting. Rev and swap to reset. Based. Basically, fucked your construction, dude. It's fine. It's fine. Look, we're just, we're just, we're just riding it out. Yeah, we're just riding it out. That's all we're doing. Government slaves? That's fucked up, man. Hey, how come I'm paying for that? That should be the the, the private sector should be paying for their own slaves. I guess because they're always employed, right? Government slaves, so awesome. Oh yeah. Okay, that's 72%. How about if I do here? They will accept. Please don't say no. You motherfucker. We're reloading. That's right. Yeah, I know it saves in the construction sector. No, I know, yeah. I, 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 it's the employees that are working in the... Well, employees, you know what I mean. The employees. Alright, Persia. Not this time, pal. God, okay, whatever. Fine. We go to war. I can get war reps. It's worth it. Don't worry. Who cares about minus 12% offense? Like, whatever, dude. Portugal has the Persia. Afghanistan has the Persia. Well, I'm going to call in Russia. But they want Persia. They want Persia. Okay, well, that's obviously not going to happen. Ottoman Empire says, oh my god, they're all going with Persia. Jesus. Sure, you just... Wow, okay. This is all going to shit real fast. I mean, this is all one front, so that actually works out. It's Jover? It's not Jover. Worst case scenario, I just they just take Mosul. Because <laughs> the P Persian autonomy isn't even like a, a primary war goal anymore. I'm just gonna add war reps to everyone. To the Ottomans and stuff. Look, we got this, okay? There's no problem here. One more month. One more month, chat. One more month, and then we're free. Yes! <laughs> Get Russia? They're gonna ask- they're asking for Persia. Not doing that. Let's get our- let's get those decrees off. This is- it's absolutely winnable. Of course it's winnable. But the default? Not for long, little bro. We're making that money back. You guys probably should just defend. True, auto can't defend against landings. That is also big true. We even have Admiral. Damn. We got 47 ships there. Okay, well, that's that's unfortunate, but stay there for now. I think these guys can just push because, like, no one here, so we just push into Persia. We're making money again, so we're going to lose the default negatives pretty soon. Shouldn't take long to lose. Should have taken Macau. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's actually get the government wages back. Let's get these back up. Have better army and stuff and not lose our rank. And I think we're going to be just fine. Because we can just blitz through here and it won't even matter. I have just war operations on the Ottomans. Oh god, that's a lot of troops though. 
How's the new patch? I don't know. It's fine. I hate to say it to be so lame, but it's fine. The government back down? Sure. So look, we're going to be totally fine. We just defend and hope they don't push too hard. And we're good. Oh, the Romanians? They, oh, they actually... Okay, they, they left. Okay, cool. Well. First of all, disband this. No one asked. Five weeks? I'm down for that. I think we can just go fuck the Ottomans up here. They seem to be ignoring. Okay, sending some guys back. Okay, okay, alright, alright. This is a very interesting route. I guess, well, actually, this might... Maybe this is somehow better because of the way the terrain is. Oh, it looks like they... Okay, they sent two... Okay, they sent, like, a tiny navy. And they're moving the armies back away. Okay. They did occupy Mosul, so that's not good. That is their war goal, but we're just kind of going to go grab Persia. And then we're going to grab Thrace, and we should be fine. Yeah, here we go, there's Thrace. And y'all were like, it's Jover. What a sick joke. This chicanery? You guys know what I was quoting? Oh, surely you know what I was quoting. I think I'm going to give this army more generals, uh, just so it can do, go faster. Put your army in too, quick. No, 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 we're just going to give a bunch of generals, and they're just going to go, like, massively quickly occupy. Because isn't that how that works? The more generals you have, the faster they occupy, basically? I don't know, I don't know if that's how that works, but fine. They're not going to the front. They're literally not even going. Like, who cares? Let them cook. Like, I'm fine with this, because I win. In, in this race, I win. You know what I'm saying? You can cover the empty front. I mean, I guess that's true. But also, like... Oh, because you can go here. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. That's kind of based. Okay, in that case, we, we do split the army, then. It's going to send, like, like one... What's it, like, three line infantry? Plus this guy. A new army. Because they have, you know, they are kind of spazzing out a little bit. But yeah, you're right. This is a good idea. But now they send, a, now they send in troops though. So this is the problem. Look, now, now they're gonna retaliate. No, you sabotaged me, you bastards! Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Fine. It's fine. I didn't want to win anyway. I really shouldn't have put reparations on the Ottomans though. This is kind of like ridiculous. But it is what it is. They can just defend there and we'll raid convoys, I guess. Gotta push to Mosul, bro. I mean, maybe we'll be able to eventually, actually. We can mark it as, as a strategic, um, strategic thing. I can't, never mind. That before auto otherwise. Um, that's probably true. Well, I think once the war with the once the Persians capitulate, I think we'll be able to take it back. Get back to constructing now. Yeah, we got with the Mo they did take Mosul, but it's fine. Okay, they got Thrace back, but it's okay because the war operation war goal is still valid for anything, any occupation. Okay, we're not losing any war more war score because the Persians are trying to get increased autonomy. It's nice. They took their capital back! Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, this front's open. What the fuck? Okay, well, that front's open now. 
Where are you guys going? Okay, you're still here. Let's just go here then. Excuse me. I'm just gonna just gonna go past the front real quick. I have I have other jobs to do right now. It's not Joe. It's never Jover. Although I guess they're gonna, yeah, their armies are gonna kind of pile up over there. Damn, Persia actually managing to, like, undo all that occupation is crazy. The Ottomans are all over here now. And a rev, and a rev. Oh no, they want to close the borders. Yeah, we're gonna end up losing. <laughs> Maybe they're well, they might be willing to white piece soon though. If they they might just send me a white piece, something stupid in a little while. Surely, it land the cock. Oh, if I went up here or like through here and then just down. Yeah. Marcus L, true. To be fair, I kind of like, you know, and this is this is not an excuse. I kind of stopped trying like a little while ago because I was just like, I'm just like memeing at this point, but yeah. I mean, if we can get back to Persia's capital, we could stop the tick, but um, I don't think it's going to take too long, even if we do win the battles. Just where the Ottomans just like capitulate randomly. Yeah, no, they're all here now. It's, it's Jover. It it is Jover now for real. I think in pure shame, my boys gotta got my boys gotta just abdicate the throne in pure shame. What so we can go go to autocracy, flee across the border. I'm just memeing now, by the way. Just just so I'm just just memeing, okay? We're we're having a little meme, mate. So who's got the power now? It's still the landowners. Yeah, so, okay, just basically, basically just killed off, like, the influence of the industrialists and stuff. So close, yet so far. They want that. The Ottomans willing to do that, that's funny. Here it comes, 9 is 99. No. Also, I didn't even build the Suez Canal. After all that work that we did to get the Suez Canal built, didn't even build it. Hilarious. No. There's still my subject, by the way, but also Ottomans got Mosul back, but yeah. Okay, I've been streaming for for eight hours now, though. I think I think I'm gonna stop for now, chat. Eight hour stream. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to stop for now. We were having a we were having a good meme. We we're having a good meme. Um, so I know that in the stream schedule, it says that we're playing, uh, CK3 on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, but part of me is kind of like, it's not eight hours yet, okay, well, it'll be eight hours very soon, part, part of me is like, maybe, maybe this will be Victoria three days, so I don't know, CK3, <coughs> obviously still a good game, and still fun and stuff, but I don't know, I've been wanting something different, I've been playing a lot of CK3 lately, so, big three for a bit, before we do that though, let me just show you the old... US of A game that I was playing yesterday. This is the game that got me to back into the game, kind of. I was having fun playing the US. You know, did a little bit of conquering down here and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty fun. We have uh, we have some pretty crazy demographics, you know, because the migrations are so crazy. Like, if you look, like we have all these mass migrations constantly, and I really like that now um, discriminated pops can migrate. That's a really nice change. Um, we had a Zulu plurality here for a while, but they're gone now. They 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 got replaced by Yankees, but we had a Zulu plurality. That was really fun. Um, yeah, this is what the culture looked like. We still have a Sinhala uh, majority in Idaho, or I guess this is a plurality as well. But still, lots of fun. Chileans, Brazilians, Irish. The classic Irish in the Amazon, you know, happens every game. 
North Germans. But the weird thing is, I wish that there was a little more ability to, like, kind of, like, choose. I, I, I don't know, like, choose kind of who goes where. I, I don't know, maybe I want more player autocracy, to put in the words of Rosenkreutz. But, it's hard to say. By the way, um, yeah, we're going to stream for now, though. That, that's enough for today. Almost eight hours. Almost made eight hours. Is it good enough for me? Four hours is the minimum that I'm trying to get to make myself do. So, yeah. Where are we gonna raid today? Um, I don't really see anyone that I want to raid. It's kind of a, it's a little bit past when I would like the times where people I normally raid would be. So I get all the minorities. Yeah, exactly. I want to put them. In, I want each state to be for one ethnicity. You know, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill the stream, boys. I'm gonna be back again on Friday. Thursday uh, is my uh, is my break day. Okay, back on Friday with some Elden Ring. Looking forward to seeing you guys there for that. Okay, looking forward to seeing you guys there for some Elden Ring. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, have a good uh, day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I'll see you all next time. Rest in peace, Egypt. Who's canal was worth it. See you guys later.